Rolling stand taller than a wampa. Are your genitals the size of a fire hydrant? Oh. What do you think? They think faster than a droid. Did you have sex with this man? Did he jerk you off? Did he do things? Oh, he just kind of sucked on my cock. At you. And they smell worse than a swamp slaw. Come on, rip it. I don't know. They are the lovable misfits of the Howard Stern Show. Did you notice how small you are? <laughs> I'm Big Johnson. No, you don't. What? And all this week on Howard 100 and Howard 101. Go ahead. Put the kibasa down your throat. Pretend it's me. The Whack Pack Strikes Back. Come on, Joey. <laughs> Asteroids. <laughs> oh, fuck. Joey, set dude seven one. What are you doing? You, you're not actually going into an asteroid field. They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. Howard Stern Productions presents The Whack Back Strikes Back. May the dorks be with you. Yeah. Kenneth Keith's here, if you want to talk to him. Want to talk to him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other person's not even here yet. Oh, she's not? Well, maybe we should wait for her. Okay, I thought you wanted him now. I thought you had called for him. Yeah, I did. I thought they were here, but... Okay, we'll wait. Yeah. Let me just look at him. <laughs> the porn star. If you look at him, you're going to want him in. Oh, no. He did. Yeah, what's up? Ah! How are you doing? What are you doing? How you doing, man? Come on in. What? I can't hear you. What? I said, check out the Kenneth Keith Callenback dolls. Oh, wow. Oh, those are nice. You made some Kenneth Keith Callenback dolls? Dude, yeah. what's your story? How'd you get into porno? What happened? Somebody heard you on our show and said, would you want to be in a porno? Yeah, some magazine called me up and said, hey, you want to be in a porno? No, they said, you want to pose for a magazine? And I said, F that. I'm not posing for your magazine. I said, let me do some movies. <laughs> really? Oh, you suggested it. Yeah. Well, they wanted me to like pose for a magazine. I'm not posing for the magazine. <laughs> why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. yeah, like, why wouldn't you pose for a magazine? Because they were like, um, you don't get to touch the girls. And I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, you don't tell Kenneth Keith Callen back he can't touch the girls. <laughs> I never, All I know is I saw, your, I saw your porno, and that girl was totally repulsed by you, dude. I know. She didn't even want, they had to pay her extra. Did you know that? Just to have sex with you. No. What? Yeah. Yeah. She didn't get uh, hot for you, Kenneth Keith. Can you believe that? Yeah. I don't know, but after uh, it was over, I was like, you know, hey, can I have your phone number to keep in contact? And she was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and did they, did they, I heard they only paid you like uh, 500 bucks. Yeah, they paid me 500 bucks, but right after the show, I'm hopping on a plane and flying to Hollywood and doing a bigger movie. Is that right? 2000 they're going to get me. Oh, no oh, kidding. Oh, his price is going up even Where's as we better speak. Better looking girls and stuff? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Good for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Idiot. What's the matter with you? That's going to be like haunting you the rest of your life. Did you talk to your parents about it? Nah. Did do you they even know? Do they know you did a porno? <laughs> no? Who, ca I mean, who cares? You don't even care what your parents think. Well, I mean... Like, what about your family and stuff? It was a career move. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened to your girlfriend? How does she feel about it? Well, you know, we kind of broke up. So. Oh, did you? Yeah, so yeah. I told her that I was going to do that. So yeah. She got mad. So. <laughs> that broke you up? <laughs> nah, that didn't. Like, yeah. we were... and maybe the most hideous shot is when you're naked and you're... Like, they're shooting you from behind, and you can see everything hanging. And Do like, you know anything about grooming? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Man, what? ooh, nasty. You got a nasty, nasty look in everything. Shot, you know what it is? It's like watching a repulsive guy have sex. I, You know, I never thought sex was so dirty yeah. until I watched Kenneth Keith have it. It's like a freak show. It's like watching a retarded person having sex. Yeah, it really seemed more dirty than I had ever seen sex be before. And the girl was, like, flipping out. The girl was, like, yelling at him and stuff and saying, I don't want you calling me a bitch. After a while, I started to wonder where the gun was. Yeah. <laughs> to keep her there. We should have had a gun right to her head. <laughs> so what happens? Like, you walk in the room, and then, like, when when you went to get the part, did they have to audition you or something? No, nah, the dude just said, come on over. Come on over, and y'all have a girl there for you? Yeah, and, um... I went and got an AIDS test to make sure they had an AIDS test. I brought my uh, my AIDS test with me to show you. Oh, and she had to have an AIDS test too? 
Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah. First test Kenneth Keith ever passed. Let's wow. see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I passed that one. Let's see. This, re res this result indicates that antibodies to HIV have not been found in this patient's specimen. Oh. This result does not preclude previous exposure or infection to HIV. So you get an HIV test. The guy, is the girl here? No, but I want to meet the girl. Oh, oh, you know, you always wonder how people get themselves into trouble. Is a perfect example. Can apparently, Kenneth wanted to check and see if the girl had an AIDS test. And the guy just said, well, you know, they're all professionals. And that was enough for Kenneth, apparently. Oh, so oh she didn't get an AIDS test. I said I wanted to see it. And the dude was like, uh, we got it. Oh, really? So you didn't see anything. <laughs> Filed in the office. Yeah, because you didn't use a rubber or anything. I was watching that thing. Oh, but I, it was only a couple minutes that I actually oh. did. Oh, that. then then you'd be fine. Oh, how long does it take before the AIDS can get you, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You were only there for a couple of minutes? I don't know. It seemed like a lot more than a couple of minutes from what I was looking yeah, at. Yeah, what we watched was more than a couple <laughs> yeah. of minutes. Yeah. In fact, you were having a lot of trouble. I think they edited it like that. I don't know. We only did it a couple of minutes. <laughs> So you're not worried about the AIDS because you only did it a couple of minutes, the right? The bullet only went through my head yeah. for a second. Yeah. yeah, that's all. Right. That's all. So, what, so you said to the guy, demand to see an AIDS test, and he goes, look, man. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, I got a $500 actor here pulling Right. Like. He has beavers and butthead. <laughs> He's like, uh, hey, okay. It's on file. Okay. All right. So, so the guy told you it was on file? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. So you get in the room, and like, had you seen the girl yet? Not before I got there, no. And she Were was you ever afraid that you wouldn't be able to perform with people watching you? No, that was never a question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy to be performing anywhere. <laughs> He'll perform. He doesn't care how big the audience. Because it was weird. Like, all of a sudden, like, Kenneth, like, you, the, there's no real sort of story in this porno. Kenneth just sits down on the couch and this chick starts making out with him. Uh -huh. And they're kissing, which is really gross. Oh, I didn't even see that part. Yeah, right? You were kissing her on the couch, and then she, like, you guys undress. Well, am, am I right? Yeah, but as soon as I came in, she, like, as soon as I came in, she pulls out this joint. She's like, come on, let's get it, get high. And I'm like, nah, I don't smoke. You don't? No. Really? But of course not. <laughs> of course. Does he look like a guy who takes drugs? <laughs> Absolutely he does. <laughs> no, totally not. Man. Wait a second. So you got in there and like she wanted to get high because, well, she looked at you and she, <laughs> she said, I better be it. high. No, I think she had a plan before. So was she grossed out by you right away? Did she try to get out of it? Because I understand that she was flipping out and had to be paid extra money. Didn't they tell her who was coming? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, yeah, she almost left because um, she said that she wanted to hear music during it. Oh, really? And, That's why. And the dude yeah. wouldn't play music because he said he you know, couldn't put that in it. Right. So she was like, get ready to leave. And what happened when she saw you? Was she like, I don't want to make love to this guy? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Retard. <laughs> I got to take a break. Maybe the girl will show up by the time uh, we get back. <laughs> Can you imagine walking into a room now? You've decided you're going to make a porno film. Yeah. And you walk into the room and that's sitting on the couch. I know. I mean, because she's probably expecting some hot, like, beefy right. guy. Yeah, she wants to have fun. And she doesn't realize that the porno company is just going to take this retard who appears on our show every once in a while. And put him in it. <laughs> yeah. And Kenneth, has anybody ever taught you anything about sex? Yeah, what's there to know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it showed that you needed a lot of lessons in yeah. this movie. I don't think this girl was having a problem because you were doing all the right stuff. So when you walk in, like, did you check her out? Like, was she wearing some sexy clothes? Was she wearing, like, a miniskirt and stuff? Miniskirt. Just some kind of uh, pants or mm -hmm. T-shirt, and then I guess she changed or whatever. Were you attracted to her? Well, I don't know. I don't think the girl who had sex with Kenneth in the uh, porno movie is coming in. She You're backed right. out. You're right. Yeah. She doesn't ever want to see Kenneth again. Yeah. You see those stupid dolls Kenneth made? Like those. He made those himself. Yeah. He says he goes. I'm thinking of selling them for like thirty bucks a piece. They cost me fifteen. <laughs> yeah, I was. Gonna... But they they look stupid. Can you even who see what they are? That? Who wants that? Thirty bucks. Send it to uh, Philadelphia, PA. <laughs> <laughs> and you get one of those? Yeah, send a check. Oh, what the heck are they made of? It's a piece of garbage. It's Jeez. cool, man. Are you, do you still have your regular job, or are you just going to go into this porno thing full time? Well, I still got that. Yeah, you, you better do. not let that go. That's security.
So when are you flying to Hollywood? Tonight. Tonight? And you're going to be in another porno movie. And the guy's going to give you two grand. Yes. Really? <laughs> and and how did this guy hurt here about you being in the porno? Is that the letter you sent out? Yes. Yeah, so what did this letter say? Yeah, what did the letter say? I hope my name wasn't involved. Uh... I just said I was from the, sh the show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess my name was involved. <laughs> well, how else would I get the part? Right. <laughs> so, you went, oh, boy. <laughs> so what did the guy say to you when he called you? He says, I'm interested in having you in the porno movie. Did he, are you going to have any lines or anything, or you don't know? I don't know yet. Because this other porno you did, I, you know, I said... Is I'm, there dialogue? Is there anything in that movie? Well, well, this other porno that he did, the one that I saw that's coming out, it, it appears that one guy shot the camera. In other words, it was one camera. Right. It was like a video, home he video was camera. Yeah. And it was Kenneth and this girl on a couch having sex. Yeah, because it didn't look at all like a movie. No. It looked, it looked like, like a guy. Home video. Yeah, it looked like a guy with a home video. It was. It was a home like, <laughs> video. How many, how many cameras were in the room? Just one. Just one guy, one camera. That one guy who hired you? Yeah, originally he was going to fly me to Florida and and give me, like, more money, but then he kept pushing it back and pushing it back. So, right. And then he just said, well, let's do this now. Right. So when is this movie coming out? I don't know. I don't even have a copy. I haven't even seen it. You haven't seen the movie? No. Nah. Right. Yeah, we've seen well, it. Well, you know what? After I was talking to Kenneth Keith for a moment, I said, oh, I know the perfect porno plot for him. You yeah. know, like the horny mailman. Yeah. Well, that's what this was, except he didn't have a mailman costume right. on. Yeah, see, they should have him running around with a bag on his back. No, I think they should have him at Creedmoor in a straitjacket, and the nurse comes in and, and so horny and everything, and she's like, she you know. can't help herself. And she's staring at a dog, and she's staring at Kenneth Keith, and she goes, well, I guess he's better than a dog. <laughs> And then she hops on top of him. Takes That's a handful of pills too. first. Right. Yeah, she takes tons of drugs. Because Kenneth, this girl, I'm telling you, I saw all the outtakes and everything. This girl couldn't even get excited over him. So repulsed. And then Kenneth tells me, tell Robin about what happened when you, um, after the movie was done, you asked the girl for a date or something? I said, hey, can I go get your phone number just to co keep in contact? And she was like, no. <laughs> so you did like her, you lied. No, I didn't like her. I just figured, hey, I should have her phone number on, co on record in case I ever need to contact her. All right. And uh, <laughs> a contact. <laughs> He's networking. Well, what would you say to her? Did you say, like, hey, let's go, let's go back to my room or something? Nah. I thought you said you said to her, uh, hey, baby, let's. Uh, you want to keep having some more sex. Oh, yeah, I said that. You did? <laughs> <laughs> did? Did they let Kenneth, did Kenneth do what they call the money shot? Oh, yeah, did you do the money shot at the end? I don't know what a money did shot you have, Did you have an orgasm at the end? Uh, yeah, but the first one they didn't get on camera. Oh, really? They missed it. They missed that. it. Well, it was one guy with his home video <laughs> yeah. camera. How do you miss that? How do you miss that? Did you warn him that it was uh, it was going to happen? No, I no. didn't warn him. You didn't warn him. You're supposed to warn him that it was going to happen. Uh, yeah, what am I supposed to do? I'm on the. I don't want the money <laughs> shot from him. I don't want the money shot. Period. Especially well, from him. Well, if you're going to be disgusted, you might as well be disgusted all the way. They should have used special effects. It's like had some green goo or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it was low budget. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. You're officially in the porno industry. You've always wanted to be in show business. Yeah. So now you actually have a career in film. Yeah, and I also got a working on a record deal. Somebody's typing up a contract for me right now. All right. And what is this going to be? Like phony phone calls or something? Like the Jerky Boys? Are you going to do music? music? Comedy rock. Oh, comedy rock? <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm sure you'll be back to uh, debut your album here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So when the. <laughs> So when the girl got when mind. the girl got naked, it must have been pretty exciting because you don't get a lot of girls, and she was kind of cute. She was kind of good looking. Mm, uh, oh come on, right. dude! And don't try to act thin. like that. Come on, you should have to have fat girls. All it the wasn't time. too long ago that you were just getting fat girls. No, I have a lot of uh, hot, attractive girls. Oh, you know, this is oh, oh, you're I a liar! Are yeah, you lying? You told me you couldn't even get anything but fat girls every once in a while until I was that last just girlfriend. Around yeah, around. liar. What? I was joking around. Yeah, right. Look at me. I'm not that. I'm not that oh. ugly. Oh, come on, yeah. dude. You're strange looking. You're like oh, a that rickety young girl man. You were engaged to was the first girl you had had in years. Yeah, you used to go to parties and just get fat girls. Uh, Most of the time, you didn't even get fat girls. Most of the time, po people just threw things. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you must have been pretty excited getting on with a pretty good-looking girl. Uh, it was. It was all right. Yeah, oh, you're such a liar. Yeah, now you're he's going to be a liar. big whore. Oh, now, yeah, now you're a big deal. Nah, you I'm get a lot of good-looking girls. Where do you where, where do you get good-looking girls? 
Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you told me you went to parties and stuff, and the only thing that you could ever get on occasion was fat chicks. Because they can't run away. Right. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Tell the truth. I was joking around about it. Oh, you get no. good-looking girls. Why don't you bring in a bunch of the girls that you used to have sex with? They won't come in. They won't come in. <laughs> no, they're no. all yeah. got different boyfriends now. Yeah, all right. <laughs> he is such a liar. I know. He used no, to tell us the not. truth. Man. You, 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 you go to parties and you would get fat girls, and the fat girls were really repulsive. Oh, you tell me you lied. Oh, a couple times, I guess I had, you know, some ugly girls. All right. Yeah, but it's mixed. how long right. was it between having sex and when you found that girl who was living with you for a while? Yeah. Uh, it was long, I guess, like. Probably like three years. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you hadn't had sex for three years before you had that girlfriend. Um, yeah. yeah, you could say that. Right. Okay. <laughs> so now that you're in the porno industry and these guys are hooking you up with good looking girls, it's got to be pretty exciting. It's all right. Well, I've never been to Hollywood before, so I want to get out there. Right. Yeah, so you're all excited about Did they ever tell you that you don't have the right equipment for this job? Yeah, did you notice how small you were? <laughs> I have a big Johnson. No, you don't. You don't. What? You don't, man. I saw the tape, man. It's tiny. It's smaller than mine, and I'm really small. Well, I tell them it's big. Yeah, well. Yeah, you better get some 3D specs for that movie. Yeah, you're a good liar. <laughs> what is it, Gary? I would not go around bragging. Yeah, dude. Keith. Yeah, you don't have much. I know. I'm just joking. Oh. I know. It's small. But they don't tell you that you got to... You're wrong, man. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should have seen this one scene where Kenneth Keith can't even make the connection. Yeah. He can't get into that position. Right. Yeah, because I just... When the girl's bent over the couch? Dude, you don't even... You, I don't know what's going on there. In fact, we didn't know where you where you were going. <laughs> I like the I like the part where Kenneth looks like he's mountain climbing. He's like on the couch and his feet are like a dog. Yeah, and she and she's like uh, and she can't even get excited. She didn't even know that Kenneth is there in that one scene though, where she had her back to him. I know. She didn't know he was there. No. Couldn't span the. Uh... No. No. So what do you think? Was it a good move? <laughs> what doing porno? Yeah. For, For you? you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any move is a good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The fact that you made a move is good. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, you know. Yeah. I don't think you can ruin your reputation. Yeah, I don't. You know, and, and you don't have the kind of job that I think will uh, will care that you're in porno movies now. What do you well, do? You deliver mail, right? You're like a messenger or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody cares. Yeah, they're not going to throw you out. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll sell more records because of it. Right. There you go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I want to thank Kenneth Keith Callenbach for coming in. <laughs> All right. Congratulations yeah. on your porno movie. Yeah. When will that be in the stores? I don't know. He's not a businessman, Howard. He's right. an artist. All right. Whenever it's there. And you're going to Hollywood tonight? Did they send you a ticket? No, I'm going to pick it up at the airport. Oh, you're going tonight. Uh -oh. All right. Good. Yeah. If the ticket's not there, don't go. Right. <laughs> no, I'm not. Is I'm someone going to meet you at the airport? or uh, I mean, you don't even know where you're going. Well, I'll have the ticket, so if I get back there, then I'll just come back. All right, okay. If you're not there. All right, okay. Very good. Is is this uh, going to also require an AIDS test? Yeah. This, yeah, they all do, I think. Uh -huh. So you have to get another AIDS test. I don't, I don't know. I think that might be good enough, because that's pretty recent. Yeah, you just got a new AIDS test. <laughs> Although he just, had, he just had unsafe sex with the girl in the porno right, movie. Right, I figured you'd have to have another one. Yeah. What do I know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Dude, how stupid can you be? You're not even wearing a rubber, and you're with a girl, and you never even saw her AIDS test. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care? What's he got to live for? Yeah, right. <laughs> what if he gets it? It was only a couple times. I'm not going to be in it long. Right. I'll just do maybe a couple movies, and then... Get out. Roll out. Right. Find <laughs> something else to do. All right, man. All right, so good luck, Kenneth Keith. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, all right. All right. Okay, is that... You had enough? No? Oh, uh, I'm trying to think. I know, he's giving me a look like he has something else uh, yeah, to say. Yeah, th th there should be more. Or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've run out of questions. I mean, I, you know, I learned everything. Uh, the girl didn't come. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you want to play a song from your album? I mean, what do you want to do? Dude, I mean, I got to go on with the show. I got a million things to get to, okay? Uh, yeah, I got to, if you have a guitar, I'll play a song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gary, give him a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> How long before he's doing gay porn? Yeah, would you do that, Kenneth? Would you do gay porn? No, they already asked me to do that. No, did they? And you said no? You won't get it on with a guy? 
Nah. Just wait till the money dries up. Yeah, how much yeah, sorry, How much would they pay you for that? I don't, I don't know. Not, <laughs> not going to pay me for it because I'm not going to do it. Right. But if they offered you 20000 Would you do it? <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> enough. <laughs> I think I'd pay him 20000 just to see it. Fifty. <laughs> Fifty thousand dollars? Would you have gay sex? Um, I don't know. Are you gonna give me fifty thousand for no, it? No, I'm not. But maybe the gay uh, porno industry would. <laughs> nah, nah. I can't, I don't know. Nah, fifty. You know you'd bend over. <laughs> you sure would, dude. <laughs> Get the Vaseline. Nah, not fifty. That's not enough. Oh, oh yeah, it's not. It's more than you make in seven years. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred fifty thousand. You would do it. Two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quickly, guitar, because I, I really got to get moving on with the show. You're making me nauseous. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine why. <laughs> All right, quickly give him a guitar. There you go. Now, that's a guitar, Kenneth. Go nuts. Yeah, go nuts. <laughs> Do a good song. All right. Quickly. All right. Um, now, comedy rock, does that mean the jokes are in the songs or outside of the songs? It's just funny lyrics. All right. All right. I guess. I was walking down the street. I just left the bar. The girl standing there about six feet tall. All right, get out of here. Get out. Get out. That's it. It's over. All right, thanks. Who does he think he is, the Beastie Boys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to. Um, we'll be back uh, right after this with the Sue Simmons contest. I'm going to take some phone calls and stuff. And that's Kenneth Keith Callenbach, soon to be seen in a porno movie. And has um, a record coming yeah. out. Look for it. Yeah, that was a pretty good song, man. That was good. It was just the beginning. Yeah, though. but it was enough. It was too intense for me. I'm not feeling that well. We'll be back right after these words. The Whack Pack Strikes Back continues now. Now I got something good for you. All right, what is this? Uh, about two weeks ago. I was sent a videotape by a porno company, and the porno company got the idea to take that retard that we know, Kenneth Keith Callenbach, the guy yeah. who blows smoke out of his eyes on my old Channel 9 TV show. Why are you bringing this up? I just got over yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and Kenneth Keith is in a porno video where he actually has sex with a really attractive girl. Yeah. So uh, Kenneth Keith wanted to come in and promote this thing. I said, "Bring the really attractive girl with you," because I I gotta talk to her. I really I because you gotta find out how this happened. It's unbelievable. So here they are. Here is Kenneth Keith Callenbach. <laughs> Kenneth Keith, you sit there. You sit over in that chair, Kenneth Keith. You want him? Where? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and you sit over there. Very good. It's musical chair. This is here. Kenneth Keith Callenbach, of course, the guy who smokes uh, cigarettes and blows the smoke out of his eyes, and Mickey Taylor. Is that right, Mickey? Mickey Lynn. Mickey Lynn? Yes. Is that Mickey Taylor? No, Mickey Lynn. Why does it say I Mickey? It Mickey Why? I thought it was Mickey Taylor. I guess it's got to give me... I had the wrong name. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I thought it was... <laughs> All right, I will change it. Everybody makes a mistake with my name. Well, I, I, Gary, how do you make the mistake Mickey Taylor from Mickey Lynn? I wrote that what the guy told me. I apologize. Oh. Well, isn't that uh, unbelievable? Anyway, first of all, uh, Kenneth, how are you? Hey, what's up? <laughs> You're doing good. What? Doing good. You're doing good. You're yeah. having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Kenneth, you decided to go into porn. Kenneth is a guy who got on our show because he's like a retard. Oh. And uh, he is. I you mean, know, there's no other way to. He's a stupider look every time. He <laughs> yeah, that. he's funny because he's like retarded. <laughs> he always seems shocked that you call him and, retarded. I know, and I'm and I'm genuinely. <laughs> I guess Kenneth, you know, Kenneth has tried to sort of take his fame from the radio show and do something with it. He tried yeah. to make something of himself. He's tried music. He's tried comedy. He put out a song, "Doggy Doggy Rough." Oh. The, this song, yeah. you know, you put out this song, and you know, of course, <laughs> you know. All right, he put yeah, that out. He put that out. Doggy Didn't doggy go rough. Anywhere. <laughs> Is that doggy doggy rough? It's called. Yeah, doggy doggy rough. What does that mean? <laughs> it just doesn't mean anything. It doesn't? Well, yeah. It's I mean, like, it must be something to you. It, Is it sex? Dog, like a doggy style? I guess it's like, I guess it's like barking. Yeah, like rough that. is Did the bark. Like oh, doggy, doggy, rough. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> and, it's and it's, uh, well, let me, let me just, let me understand this. Is, 
The dog sex, like sex, like having, like having sex, like a dog. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. No, you, I don't know that that had anything to do with it. Well, you you start out the song by saying sniffing panties. I like sniffing panties. Yeah, I don't... I like, uh, seeing you in your pajamas. Right. So it's just like a nonsense song. Yeah, nonsense. It's comedy rock. Right. Oh, it's comedy. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. That's what I call and, it. And, uh, <laughs> comedy rock. And also you like, uh, you, you tried a stand-up act, right? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Now. Oh, is the music the newest thing? Yeah, the n music's the newest thing. I'm trying to get a record deal right now. I see. I got Harvey Leeds on the phone. <laughs> cool. Right now you're out selling Michael Jackson. They, they have a special computer that tracks these things. I should be. Right? Yeah. And um, I I'll tell you, every time I see Kenneth Keith, I, I fear for the human race. I really do. I think that genetically we're going backwards. <laughs> so, you know, it always sounds like he gets the jokes about two minutes later. <laughs> so anyway, they, I guess some, what, some guy who listens to the show got the idea. He says, hey, if I put Kenneth Keith in a porno movie, maybe the Howard will promote it and it'll right, help me and sell, sell it. sell some videos. All right. And Kenneth, you were anxious to be in a porno movie because you hardly ever get laid. True. Well, he, he hardly does. Well, it was, I just, like, the idea just popped into my mind, you know, and I figured, well, it's, I, didn't, I had never thought about it before, and then as soon as I thought about it, I was like, all right, let's do it. Isn't he like Beavis and Butthead in a way? Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's like Beavis and Butthead, but he's not putting it on. He's like the real Beavis and Butthead, because they yeah. would go, hey, cool, we'll be in a, like, a <laughs> porno movie. Yeah. You know, and, and you were there, and you, they flew you out, right? Yeah. Now, they sent me the raw tape, and I got to oh, tell you something. Where you guys were making the porno movie, and I was shocked when I saw you, uh, Mickey, uh -huh. because uh, you are really a beautiful girl. Thank you. You mind standing up for the camera so that people can see? I mean, look at this. I mean, you got a killer body. When I saw you naked, I mean, exceptional. Take, take a seat, please. Thank you. And very you're, much. how old are you? I'm 22. 22, and you look rather young. I, I, when I saw you in the video, I thought you were like about 18 or so. Yeah, that's what everybody tells me. Right. And I, and I said, you know, geez, what must this girl be thinking when she sees Kenneth Keith? Because at least, like, if you're in a porno movie, usually you get a decent looking guy. Yeah. Well, at the. How time, was it presented to you? When you well, when I got there, they had told me, well, Mickey Lynn, you're going to be working with somebody new. I said, all right, I'm going to be working. I figured, oh, good. Now you and so it doesn't matter to you who you work with? Well, it does, but um, usually they don't pick people like him right <laughs> right and, um, it's like like if they came yeah. in and said would you make love to an animal would you yeah, do that no i wouldn't I right would say no right so but in other words it's a nice looking guy so you don't yeah. mind I but see. Then so, so let me ask you this so beforehand yeah. they had didn't say to you who it was going to be they just uh -huh. said to you that it'd be someone different it'll be it'll be a new guy right and when i got there i didn't now you've done previous pornos oh yes i have now what age done. did you get into porno um, 19, I got. 19. Now, now, you must, did you have a screwed up life that you got into porno at 19? Well, a little bit. Did your father, like, rape you or something? Um, no. Well, he kind of, but he didn't. He kind of molested that's you? that's not why I got into it. It's because, um... Could be, though. Yeah, it could be. Right. But, um, I got into it because of dancing. I like to get more credits, go out featuring on the road. Right. So that's why to, I to support her yeah. stripping career. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. In other words, more guys will pay you more money because yeah. they've seen you in porno. Yeah, see you in, instead of... I feel bad for the girls that do penthouse because by now they're not getting that much work because all the girls in the adult business are taking it, and I feel bad, but... Why Why is that, though? The penthouse girls are beautiful girls. Oh, they are. I mean... Oh, is it because you girls are looser? People would rather go see yeah, a porn star than... They because they, they know you would have... Yeah. Se they feel like yeah, they could maybe get sex off you. Yeah. Yeah, but they can't. Right. Now, well, now to start at 19, there must have been something going on. So what oh, happened? Yeah. So you had a bad relationship with your father? Is that well, it? Well, yeah. Well, my father and mother had divorced right. when I was little. Right. And um, I had was adopted by my stepfather. Uh -huh. and, um, was there molestation? Father. A uh, little bit, yeah. Stepfather or father? Uh, father. Oh, father. Oh, yeah. boy. So it's more often the father. People don't realize yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. That's so the most that's... Uh, common perp. Yeah. So I started at a young age. Yeah, and, you're the best uh, kind of girls to get because you, you need a yeah. father figure, right? Yeah. yeah. You're, you're looking, looking for, a... for love. Yeah. You're looking for so, love. But... You're looking for a father figure, right? Yeah, so I got my step... <laughs> Daddy's right here. Yeah, so I found my stepfather, and, and that's pretty much so your stepfather's been nice to you. oh he's been great right yeah, so now does your do, do your parents put you down for being in porno um at first they did they didn't accept me um they were really upset but i had explained to them you know listen i put my job besides my personal life right and i won't bring it home so after a year later they had said well 
we understand what you're doing and we respect you for it. And so they accepted did, you. Yeah, they accepted me after they got the shock. Right, they're upset by yeah. it. Now, how did they? How did you tell them? Did you come home and say, "Look, well, I'm actually, doing," or they saw one of the movies? Actually, my stepfather saw one of the magazines, one of my very first magazines. And now, where did he see that? One of my girlfriends from high school was very jealous, and oh. she had shown it to everybody around. Right. And I still live in the area. I still live in Jersey, so. Um, they had went to my father and I uh, said, well, oh, this is uh, Mickey Lynn here. And I said, oh. so I couldn't deny it. It right, was right, me. I had to. Right. If, and it was hardcore uh, sex uh, going no, on? No, it wasn't. When he found out, it wasn't. Right. It was just a layout with just me in it. Right, but it was and pretty explicit. Had, yeah. And then I, had, I said, well, I can't lie to them no more. They're going to find out. So right, they didn't he, know you were dancing? They knew I was dancing. They knew I was a stripper, but they didn't know I did the movies. So it's good you broke them in slow. So yeah. you, uh, so, I mean, here you are. You're a very attractive girl. You could probably get any guy you want, and yet you want this. Uh, you want to be seen up there naked. You want the money. You want well, the... Well, it's uh, not all that I want to see. I just enjoy it. You I enjoy love dancing, it. and right. I love of performing, so I figured this is your thing. Yeah, this is the thing that I decided to do. So here you are. You're in. You know, you get into porn. I'm sure, and your, your parents finally accept yeah. the fact that you're in porno. But they couldn't if they see this video with Kenneth Keith. Yeah, then this, they'll be very shocked. Then they'll be very <laughs> shocked because I saw the the raw. In fact, we were shocked. I saw <laughs> yeah. that you walked in, and I saw in your face. They don't show it in the actual video. I was going to talk to the producer. I think they should sell the raw tape. Yeah. that was much more fascinating. You walk in, and they show you Kenneth Keith. And now, did you want to just get out of there? Were you? Oh. Did you want to throw? Up. I mean, did they what? Bolt the door. Be or? honest. What was your first? <laughs> well, like you said, this is not what I'm usually making love to. Well, my first approach was was does he have an AIDS test? Right. That Which he was did. My first prerogative. Yeah. yeah. Well, then, you're probably lucky with him because he hardly gets sex. <laughs> you had your AIDS test, right, yeah. Kenneth? Yeah, I oh, had yeah. it. You he had the papered. <laughs> you, you had your papers. Yeah, I had the papers. You did. All right, and you got to know that uh, it had to be repulsive to a girl to see you, right? I mean, you knew that. No, that's what I don't understand. Are you telling me that I'm not attractive? I mean, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what she's telling you. Oh, Kenneth, would she ever look at you in real life? Did you ever get a yeah, girl like yeah, that in you real don't life? Get girls like I don't that. Know. No, if if it was in real life, what would you think of me, really? I would, I would pretty much think of you as a funny guy. No, I mean, you very, when I did this, would you ever you? look at him in real life? I would look at him, but I would. But you would think, laugh. I would think, yeah, I would right. think, I would think something. Because something's wrong with him. You would think he was retarded. You wouldn't think no. of having sex. <laughs> is what we're saying. Uh, would you think? Well, yeah, you wouldn't think yeah. about sex. I but you have... would think he was sort of retarded, right? Well, not in the. Well, maybe mentally, a... mentally inferior. What if he walked up to her in a bar and said, "Hey, could I buy you a drink?" <laughs> yeah, you would run. You would run, right? <laughs> Probably. Right. Okay. So when you saw Kenneth know. Keith, yeah, you don't know. You know the truth, She's Kenneth. She's agreeing with you. Well, of course she oh, is. We're She's putting her up to this. Yeah. Saw the look on her face. Kenneth, when did you ever get girls? Uh, look, I just, uh, I don't know, man. All right, so there you go. All right. Okay, so anyway, Kenneth, you've got to know that that's the truth. He's bummed out. There was good, no good-looking girls going after you. Well, you're, you're saying that I'm like, you're telling, you're saying that I'm really like ugly or you're something. You're repulsive. I don't think I'm that ugly. No, you're, you're, you're repulsive. You're, on a scale of one to ten, is he a one? I would say a one. You would say one. I would say at least a three. I would have to All give right. him a, a three. chance. <laughs> All right, that's very nice. Robin, where would you put him? You're a woman. <laughs> you put him you on know, a one. I don't even... That's a scale for men. Right. <laughs> oh. Nine. You're nine. a nine? A nine? On a scale of Are you getting your feelings hurt? <laughs> no. All right, okay. All right, anyway. So, uh, anyway, yeah, you should be able to take it. All right. The point they put you in the porno movie is because you're so repulsive. It's funny to watch funny you make love. you guy, and especially that voice. You are so <laughs> lacking in grace that during the movie, you look like a dog, like when dogs will make love. This is something I really didn't need to see and yeah. equate with human right. behavior. You, know, you want to see two attractive bodies. She's, you mean, if it wasn't for her, you'd be fat. <laughs> Well, right. you know, She's some hot girl. I mean, I'm watching this thing going, oh, my God, because now you walked in. Let me let me take you back again. Okay. So you walk in and you see Kenneth Keith. Now, I saw the look of revulsion on your face in the raw. I mean, you were shocked, were you not? Oh, yes. I was very shocked. Now, you said, hey, does he have an AIDS test? And did yes, you say to the producers, what is this, a gag? Is this a, a snuff yeah, film? What's going on? Guy? No, I, I pretty much know the producers. They're my, like, oh, they're really them. good friends. So right. I trusted them. I trust them. Did they calm and, you down at first? Did you say, hey, I really don't want to make love well, to this guy? No, it's just that I got to know him before I do a scene. I get to know him. Yeah. And I says, well, um, well, there was supposed to be two guys. So the other guy got into a car accident. Right. So I says, Too bad oh. it wasn't Kenneth. So <laughs> I had You said, oh, wait a second. There he is in the corner. It, it, no, no, you go, no, that's the healthy guy. The that's guy, Kenneth Keith. Yeah, the guy had a car accident. Yeah, oh, right he knew there. he probably was going to be in the scene with us. I don't know. Oh, but he had got a 
into a car accident, and he said he couldn't make it. Right. So I had wind up doing the scene with him alone. Right. So, oh, so there was supposed to be a guy. I wouldn't have done yeah. it with another that guy. You loved. I got a oh, feeling. Well, of course, you wouldn't have done it with another guy. But well, why was there another guy in the scene? What was he supposed to be? Well, doing? it was supposed to be a three-way. Oh. Two guys what? And me. See, they probably told you that to just. They told me that when that's. They probably just to get you there, and then they said he was in a car accident. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they lied to you. That sounds like that's yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You See wouldn't have been what they have to do to even get a girl to come into a room with you? They have, to, they have to say another guy's going to be there. <laughs> they did bait and switch. Well, she's, uh, when I got there, I was like... Well, what are you saying? She shows up with her boyfriend. I don't have a... That's my manager. It's not my boyfriend. What? That's my manager. What, what did you, you say, Kenneth? I don't follow your logic here. What about what? About a boyfriend. What about a boyfriend? She shows up with her boyfriend. She set you up with her boyfriend? No, she, she shows up with him. Oh, she showed up with her boyfriend. What's wrong with that? I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Weird. It's the whole thing is weird. Weird, yeah. <laughs> it gets weirder. So then, like, so like, you kind of panic because you knew that this was not the well, typical porno shoot. It, it was the typical porno shoot, but I didn't panic. No, I mean, but I you're see. a really good-looking girl. You're not used Thank to having you. slobs like him run their hands all this over you. This is why you got into the business. They have fun, right? Yeah, not to just do have well, charity work. Oh, yeah, Kenneth's right, shooting me looks. Work. Look at him. You're <laughs> mad at me. What are you? Are you going mental on me? <laughs> what are you now right. thinking? You're Olivier or something? No, I wasn't even concentrating on what you're saying. All right. He's getting He's mental. Mad. All right. Yeah, his, his feelings are hurt. <laughs> now, did they Sorry. offer you extra money? Did you say, hey, look, I have to have extra money to make love to this guy? Uh, no. No. You, no. you did it for they, your usual yeah, thing. Yeah, they did it. May I ask what a woman gets for making love to a Kenneth Keith? Not much. Really? Not much. You're Not enough. Not much. <laughs> like what? Like, like 500 bucks? Yeah. Somewhere in there? Yeah. Wow. Are you kidding? I thought yeah. they had to pay like a million dollars. Not much. They don't pay that much. What is but it, Baba Booey? It's fun. It really is. <laughs> really? Well, hold on. You know, the producer of the movie's here. Oh, is it's he? Funny. You know how like we joke about stuff and you know you, you, you have theories on it? You're absolutely right. That there was no other guy. Right, of course. Oh. They had to tell her that. Yeah. <laughs> well, of that course. wasn't fair. That wasn't, See, that nice. wasn't nice. Well, it was the only way they were going to get you. Now, now, they told you that on the phone that it was going to be a yes, three way? Yes, they told me. The, the guy that was in charge they told me it was a three way. I it see. It would be two guys. And um, one guy I've worked with previously. <laughs> Kenneth is a scary looking guy, guy, man. Whoa. So I says I can do this. Right. I'm professional, <laughs> and right. I did it. And All right, I so enjoy, actually, I had fun with it because he was well in the middle of the scene. I don't know if you saw the you said you saw. Well, him. I, let me let me before it you was jump. Laugh, yeah, well, was laugh before I, well, of course, <laughs> before now now, now, let, now I saw you then walk into the room and you were naked and everything, uh -huh. and they they had to use a bunch of uh, lubricant uh -huh. because you just could not get excited. Am I uh -huh. correct? Well, what? I mean, over I a Kenneth. Oh know. yes, I saw the raw. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen the Roy yet. I haven't seen it. Really? No, not yet. I haven't, I haven't even seen the movie. Actually. She didn't even know who I was when I got That's there. That's right. I didn't know She's who I was. Like, Am I confusing uh, the films? I think you are, but you know what you forgot? What? What happened was Kenneth goes over to do the scene, and he was done in about three seconds. Oh, yeah, that and was then funny. then I had to go do a bunch of other stuff and flip the tape. Right. Yeah, well, so yeah, Kenneth... came twice. Well, let's, let's uh, <laughs> say that this... Let's say that uh, Kenneth Kenneth uh, experienced orgasm twice, <laughs> and Kenneth was very quick the first time, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, are you used to that in a porno set? Are no, you, no. This was, he was not very professional, was he? Well, he was very fast. He was right. a fast learner. He was a fast very learner. Very fast learner. All right. So Kenneth <laughs> Kenneth gets naked and begins to uh, make love to you. Uh huh. Now, weren't you like? Wasn't he on a chair and you were dancing around him or yes, something? Yes, he was around. Yeah, him. and I remember they had to really grease you up pretty good. Yeah, because they had to. It was. They had to grease it because it was hard to get excited over Kenneth, wasn't it, as a woman? I mean, let's be honest, Kenneth, I saw the tape. They were having trouble getting her excited. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that you do remember that, don't you? Uh, I, I saw don't, the tape. I don't remember. I, I don't remember. You don't remember. Yeah. Because he sits here like a coat hanger in his shirt. He just oh. sits there. It was, it was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I was uh, just like, he well, just should And now Kenneth there. was rather small, wouldn't you yeah. say? Well, yeah. Yes, yeah. It was hard to hard to get a hold of. Oh, she <laughs> acted like she liked it. Well, uh, she, of course, she's an that? actress. I mean, that's what she <laughs> no, does. She did, didn't, wasn't it? Oh, it was great. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, man. And you believe that, Kenneth. <laughs> it was great. You were done in two seconds. Yeah, but then they took five minute break, and I was right back to it. No, that's true. She was thrilled that you were able to get right back into it. Oh yeah. But it was the most unsexual thing I've ever seen. I mean, it was. Um, I mean, you it were was different. I've never done that before. What? Be with like a really weird guy? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a, not a. Is he the weirdest looking guy you've ever had sex he's with? He's a different looking guy that I've ever. Would you rather have sex with your father or Kenneth? Oh. Um. 
<laughs> exactly. Every That's time you have to think about that, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kenneth, man. So what I noticed when Kenneth pulled down his pants in this porno movie, he was rather tiny. Even in full bloom. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, was he the smallest man you were ever with? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> were you shocked? I mean, it was like, almost like a lesbian film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, it was very good. I had a lot of fun, though. It was, yeah, it was really fun, but it was also kind of hard to get aroused over him. So they. No, well, it wasn't that it was hard to get aroused. It was that... When he was laughing, I lost my concentration. You did. So it was like. Yeah, you were trying to pretend he was someone else. Kenneth, why were you laughing? Were you trying to show that you uh, were professional he was being or insane. cool? <laughs> I don't remember laughing, but some girls like small ones. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Which one? I have yet to find the lady. Oh, that's man. What, that's what they tell Hey, dude, me. no, if, I mean, I'm no bigger than you. I mean, I got a little tiny on, thing there, too. You, but you, that's, that's. I think I was actually, actually, I was proud to watch the movie and say I'm bigger than Kenneth. Because that oh. was like <laughs> a baby. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like a baby, too. I thought I was bad. No, dude. you say you go to a full size yeah, when yeah. you uh, yeah, he's get really, excited. You got a real, man, you, you got, got a gyp. problem. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I wouldn't be showing that in no movie. That's why I went into the movie. <laughs> yeah, you're going for that. Well, you are a comedian now. Then you can laugh at me. You're the funniest guy in porno. <laughs> you are the exact uh, exact opposite of that other guy. It really looked gross. And I noticed that you did a lot of things to Kenneth. And it, it, even if, even his uh, most intimate of areas is disgusting to look at, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's well, not even pretty. It's ugly. Well, I don't like, you know, I don't shave anything. That no, no, I didn't mean shave. I just meant it's odd. I don't. Everything was odd. It was the size of a lipstick. You are an odd person all over. <laughs> <laughs> you are an odd person even down there. I thought maybe like you know, like a lot of retarded guys have like you know they're very big. It's always you know what I mean. Well, well you know, I've been offered to do more, but I, I moves, but I turned them down. Really? Why? Why? When you can get a knockout like this? I mean, when are you ever going to get a girl like yeah. that? Well, um, that's why you did it, right? No, nah, see, I'm I'm very religious. Oh, yeah. oh. What are you talking I found about? I found God, and I, where was I he? I can't do it anymore. Where is he? Do Does he live in that tunnel where you go to the bathroom out in the woods? Nah, I, I don't. What know. do you mean? Did you really find God? No. Yeah, and what happened is yeah. your girlfriend has put a chill yeah. on this, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what did the girlfriend say? Well, I just met her in the bathroom. She was nice. Was she jealous? I mean, you were... You I were... had introdu uh, introduced myself. I right. said, hi, I'm Mickey Lynn. And she goes, oh, you... Thank God I met you in the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, you're a beautiful girl. Are those breast implants or are those your real... Wow. Real. What a body on you. Real. I bet you in high... What age did you start having sex? Um, 14. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Basic. Wish that was with me. Let me <laughs> tell you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, what is this conversion of uh, <laughs> Kenneth Keats? When did you find God? Yeah. No, he didn't find God. Yeah, no, his I girlfriend did. found God. No, I did. I realized, I said, hey, you know, I can keep doing that. But, you know, it's not really, you know, right, so. Right. And plus diseases, too. I mean, don't you worry you're going to, like, oh, get a disease? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Then, yeah. Definitely. Don't you worry they lie to you on the set and tell you everyone had an AIDS test? Well, I make sure I get papers and IDs. Because, like, Kenneth, you had papers for an AIDS test, but didn't you do a porno? And then, didn't you first get your AIDS test, then do a porno, and then go to this shoot? Yeah, the, the, the test I brought was, like, three months old. That's what I'm saying. I checked the data wasn't three months old. Yeah, he had had it three months uh, earlier. So what I'm saying is he was on this. He did. He had to get an AIDS test for another yeah. porno. Yeah, he had so, to. Yes. So he went and did that. Yes, that's the rule. Oh, no. And he and so what I'm saying is you could have picked up the AIDS yeah, at the other porno. You didn't have another AIDS oh. test since then. Yeah, I thought we had one. It was like three months ago. Yeah, and you did the porno in between that. You did two pornos. See? Yeah. Uh, See, so that's well, not I really. The, yeah, I, well, I checked the date and everything. It was, Imagine you it get was AIDS fun. from him. I don't. I don't have it. <laughs> How do you know you don't have it? You look so healthy. Yeah, it looks like you've had it for years. <laughs> it's a, it's a vibe, man. It's a vibe, you know. <laughs> oh. Now I protect myself. You did. You protect yourself? I didn't see you in the movie protecting yourself with uh, Mickey. Well, that's the movie. You know, they don't want you to wear anything on the movie. You know? Right, right. But I'm saying you did have sex with another porn star before Mickey and before, you You know, this was after your AIDS test. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. You know what I'm saying, Mickey? Oh, yeah, I so know what it's you're not saying. The, 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 you know, it's not that well tested. Not well, everybody. We just had we had a big meeting in the um, the industry, mm -hmm. and we told everybody's got to get a DNA every three months. Mm -hmm. A DNA, yeah, a DNA test. If yes. he takes a DNA test, I'll never pass. <laughs> Yeah, Does this have to be a human DNA? Well, yes. Oh. It's got to be a human DNA. And, Kenneth, you don't uh, have human DNA. No. <laughs> you better go douche with Drano, I'm telling you. Ah!
<laughs> Look at Kenneth, man. All right. All right. Not you, huh? He's thinking of going douching. He's, yeah. Not you. You stay right here. <laughs> well, you got some hot body on you, man. Thank you. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Kenneth, man, you lucked out. And now you're out of the industry. Yeah. He'll be back. Yeah, now I'm, I'm hanging up my robbers, man. <laughs> what robbers? Yes, sir. <laughs> I was talking to um, Doug, who works on our E show, and he had a look at all the raw footage from yeah, this movie. Yeah, right. And he said there's a really funny uh, thing. After Kenneth is done with his scene, he's hanging around the set of the movie. Yeah. So there's another scene being shot. This girl's having sex, and she's in the middle of having sex. Kenneth is just sort of standing there gawking at her, and she stops and she says, Could you move him, man? I can't do it with him around. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I wasn't there when that happened. Oh. So were you shocked when Kenneth finished so quickly the first yes. time? I mean, were you like, oh, my like, God. Yeah, like, and they it... would say, well, he goes, well, I could do it again. I could do it again. I was like, you could do it again? Okay. All right. <laughs> so, and then it was, it was something. Because nobody had ever finished that quickly before, right? No. No, you've never seen anything like that. No, not well, an adult. Well, set. you know what? I've I seen got Peter the... North come out, you know, ejaculate a lot, but oh, I've never I'm seen that. I'm going to take that out, too. Uh, well, a little too graphic. <laughs> I got yes. there at all. I can handle it, Mike. <laughs> yeah, right. I got there at 8 o'clock in the 10 o'clock in the morning and I had to, I didn't go on till 8 o'clock at night so I had to sit there for 10, Full day. 10 hours and watch, I, watch everybody else and then I started drinking beers I was on my fourth beer by the time I ended oh, up wonderful. doing that oh yeah <laughs> what a man imagine if he didn't have four beers he would have been quicker <laughs> it's like a jackrabbit <laughs> wow you really know how to satisfy a woman well do you what did you feel afterwards did you feel sick inside or uh, well, did, no. Did you want to quit the business? <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you start evaluating your life? Did you find God? I mean, what happened? Like, afterwards, no. were you a little, like, nauseous? No, I wasn't, actually. I just... Were you turned on I at guess, all? I guess I just uh, thought about somebody else and just right. kept going and just so were you, did, got did, into it. Was there anything enjoyable about it? Did you feel any sexual was, feelings? Well, I didn't feel... It was it was good in a sexual way because it was... He was... I can... I don't know. It was you could weird. pretend it was someone else? Yeah, I guess. I noticed you didn't look at him much. Like, he kept... You almost had sex with... They like, turned away from him. <sighs> Well, you know well, what? She no. was. She wanted me to like lick her butt and stuff. She was trying to say, "Here, lick my butt." And stuff. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I was directing him. Right. Anything yeah. that you wouldn't have to look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so Kenneth, you made this porno movie. Now your girlfriend's upset. Isn't that true? Uh, yeah, Is well, she? Well, I called her uh, a couple weeks before and said, "Hey, you know, I was offered to do this movie. I'm thinking about doing. It. I might do." He it. managed to get a girlfriend. And she's not bad looking. She's Where is your girlfriend? Bring her in here for a second. Is I want to. Still into Kenneth? Yeah, let me ask her what she thinks of all this. She actually wants to marry him. She was know. living back in Chicago at the time, and I was living in Philadelphia. And I she doesn't want to marry you anymore, right? You guys broke up for a while over that. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. She got sick of you. I knew she would. Well, I just didn't want. She's to too good for you. Oh, look, hey, you went blonde. Oh, let me see. You look a little like Ralph. You like uh, it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Turn that mic on. Hi. Do you ups? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. We, Ooh, that doesn't blind? work. Oh, no, my microphone. Wait, let me try this. Let's try it now. Hello? Yeah, that works. Hi. What did you think of Kenneth doing porno? I don't think about it. <laughs> I just try not Is that microphone working? No. I, I got no sorry. microphone. That doesn't work. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I work at, at, at K-Rock. Turn on Billy's. What did you think of that? Put Billy's on. Hi. Hi. Hello? I'm the luckiest man in the is world. Is this on, Howard? Yes. I don't think so. It is not? None of the levels match. It's it's impossible to tell. Now it's on. No, it's not. It's not on. Oh, I don't. I work in a dump. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I sound like your father. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi. I'm going into the porno industry. I like, what's the matter with you? What are you crazy? <laughs> laughing at me? What do you think this is? He's, look, he's looking around like it's not him. <laughs> he's like it's not him. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's laughing. <laughs> you still want to marry Kenneth, or you got that out of your system? It's out of my system. Good. Thank I know it. Are you, are you still making love to him? No, we're in a band together now. Oh. A band? You just like played real fast. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah I played the bass. So you're not even making love to him anymore. I wear a condom if I do. Right, because you can't believe. Are you sickened by the fact that he did porno? I'm saddened by the fact. Right. I'm not sickened by it. I'm so saddened. you used to make love to him. Now you don't want to make love to him anymore. I'm just, I don't know. I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It gave you the skeeves. Yeah. Even though this is a very beautiful woman. Yeah, who, she's yeah. very nice. I'm right. her. She's really cool. Right. Totally. 
that's got nothing to do with it. Right. It's not it's her a, fault. It's a guy thing. It's a guy thing. <laughs> right. You know? You were in love with Kenneth, weren't you? Yeah, I was. And when when he did the porno, you fell out of love with him? Definitely. Wow, wow Kenneth. Oh, did wow. you know it was going to change your he life like that? He didn't tell me. He didn't Stupid. tell me. Stupid. Now you're not going to get it regularly back. anymore. He had me come back. She was the best Whoa. thing you ever had. Yep. Well, you know what? I just, I, don't, I didn't think I was... Ready for a relationship. Oh, <laughs> no kidding. Not ready for anything. <laughs> That's cool. No kidding. Yeah, he's yeah not. right. He's, he's, not. Not. he's, no, not. he's not. He's not. You were ready because you had moved in with him, didn't you? I live with him now. You do live with him? Yeah. But you don't. You don't get into his bed. Uh, yeah. Only if you get really horny. Exactly. Right. Or drink a lot of beers. And <laughs> drink a lot of beer first. <laughs> did you realize how small he was? I mean, because yeah, I knew that. I, I, I knew that a year ago. All right. And did, when I got and, engaged to him. I and knew that. You, you were willing to give up anybody of size. I was in love. You were in love. I was and blinded. You were blinded. I was blinded. <laughs> and was he very fast with you as well? I mean, the way. No, he, he was no? great. He was. He was great. What yeah. happened with uh, Mickey? Because uh, it, with, uh, her beauty over, overcame you, or what? What was it? Well, it was the first time first thing. Time. Yeah, your you know. girlfriend is very beautiful. I don't see why. Well, you I mean, I'm sure if I was with Mickey for like six months, I'd probably be like, you know. You'd be sick of her, too. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kenneth, you're such a charmer. So what happened? You're claiming you broke up with your girlfriend, and she's claiming, in other words, you're saying you got sick of her? No, no. What happened was um, we were living together. We were engaged, and I went to New York for a while to get away from him. Right. And then I went. I couldn't get far enough away, so I went to Chicago. Yeah, and then you. And took he was a, still there. Then you took a plane to Poland. You didn't he know was, what to he do. Was, he was still there. It was cool though, and I, I just, I, he didn't tell me about the pornos. He called me up one day and he said, uh, uh. "What would you think if I did a porno?" And I said, "I think that's all. I just, I don't think that's cool at all. I think that's, I. What do you mean? What do I think? You know? Right. What do you call me up? Right. Asking me. I mean, ask somebody else. Ask right. your guy friends. Right." And I said, no, not at all. So he didn't bring it up again for a couple months. And then he had me come back. And then he said, uh... Yeah, I, I told her... I told you ahead of time on the phone that I mm. did it. <laughs> and then I said, you know... Well, all I know is I was watching the porno, and this beautiful piece-of-ass Mickey... Mickey, uh... Mickey Lynn walks in. How come all strippers are named Mickey Lynn? <laughs> like Lynn. 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 Amy Lynn, Lynn Mickey stripper. Lynn. Yeah. What, you know, what is that? I don't know. But anyway... <laughs> She walks in. I'm like, oh my god! Look at look at stupid Kenneth Keith. Yeah, all of a sudden you're like, no, no, no. She doesn't make love. Right. To and... Now, Mickey, you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I'm not at the time. No, I'm not at the not. time. Uh huh. No, I have a roadie. Yeah. Yeah. But not a boyfriend. But he takes care of you. Yes, he does. Once in a while, have sex with you. Well, no. No. It's really not. A, we tried tried doing movies together, but no. I see. Well. Is Kenneth the worst experience of your porno career so far? No, there's uh, there's, there's one more, yeah. Really? But I'm not gonna say what it is because what, what what went wrong there? Well, when I was for, when I first got into the industry, I was um, young and naive. And what happened? And um, I had uh, done a movie, and I had to sleep with the producer mm. that was doing the movie. Oh my! So that was that was awful. And then I, now I learn you learn from your mistakes. Right, Aww. exactly. And now so I Kenneth know. was the next to the worst experience. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, there you go, Kenneth. There's your rating. One, there was one more that was worse. <laughs> oh yeah. There's another girl from the movie that wants to meet you, Howard. If oh, is that right? right? All right, bring in the girl. Oh, I know. Who you this is Caressa, and she'll oh. get topless if you ask her. Really? Well, Caressa, she's probably topless already. <laughs> wow, look at those. And those are obviously are those implants? I don't care. That I don't. I mean, I don't. It doesn't bother me what they are. Look what I brought you, Howard. What is that? You brought me some naked pictures of yourself. In your oh, life. and you're like, and you like girls? Is that right? Yeah, I love girls. You love girls, and you never made love to Kenneth. Keith, did you? Hi, honey. No, I didn't. Oh, and the two of you have done love scenes together? <laughs> no, not yet. Not, not yet. yet? Oh, I'd like <laughs> to see one right now. <laughs> She's got one of those belly button rings and a chain. Yeah, what do you got there? You're pierced on your belly button and you're, you got a chain on there, right? Mm -hmm. No, wow. no kidding. You wearing panties? Yeah, of course. Let me see. Oh, she seems pretty <laughs> eager. <laughs> and what about you? Were you molested too as a child? Oh, God. No? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't molested at all. Would you like to be? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. You so say you uh, you uh, didn't get to. Me did you see the movie with Kenneth Keith? Oh yeah. Of course. Did you think it was bizarre? It was yeah. Wild. Yeah. Very 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 bizarre. Uh, yeah, Kenneth was walking around with a major heart on. Well, uh, oh, Kenneth, don't take the microphone away from her. What Kenneth wants to say something? What is it? I didn't even see the movie. You didn't? I saw. Yeah. It. You should be thoroughly ashamed What's of yourself. Up, What's up? I'm <laughs> telling you, I saw everything. Uh, I'm not. Your girlfriend was right. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, you girls are very lucky, and you were never and you were never uh, molested or anything. You just yeah, love. I just like to have sex. Yeah, you know? well, me too, yeah. right? I'm for that. 
And you two have never done a lesbian scene together? Not yet. We've been in the same movie since. Would you like yeah. to do a lesbian oh, scene yeah. with her? You would? Yeah. You're attracted to women? Yes, I am. You two never even kissed? Yes. No. Nope. Want to kiss? Yo, yeah. get. We're going down on each other. No, oh, oh, honey, you got to watch your language a little bit. Can we see you kiss? Can we see the two of you kiss? Let's see. Wow. Oh, whoa. Hey, I got a little porno thing going here. That is so sexy. You two make a very nice couple. A lot nicer than Kenneth Keith. Yeah. Well, Kenneth Keith, is there anything you want to say uh, about your new porno career, or is that it, pretty much? Uh, no, I'm just, um, well, if I was going to get a, mo a porno movie, I would get that movie. Okay. But... I'm not going to do any more movies because, like I said... Uh, your career is over. And I to your girlfriend... This is the only way you can see Kenneth Keith because he's retiring. <laughs> <clears throat> to your girlfriend, let me uh, let me have your first name again, please. Rebecca. Rebecca, yeah. Rebecca let me ask you this. Sure. If um, if Kenneth now swears off pornos, will you go back to him as a girlfriend? Mm, nah. No. Oh, wow. Well. Nah. Nah. Are you sorry you lost her? Nah, time goes on. <laughs> <laughs> you will find yeah. other girls? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Would you like a relationship with uh, Mickey here? With this beautiful girl that you met in the porno? Oh. <laughs> Would you like to ask her out on a date? No, I don't think it's a good time for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Well, she doesn't seem like she likes you all that much. That's all right. I tell you, you porno girls really know how to dress. Yeah. It's, uh, i got to compliment you. What kind of shoes are you wearing there with the belly button ring? They're my cool shoes. Oh, look at those. Oh, yeah. Even your girlfriend knows how to dress. Have six-inch spikes on. Six-inch spikes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that, man. Hey, look, well, you all look very good. I love porno girls. I love strippers and porno girls. What about uh, Kenneth's girlfriend? Would you ever be in a porno? No, I'm would in a band. Would you ever kiss another girl? No, I won't kiss another girl. You won't kiss another girl? No, I like guys. No, I see. You won't kiss these girls. I like All right. Guys. Too bad. I will get you. You proved you like guys. You yeah. Come on, come on, kiss <laughs> another girl. <laughs> come on. Oh. You want to see that, Kenneth? Above, huh? Would you get turned on by that? Uh, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm wondering <laughs> if, Car if Caressa likes sex so much, would she kiss Kenneth? Caressa, would you actually do a scene with Kenneth? Uh, I don't do scenes with guys. Oh, you don't? You only do with girls? I only do them with girls. Oh, is that, is you're, that right? You're, you're a, a lesbian? lesbian? Well. <laughs> yeah. When you see or Kenneth, you are. Lesbian. What was that? Oh, I see. In here, you're a lesbian? What did she say? In porno, she's in a lesbian. Oh, in porno, you're a lesbian. Mm -hmm. So you're not attracted to Kenneth either? Well... He's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen worse. All right, very good. Well, there you go. And uh, Mickey, you will never do another porno with Kenneth Keith. If they called on you and said we want to we want to reprise the role, would you? Well, uh, actually, I wouldn't because since I hurt his girlfriend so much, I wouldn't. You wouldn't I don't do think, it. Yeah, I don't think because I wouldn't right. want to inf interfere with uh, a relationship like that. I see. Well, you know what? We weren't really together. Me and her we and girlfriend. They were, we were broken up anyway. We, we were. We were separated. It wasn't like <laughs> you and were then cheating. Right? After the movie was done, then I said, hey, you know, <laughs> said, I said, you know, if you'll forgive me for doing the movies and, co and come back, you yeah. know, that'd be cool. If not, that's cool, too. All right, everything's cool with you. That's great. Well, you breeze through life. <laughs> and Caressa, you, you live up to your name. I see you keep caressing yourself. Your hands keep going down your own pants and you're rubbing your belly ring and you're, you're totally into yourself, aren't you? Uh -huh. Yes, nothing wrong with that. Do you like to stand in front of the mirror naked and rub yourself mm -hmm. and stuff? You do. Uh -huh. Wow. Do you go to the beach and wear little thongs and try to turn guys on yeah, and stuff? Yeah, I go to a beach where we can run around naked. You can run around around naked. Mm -hmm. Where is this beach? In Malibu. So in Malibu, you run around naked? It's private beach. And do uh, celebrities come up to you sometimes and want to meet you? Yeah, they want to do that, too. <laughs> they do, huh? They want to do lots more, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, could you give us names? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no names. kidding. Well, you got some hot body, I'll tell you that. Oh, thank yeah, nothing you. wrong with that. <laughs> so you girls actually go off with celebrities and stuff sometimes? I have never. No. I have. You have, really? <laughs> wow. No names. No names? <laughs> Good for you. No Super name. girl. A lot of fun, you girls. <laughs> uh, Kenneth, look at you. Your head's going to explode. Well, Kenneth also has a uh, music. If any record uh, studios want to uh, produce this. What do you call this band? What is the Keith band? Kallenbach band. The I Kenneth Keith Callenbach band. You do? Yeah. This is you on bass? Yes, yeah, that's our own bass. Kenneth Keith Callenbach band? Yes. Great song. Listen to it. Are you guys going to tour anywhere? Yeah. We got a yes. Yeah? Right. Where will you be playing? In uh, media. In media? Media... Somewhere. All right, that's a way to promote. <laughs> and we will uh, be back after these words. Thank you. Yeah. This week on Howard 100 and Howard 101, Whack Packers from all across the galaxy. I'm from Vietnam, brother. Mm -hmm. Are back. You stupid <laughs> bastard. What the hell you laughing at, you fat, bald-headed faggot? The Whack Pack strikes back.
How are you feeling, kid? You don't look so bad to me. You look strong enough to pull the ears off a gun dark. <laughs> Thanks to you. That's do you owe me, Junior. The Whack Pack strikes back. May the dorks be with you. Yowza, baby. Yeah, it's Monday. And, um... So much going on. You know... Excuse me. There's a lot of singing. I got the funniest... <laughs> I don't know, man. I got the greatest thing in the mail just about a couple of days ago. I know you got one, too. What? Uh, the invitation to Crackhead Bob's wedding. Oh, yeah. I got. I a, was shocked. I, oh, I couldn't understand right. it. It looks like um, Crackhead Bob couldn't afford to buy a you know regular wedding invitation. Invitations, yeah. Which doesn't surprise me. But well, I thought he was making money out there on the circuit. Yeah, you know, I don't know how much of that money he's getting to him. <laughs> but it came on a nice piece of like it looks like a computer paper. It's paper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a regular old paper. Miss Nina Finnegan and Mr. George Bob Harvey. Me, I'm so out of it. I thought some guy was just sending me an invitation. I yeah. said, who is this? Invite you to share in their joy as they are joined in holy matrimony. The celebration of love. That's <laughs> it. I think so. And then it gives the date. It's awfully wordy. Yes, and it tells where it is. You're invited to join in worship and witness our vows. <laughs> Oh, no. Are they having, like, a real religious service? But wait a second, though. Witness our vows. Is he going to get up and read vows? Dang, and, dang, oh, you, oh know. you think he'll be that's reciting? It, but that's so. <laughs> yeah, what? And, you know, that's it, but that's so. <laughs> what did you say? Thank that's you for it. everything. <sighs> and, you know, that's it, but that's You know so. what? I think he should stand at the altar and he should have to walk down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it a real show. Yeah, when he goes walking down the aisle, baby, it's a whole think so. it's a whole experience. Feel oh, the Lord yeah. dragging that leg in the yeah. arm. Anyway, immediately following, there'll be refreshments for all to enjoy. Refreshments? Oh, I gotta see. I gotta Not see. a re uh, reception? Mm, no. Oh my! If you are unable to attend, we ask your presence in thought and prayer. Maybe we ought to throw them a wedding if they have no money. <laughs> Yeah, I've already spent my load on Scott the Engineer's Scott charity. I some money for their wedding. Oh, man. <laughs> this is too funny. So are you going? <laughs> hey, Crackhead. You, or will you be there What's in going thought? On? Aren't we go I'm going to probably be there in thought and prayer. <laughs> Crackhead. What's going on? Uh, you're definitely going ahead with this, huh? Yeah. 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 You know, you sure you don't want to save yourself? There's probably a lot of other fish in that sea. We never tried to see who else was out there. There's a lot of fish in that crack-infested sea. Ah, uh, come on now. Yeah, so you're going to go through with it? Yeah. yeah. Hey, are you going to say vows? Yes. Have you written your vows yet? No. Are you going to actually, you know, you're going off script. You're going to actually turn to Nina and say something to her? Yeah. What oh, will you wow. say? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It'll be like <laughs> this, I'm sure. You haven't even thought about it? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, in one month, uh, one month and two days, so. Right. You're getting married on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. That way you'll remember the date. <laughs> <laughs> How many people will you invite to this wedding? A lot, a lot. How many is a lot? One, 100. 100 people? Yeah. And maybe you, too. Oh, oh you're not even counting. <laughs> That'd be 101. No, you're, you're two. 102. No. One hundred with your toe, you know. Oh, oh with oh, me too. With you too. Yeah. Oh, I see. And and, and uh, you know, every daddy has a daddy -o, If you want, I mean, that's uh, uh. <laughs> I can't wait for the vows. You know, maybe you know what? We, in, in any case, we got to send a camera crew. Well, we're not having them wet married right here. No. Oh, what do you think dear. I am, Tiny Tim and Johnny oh, Carson? Come on. You want to marry him right here with the yes. vows? Yes. All right. Can we do it here? I just want to, you see, because the only part I want is when is he does about. Do you really want to have the whole wedding on the air? Weddings are boring. Well, you know, we can make it. You know, we'll have some entertainment. I'll tell you what. Far. What time are you getting married? What time is this? Uh, afternoon. Afternoon? Is it yeah. a weekday? Uh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. A Saturday? Saturday. Oh. Saturday. Oh, because I said we could cover it live, but. 
I say we just get a camera crew down there and, and, and then, play the tape. Yeah, because I don't want to sit through a whole wedding on the air. I mean, I've heard weddings done on the air and they're boring. Yeah. And boring. It's funny to say we're going to have Crackhead Bob's wedding. Yeah. But then you got to sit and wait for the vows and the waiting kills you. I wouldn't wait. I mean, we do a simple ceremony. Yeah, you're going to say to the you're going to say to them, listen, you got to get married. Get your vows right now. You got to get married in two minutes. <laughs> do you guys think you could do a wedding in like five minutes? I don't. I think no. 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 Hmm. I thought you were a media whore. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. So anyway, there it is. Uh, the crackhead Bob wedding. Are you going to go? Um, what? I'm not going. <laughs> no. No. I don't think. I think I'm busy that Saturday. Oh, come on. I know. I'm out of the country that Saturday. <laughs> yeah. For you. For you, right? <laughs> Listen, first of all, you know who Crackhead Bob Who's is? Who's going to be there, Crackhead? We can't be there. Crackhead is a guy we met when I used to do book signings. That's right. He'd be the first person in line. Yeah, he'd wait out in the cold <laughs> for three days. He'd camp out. Now I'm going to his wedding? Yeah. I mean, come on. What? <laughs> I don't want to be at his wedding. Oh, so no. Me, are are no. her parents going to be there? Yeah. Really? They like you? Yeah. They hey. do. Somebody said probably the whole whack pack will be there. Who else oh, yeah, is invited? Yep, yep. Who else is invited? Elephant Boy? Don't die. How do you say that? Don't die. <laughs> and who else? And Thanks. Captain Janks? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and more, uh, 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 not Don't Toy, uh, uh, come on. <laughs> All right. Come on, who? Kenneth Keith? Same thing. <laughs> Kenneth Keith Kalenbach? Yeah. He's going to be there? Yeah. And you too. Come on, baby. Kenneth, you're going to the wedding? Yeah, dude. Listen to this. The, the wedding's at 2.30, and it's a reception from 7 to 12. So what am I supposed to do between 2.30 and 7? Can you explain that, Bob? <laughs> what? What am I supposed to do between 2.30 and 7? <laughs> Uh, yeah, how can you get married at 2.30? And not have a party until 7. Yeah, 7 to 12, it said. And I don't even know how to get there. <laughs> He's angry. Can you give me directions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's angry he was invited. I don't blame him. But I'm angry, coming. too. He's coming. Food. Yeah. And now, another moment in Crackhead Bob History. Before he became internationally famous, did you know that Bob spent two years working as a supermarket manager? Bacon in dial seven. Bacon in dial seven. Go daddy, ding it off. And ding on. And before that, Bob was an ordained minister. Daddy of dice. Daddy of dice. Body of Christ indeed. Tune in next time to learn about how Bob was Martin Luther King's speechwriter. See that, see that. Don't I, Daddy? I'm see that. <laughs> Another moment in Crack Pack History. The Whack Pack Strikes Back. Continues now. <laughs> okay, ready for Crackhead Bob? Or do I uh, do I have to do this first? What is that? Uh, uh, let me just clear out the phone line because this guy's been holding on since six. Gary tells me. Uh, Eric, go ahead. Eric. Okay. You there? All right. We can move on to Crackhead Bob. All right. So we sent Crackhead Bob out to uh, the Graceland had its twentieth anniversary of Elvis's death. Yes. So we take Crackhead Bob, and we dress him up in an Elvis costume. <laughs> And hang a sign over his head that says he's Elvis's cousin. Good premise? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's right in front of Graceland? Yeah. Now, meanwhile, he's, like, so retarded looking as Elvis. But meanwhile, the guys, there's a ton of guys walking around as Elvis impersonators. Yeah, everybody's dressed like Elvis. And uh, they're looking as retarded as he is. <laughs> and, but they're goofing on him and stuff, which makes no sense. Elvis impersonators shouldn't be allowed to goof on anybody. Crackhead Bob, man, he's out there. So Crackhead Bob tries to go into Graceland. They won't let him in. You know you're not allowed to be an Elvis impersonator and go into Graceland? Oh, you cannot dress like Elvis no. and get through the gate? No. I didn't know that. I, can Who you believe that? Isn't that dumb? Like that. He was right in front. What? He, he was right in front of Graceland. Yeah. In this wacky Elvis costume, no problem. He took like two steps backwards, 
and was on the property, and like Secret Service, they descended on him and tossed him right off. They tossed him right out because he looked like Elvis. Man, a why retarded is that? Elvis. Why can't you dress like Elvis and I be on the ground? Like, why would you care? You should be happy somebody even shows up to Graceland. They actually have so many people, they can have rules. So here is Bob as Elvis. First uh, off, we have... Um, so the premise is that people can come up and ask Bob any yeah, question. You're allowed to ask questions. So people think like he's there as part of the 20th anniversary. Oh, you're kidding. They thought yeah. it was official. Right. <laughs> At tout à l'heure. Oh, there's French. The question is, what was the recording that he made for his mother? But, uh, the, uh, the dad, too. Pardon? Dad, too. So sorry. Is that, does that answer your question? I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Bob, say your answer again. Dad, too. I'm sorry, I don't understand that. Uh, Bob, please repeat your uh, your answer. Bob's on. <laughs> well, I don't know what that means. I know the I know the answer, but uh, I don't know what he said. See, this guy didn't understand. We said you could ask Elvis's cousin any question. He was giving him like trivia questions because he wanted to. Well, see, see if he was valid. Well, that's what most people did, Howard. Yeah, I know. It's weird because why, like, why are they doubting he's Elvis's cousin? Well, he wasn't doubting it. He thought it was like, I think he thought Bob was like a trivia master. Yeah, but wouldn't you want to know stuff about right. Elvis? You know. Well, they want to know what song he recorded for his mother. I know. Everyone got into this trivia thing. It was weird. Bob, you want to repeat him one more time, loud, nice and loud, so he can hear you? Uh, that was God. The song was my happiness. Okay. That Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir. Okay. <laughs> People would come up and ask him to sing and stuff. Well, that's it. And he does anything. Would you like him to sing a song for you? Yes, yeah, sing a song. Well, you should you make a request. Suspicious minds. Dig, dig, do, dig, you, dig, dig, you, dig, you, you, yeah, dig. Now he's in front of Graceland singing this thing, and this woman is like, oh, my God. <laughs> he sounds like he's doing an Indian portion. Oh, yeah, I like think you. Suspicious yeah. Minds. <laughs> Don't sound like it. That's Suspicious Minds. Yeah. And you know, these people have not one ounce of sense of humor. That sound. <laughs> <laughs> they think you. Don't sound like he's saying that. Yeah. Make another request. Love me tender. Crunchy tender. Crunchy tender. <laughs> and they're getting pissed because they think this is part of the celebration. Love me tender. No, it's not. What's he speaking in? He's speaking English. What kind of drugs is he on? Yeah, what kind of drugs is he on? That's what I want to know, a sick dog. And he's in that Elvis. He's, he's got the bad wig on and the, the arm and, the, oh. and, he, and his bad gimpy arm and TCB sunglasses and everything. And the sideburns are nowhere near the hair. <clears throat> yeah, right. Oh, that's so funny. But everybody thinks Bob is foreign. I don't know what they think. I mean, they're looking at him pissed because they think it's part of the celebration and, and they paid. With. Yeah, and they're not pleased with the activity. <laughs> In what Elvis movie did Elvis sing the song Violin? Something. Violin. Something. What movie? Something. Does that answer your question? I didn't hear what he said. Bob repeat. Something. I am baked? No. <laughs> What's that? What, what, what movie did Elvis sing the song Violin? Something. What, what's the answer? I don't understand what he said. Dial day. Clam bake? That's wrong. Uh, what language is he speaking? It's Hawaii. He was in the trouble with girls. What do you say? He speaks Hawaiian? Hawaiian. <laughs> Hawaiian. He's Hawaiian. <laughs> Elvis is cussing from Hawaii. Dial it. Dial it date. I thought he said dial it date. I thought he was saying dial it date. Yeah. Trouble with girls? Right. <laughs> All right, so here some, comes some British broad. Well, we've come from England, and there was 990 came with us. Yeah. 990? 990, and we got 26 coaches. This woman's just really mad because she's flown all the way from England, and she thinks Bob has been put out there as part of, you know, she's like, well, there's a ripoff. Well, yeah, she's proud that she brought 990 yeah. people with her. And then she got to Graceland, and then she sees Bob. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah. So you're going to be spending the day here all day? We've been here oh, since yes. last Friday. Went yeah. to Triple O for three days. Then we've Going come home up tomorrow. Here. Going home tomorrow to England. And we love Elvis. Yes. So, oh, yeah. So being from oh, yeah. Sweden, is it, is it great to meet Elvis' oh, long lost cousin Bob? Oh, yes. And oh, can I ask you, have you visit court? Maybe I can call you from the club in Sweden. You can come over and sing it. Okay. Maybe you have a car. No, but we, we like people. So all these tourists are really digging meeting yeah, Elvis' cousin. They're going to hire him to go to Sweden and sing. Yeah, until he starts talking. Bring over from many places in the world. Elvis impersonator type people. Yes. But this is his cousin. This is officially his cousin. No, he's yes. not. Never. No, never. No. Well, would you like him to sing? Elvis couldn't have a retarded cousin. That's the song, and you will sing it, and you will be able to sell Anyone can sing Elvis songs. All the impersonators down at the Hotel. That's not a well, cousin. Ask him Elvis a question. would be 62 now. This How old cousin. are you? 59. What? 59. I can't even understand you. 31. Right, and how are you Elvis's cousin then? Through what relation? Because I did. Yeah, well, tell us, who is your auntie that was Elvis's? What, what's your relation to do with Elvis's because family? Because you know I, I this like girl? Let him answer the question. You know this, this girl? Yeah. Donna? <laughs> yes. What was your question, ma'am? The question yes, is... Yes. What who are, what relatives are you related to that come directly from Elvis? Names for names. Who is yeah, names for names. Your mother? What was the mother? Who is your mother? Daddy what? Daddy thing. What? Daddy thing. Bada. Bada. I can't even understand you. It's from Hawaii. What was your mother's name and what was her relationship to Elvis? If you're his Daughter. cousin. Daughter. Song. Yeah, but what, what relation are they to Elvis? If you're this guy's a retard and you're yelling at him. And you've got to be closely related. Yeah. Oh, well, how are He's you? American. The bloody foreigner. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bloody foreigner. <laughs> Come on. You're not American. You're not American. How can you be rel a relation to Elvis? You can't even give us a name of an auntie or anybody. Yeah, Darwin, then. Well, we can't even understand you. <laughs> You're not an American. You're not American. Yeah. You're not American. No way. Right. You're not You're not. rubbish. You're not American. <laughs> I would throw that really down if I were you before you get assaulted by the rest of the true Elvis fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they're like browbeating this retard. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, well, you got to do. I tell you, man, you go outside of Graceland, man. It's just, it's sick out there. <laughs> and then some them other guy. Didn't this next guy come over and start, start yelling at he, them? He got pissed off because he had actually met Elvis once, and he was explaining how you know what Elvis means to people. And yeah, you check this out. Everyone's pissed at Bob now. Why do you have to die? With the Ida. The Ida. Wait a minute. That was the doctor's fault. Yeah. Can you give me a wave? What? Yes. It's like a conversation with a total retard. Yeah, he's like, no, 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 that was the doctor's fault. Why and isn't it amazing? Die? Like, people, when Bob just grunts, they hear things in it. <laughs> and they, they start yelling at him. They keep going to the next spot. Right. Why don't they send that prick to prison? You should. You should. I mean, I think Elvis would have still been with us if it had uh, that doctor left him alone. I'm so mad at you too. I mean, me too. Exactly. <laughs> she was mad at you. Elvis was for real. Yeah. He was uh, the love of a lot of lives. So everyone's coming up to pay homage to Elvis's cousin. I'm telling you, we should have rounded up all these people. Well, we got them on tape, so. Take them away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. He's actually having a conversation with Oh, Bob. yeah. And, and like Chauncey Gardner. It's so, yeah. sort of like people hear whatever they want to yeah. hear in Bob. Yeah. Yeah. He was important to us. Maybe he just didn't know how important he was to us. Yeah. And that's what eats my lunch. Because yeah. if he could just see this today and know how many people yeah. loved him, maybe he would restrain from those drugs. Yeah. I mean, we're what he was all about. I'm from the 50s. Yeah. We are what he was about. 
animal grunting in the background. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Bob to say something to him. That's it. He was a part of us. He was an error that struck home. Like the Beatles. I mean, you know, they started to bad. Elvis was for real. That's it. Okay. Did you know that Elvis used to make uh, monkeys? I met Elvis. You did? Right there at the gate. He rode his horse up there at the gate. I got a signed autograph from him. This was back in 1956 when I was a teenager. <laughs> Wow. Jeez. And he's still living with that memory. <sighs> well, then you should be very happy to meet his long lost cousin. I ain't going for that crap. Oh. Oh, I thought he was buying it. I thought he and Bob were both buying it. Yeah, so did I. You know, I do Vester, I do all of them. Thank you, though. Vester Thank was you. a friend of mine. Thank you. Yeah. He's walking away and he just kept yelling at Bob. Like, yeah. He's pretty mad at Bob. He is? Yeah. Oh, God. So then we tell Bob to go cry in front of Graceland, uh -huh. but nobody notices. Nobody cares. Gangi said Bob was the least weird thing that was going on in front of yeah. Graceland. That's what's weird about seeing it on videotape, because I watched the video. Uh -huh. Crackhead Bob's there crying, and you'll hear, and it's just like, Sorry, baby. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Jesus. Oh. Oh. You want a tongue, baby? You see a tongue? You see the tongue? Jesus, so, baby. Jesus, so. You see the tongue? Oh. And nobody tongue. knows. No, nobody cares. Oh, dear. Wow. <laughs> yeah, all right. So then, uh, the, the, <laughs> this is Crackhead Bob's visit to Graceland. <laughs> this is hysterical. Tina Don. Tina oh, Don, baby. baby. The, whole, the only word he can say clearly is baby. I don't know. Then these two Elvis impersonators get pissed off at Bob because they don't like the fact that he's parading around as a cousin. Uh -huh. You guys would call yourself Elvis impersonators? I've been doing it for about 10 years now. And they look weirder than Bob, quite frankly. Yeah, I've been doing about six. Where are you guys from? Well, I'm from Baton Rouge, and he's from uh, Walker, Louisiana. All right, I just have a couple questions for you. Would you worship a guy who died taking drugs? I don't want to answer that. Why not? Because I don't, I don't think he died from taking drugs. Oh, what did you think he died of? Oh, he died of, um, he died of, he was sick. He was taking, he was taking prescription drugs, but I think the man had a heart attack. That's proven. They, they did, they, that's, you know. <laughs> boy, these guys, they love Elvis. Oh, boy, they'll justify anything. Don't we have two different countries in this country? I think maybe several. You know how Canada, we've learned that they have people who want the French culture and then the people who want the English culture? Well, th we have, like, them... We want. We have people who want the dumb culture. The dumb culture, people who and want then we the have. Smart yeah, then we have the smart culture. <laughs> like, like I know. I just can't be living in the same country with these people. They're not electing our president. Put the Elvis people in Montana. They're driving around. All right. I like that. How can uh, Elvis be a role model if he dated an underage girl? I don't want to tell you anymore. Uh, <laughs> no. Any comment on it? I don't have any comment on it. On that one. Can I ask you another one? Do you think that if more if more people knew that Elvis paralyzed the woman's breast with a pool cue, it would change their minds about him? I don't know what Elvis did, and that wasn't proven to me. I can't judge the man. Hey, Elvis. About what other people say. What about, did you know that Elvis called ice cream Itty Tream? No, I did not. Did you know that he called... Elvis did call ice cream Itty Cream. Really? Yeah, Itty Cream. Itty cream. Where's my itty cream? Why? Is that what he called it? Or because he talked baby talk. Yeah. His mommy, you know, he never, he he had a weird, he, I told you, he used, to, he used to sit there and massage at the back of his mother's boil. <laughs> his mother had a boil on the back of her neck, and he'd massage it, and he called that sooty. Satin. 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 Yeah, but sooty. Sooties was the feet. Feet. Oh, her her feet. Her feet. And, and his, his goddamn mother looked like a raccoon. <laughs> was that to make her feel good or for good luck for him? No, it was it was it was just I'm like serious. but he used to sleep with her until he was like eighteen or something. <laughs> so you think he was getting off on rubbing the boil, yeah. do you? Yeah. And He's, so was she. And I mean, you know, if your mom has a boil on the back of her neck, do you want really to rub it? It's a boil. Most people wouldn't even make reference to it. I know, and he named it. <laughs> That's my satin. Satin.
<laughs> That's my satin. It a cream. Give me some made cream for Mama while I rub her satin and her sooties. Put up her sooties on the. Uh, <laughs> he had sofa. baby talk. He was a little baby, Elvis. Named a boil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just love your boil so much. What else did he name? I just love you so much. He wrote a million. Yeah. <laughs> Name that boil. <laughs> <laughs> and his mama had raccoon eyes, just like Elvis did, because they had those blackening yeah, of the don't eyes. Look good on a woman. No, big giant dark circles. <laughs> big old raccoon eyes. What is that from? I don't know, but they all have it. It's lack of sleep. Because even Lisa Marie had it for a while, and then she lost it. Like she did. Yeah, I used to see it she on really her. She covers it like, with makeup. Yo younger pictures of her when she was like like seventeen or eighteen, you would see it. She's a piece of ass. God, she looked good at she, the MTV you know, Awards. I don't even think that was her. That was her. It was a whole different person. Mm. But doesn't she look like she's? In another world, and yeah. she doesn't know where she is. Yeah. Like, I think El Elizabeth Elise Marie is kidnapped, mm -hmm. and they drug her and bring her up. I know. I think Scientology has a hold on her. <laughs> Isn't she a Scientologist? Always not here. Yeah. She doesn't look like she's in the Well, Elvis had that same look. And even when, you know, when she was uh, married to Michael Jackson, I don't think she knew it. I love the shooties. <laughs> shooties and, uh, and Shatton would be my itty bitty cream. <laughs> <laughs> itty cream. Itty cream. Itty cream. Itty cream. <laughs> I had no idea what the man did in his personal life. He's a human being like you are, bro. He had his own problems. And you got problems, too. You don't need to be around him. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You got real problems now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have problems real soon. We don't need your kind around here. Got a gun rack in the back. Where are you from, New York? Jew. From the ghetto? Is <laughs> 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 that Ganji out there? Yeah, yeah. that's Ganji. Ganji. Thank you very much. You're on the wrong one. Nice Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. Get your ass kicked. You're in the wrong place. They were pissed off at Crackhead Bob. Hey, is, uh, so so then we got to ask the English one? No, no, no. This, this is actually Mark wrong. So then there was this lady that yeah. was out in front of Graceland, and she is really pissed off that Ganji's going around asking people these Elvis questions. Uh -oh. And she's got so many theories about, um, about uh, Priscilla and about the drugs and everything. Okay. It's not worship, okay? Like you guys are trying to say. I mean, we had this woman here with Mickey Mouse on and telling these young kids that they were, um, you know, worshiping the devil and that uh, drugs and the whole thing. Okay, what you guys got to remember is he took prescription drugs, okay? Wow. And he had a lot of sickness. He had, he had glaucoma, he had colon. I mean, you know, problems. He had, he had all kinds of I stuff. got a colon. And there's not nobody. You know, Elvis was 42 when he died. How many problems could yeah. you have? How, how could he have sickness. been this sick? The, the, the colon... sickness from all the drugs. The colon problems were from taking all the drugs. Yes, colon spazzed out. They, they, they take colon. some kind of prescription drugs, you know. And to make it look like he took street drugs is really bad. And why does the media want all the, you know, negative stuff? I mean, the man, you know, when we say king, we're not putting him above Jesus. Even he said that. Really? He said Jesus is the king. Okay? But that's just the title because we can't give him any higher title than the king. How about emperor? He's still under Jesus. <laughs> and true Elvis fans believe that. Believe me. You know, we're not crazy. Come into the light. Come. Oh, welcome. Come into the light. Oh, children, oh, welcome, oh, come into the light. Come, children, <laughs> come into the light. Crossover, children, all are welcome, all welcome. Go into the light. Well, let, me, let me ask you a question. You know, and, you know, all those other questions, right. you know, how many inches in a foot? Well, how many are there? Well, come on. And I'm not going to go through all that because I see your purpose. You're trying to say, okay, Elvis fans are so stupid, they don't even know this, but they know about Elvis. Right. You know, that's what you're trying to do. Well, all right. It's, but it's, it's no, wrong. But let me wrong. ask you a question. Since you know all about Elvis, no, I don't knowing know. a lot. But he, let me tell you, he didn't seduce a 14-year-old, okay? He, in the South, mm. in those days, and I don't know if they still do it, but that was the thing, okay? Wow. They got, he was 21. He was a young man. Right. Okay? And she was a very mature 14-year-old. Oh, yeah. yeah, so give me your daughter. She knew her. Yeah. Knew and her, her sure father is the one that gave permission for her to come down here. And Elvis promised to marry her. And he, would you let whether your, he would loved you let your 14-year-old daughter? No, I wouldn't. Date somebody 20 years? No. Old. But you know whose fault that is? It's not Elvis's. It's the parents. <laughs> and she got 
everything. Yep. Okay? She got bought and she got everything. You tell them. It's yeah. the oh. truth. And, you know, they're going around asking all kinds of questions just to see how stupid we are about anything. How many inches in a foot? You know? Well, how many? Did you know that? Did you know that? I mean, here's Elvis, a man who uh, shot a gun at someone who gave. No, that gave is incorrect. He shot a gun at a television set. Well, that okay? we know too. No, because he was angry. And you know what? He can do that because that's who he was. He's the if I want to shoot He's a television, I can. But that's not going to make any news, you right. know? But he didn't do it because someone gave him the finger. So don't try to make that kind of a story. No. Okay? He was a lonely man among all the people, but he loved the people. You know, he loved the people. Wow. And yes, you love him. Yes. Yes. Come and see but not, not, not so children. <laughs> I'm not worshiping him like you guys are trying to make it look. Okay? He was one in a million. There'll never be another one like him. What about me? You know? I'm one in a million. Man. What's wrong with that? What about Crackhead Bob? Don't put him down. And Priscilla was no sweet little thing. Come on. So you don't like 14 Priscilla? 14-year-old. That sounds like Nambla. The 14-year-old knows what they're doing. They're, they're not... Uh, She's no sweet little thing. 14-year-old knows. Been there. She's been, <laughs> she's been around the block. Yeah, she got everything. <laughs> no, I don't like what she did well, to Elvis. What she did to Elvis? What she do? When you're married to Elvis and you have an affair with your karate instructor and you leave Elvis for the karate instructor and then when he died she was living with her hairdresser okay they were divorced no I'm sorry so you think she shouldn't have gotten anything she you know what she is the mother of his only child that is her place in history there's okay? Lisa Marie. she'll always be the mother of Lisa Marie and that is why we in our wow. own way. Do you know anyone so... You know, we're on in Memphis. Ooh. We're on WMFS 92.9. these people? Yeah, I was nervous going on to Memphis. I almost didn't allow our show to go on to Memphis. <laughs> you have to support her and like her in a sense because we can visit Graceland. But as a person, no. No. But Elvis made a promise to marry her when she was 14. Absolutely. And he kept that promise whether he loved her or not. Beautiful. Black Pack Strikes Back continues now. You know, Bigfoot, our new whack pack, we had him go sing Hotel California. I'm as bad as him. Like, he doesn't know one word to the song. <laughs> we said to him, sing your favorite song, Bigfoot. And he starts singing, and it's like every other word he gets wrong. This is his favorite. Yeah, this is his favorite. Bigfoot. Highway. in my hair. They tried to have him make a phony phone call. He wasn't any good at that? I mean, he was pretty good. It's just that he starts arguing with this lady and, yeah, you know. <laughs> what? Get back to Gary's dad. Hello? Hey, listen up at this. Yeah, who's this? This is the neighbor of this. This is a neighbor of yours? No, it's a neighbor of yours. Oh, of mine. And who may I ask who the neighbor is? Brutus. Brutus? Yeah. Your cat keeps coming in my yard and you're sitting on my bushes. I don't have cats that go into the yard. Bullshit. 
Yeah, maybe it was your pussy in my yard. How big is your pussy? How big is my pussy? As ah. big as your prick. How's that? Hey, am I pricks pretty big it is? Well, then that's how big it is. <laughs> your cat comes in my yard again, I'm going to fuck it. You're going to fuck it? Well, I'll tell you what. You do that, okay? And right, I'm going to fuck you, too. I'm waiting for you with a 32. <laughs> I got a 32-incher. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Get off the fucking phone. I'll get off the phone when you touch my cock. Talk dirty to me. Come on here, and I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk personally dirty to you. Come on, come so, on. I'm waiting for you. I'm touching my balls. I'm fingering my ass, thinking about you. Oh, you are? Yeah. I beat the shit out of my wife. She divorced me after that. Then I went gay for a while. So now listen. <laughs> like I told you. I don't like your fucking talk to me. You better learn how to behave yourself with your mouth. Because if, if you're looking for trouble, I can give it to you. I'm tough. I love when you talk that way to me at this. Listen, Brutus. Nah. I didn't make the fucking phone call. You made it to me. Please talk dirty to me. You want me to talk dirty to you? Hold on. Brutus? <laughs> yeah. All right. Now get real close to this, the phone. Get as close as you can get to it. Yeah. How'd that feel? Ah, I had the phone up my ass. You <laughs> fucked up my colon. I'm bleeding out my ass. Rub your cunt on the phone. Well, come on over. I'll show you how big my cunt is. I'll tell you. Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I never understand why people don't just hang up. Like, why they have they to... They just get involved. They, they, they have to engage in this whole process. I know. Brutus. Anyways. I love that it is, he think, he throws yeah. into, mm. this is your neighbor it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a hobbit. <laughs> yeah. The Whack Pack Strikes Back. Continues now. Captain Jags, what is it? Yeah, good morning, Howard. Uh, yeah, I actually got kind of some bummed out news. Uh-huh. You know, last night, uh, Thal Steen passed on. Is that right? Yeah. <gasps> hey, whatever happened with you? By the way, this is the woman who had no arms and no legs. She appeared on a bunch of our TV specials. Uh, yeah. Evidently, she, she, she used to get around on a motorized gurney. And her, was she was she just driving her gurney into traffic? Yes. Yeah, apparently, she was just going down the center of the road, and, and she got hit by two cars. And, yeah. um, you know, she was, she was laid up in the hospital for a couple of days. And last night when I turned on the 11 o'clock news, I heard that she passed on. She was a pretty spectacular woman. As a matter of fact, had recently gotten a job with McDonald's where she was handing out flyers and stuff. But uh, the most yeah, amazing thing was she what? had she raised kids, raised kids. This is a woman. She with had no, kids. Yeah. No, no arms or legs. Had a husband. Uh, was able to do everything herself, including open up a beer can. Right. Eat food with a knife and fork. With, with just her mouth. She would diaper her kids with her mouth. <clears throat> she diapered her kids with her mouth. She was amazing. I, I thought the woman was a superstar. I tried to get her started at the Nassau Coliseum. I let her play the Star Spangled Banner with her oh, tongue. Yeah. She it's played on... the piano with her tongue, ladies and gentlemen. It's on U.S. Open Source, yeah. Yeah. That was great. I mean, she, especially her Channel 9 appearances were great. But yeah. she never really took off. No, you know, I put her... expected her to. I put her on the Channel 9 TV show, and uh, I said to uh, Dan Foreman, who was the producer of the show at the time, I said, she is going to be the biggest thing to hit television. He goes, well, what is she going to do? I said, here's what's going to happen. We're going to bring her out on the gurney. We're going to sit her at a table, and she will eat peas, steak, and potatoes with a knife and fork. And mind you, the steak was not cut. No. He said, that's it? That's what she does? I said, let me see you do it. <laughs> With no arms and no legs. He goes, you're crazy. He goes, I've never heard of anything like this. I said, yes. So they brought her out. Unfortunately, she was a very dark-skinned black woman, and there was a black curtain that day. All you could see was her head. What was she wearing? <laughs> she, we, I got to admit, we didn't have the right background for her. She was wearing. She was. She was in uh, God knows what. Because <laughs> I think that even her clothing was dark, so you couldn't see. Uh, Dan Foreman put a black woman in front of a black background. <laughs> that looks like me. I was just thinking. I, I didn't think of it. All I know is um, what I predicted would be the highest ratings in the history of television <laughs> turned out to be a spectacular dud. It was the lowest ratings we ever got on our. TV show. Shows finish. what you know. We were doing incredibly well that night. The first quarter hour, we had something like a 30 share. Then we, we, we went to another, like a 31 share. And then we held the 31 share for the third quarter hour. And then the fourth quarter hour brought out Celestine and we dropped to a three. People <laughs> bailed. <laughs> yeah, people bailed out. They
it could like, not handle it. Like it. That was Titanic. Yeah, but I want Dan everyone Foreman. to know I believed in her. That was Dan Foreman's fault, though, not Celestine's. Uh, yeah. That's really. Sad, it was though. never Celestine's fault. Never. <laughs> yeah, Gary. Uh, what do you want? I, I have to say, you know, I'm sorry that she passed away, but she was. For dealing with her on my end, mm. she was the world's biggest pain in the ass. She was a pain in the ass. Oh, no matter what, no, talk about because no, 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 listen, she, she was a pain in the ass stories. yesterday. Today, she's not a pain in the ass. Right. Um, er, anything you did for her was not enough. Right. When you go to the Coliseum, she said, pay me 500 bucks. So I said, okay, we'll pay you 500 bucks. Then the next day, she said, you're not going to give me 1000 I said, but you just asked for 500 yesterday. Then she'd say, what time is the car coming to pick me up? I mean, everything was, yeah. you know, you'd lay it out with her in advance, and then she just kept upping the, the ante. Yeah. yeah, She'd push you to see how far, she, how much she could get out of you. Oh, yeah, but that was her. She was a gutsy woman. They say she made up to $200,000 a year acting like that. Yeah, and I would always rant and rave that she was a pain in the ass, and you would always say, yeah. listen, she's got no arms and no legs. <laughs> yeah. She's allowed to be a pain in the yeah, ass. Yeah, I mean, I, I quite how frankly... How many people in that condition would even ask for anything? i got to be honest with you. I'd just kill myself if well, I had no arms and no legs. My attitude changed... After I saw the uh, the tax form as well, yeah, she should make it more than me. Yeah, she's just very ballsy. Well, oh. you know the other thing wasn't there one time that we sent for her in a limo and uh, yeah, and then was a, there was some pot in the limo arrest or something. Oh. I don't know what. No, no, we didn't send for her, but she was arrested in the back of a limo yeah. with, with with pot. <laughs> yeah, and we couldn't figure out how she got the joint up to her lips. <laughs> and she, uh, she rolled it. <laughs> I told the police uh, when I was uh, asked about it. I said, "Listen, guys, if you had no arms or legs, wouldn't you smoke a little dude once in a while?" <laughs> how can you blame them? <laughs> I mean, really? Because if you remember, her husband died of AIDS. Oh, oh right. I didn't know remember that. that? Which guy? That thin Not guy? Not the thin no, one. That was, that the, was second the second husband. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. asked her how her, how her uh, husband died. He, she said he died of a rare cancer, and you know, yeah. like AIDS. Yeah, that's about as rare as it gets. Yeah. That's really yeah. sad, though. You know, I mean, she was, she was. I mean, that uh, U.S. Open Source thing with her playing the organ with her tongue was incredible. Let me tell you something. I didn't mean it as a mockery at all. I thought it was one of the most beautiful moments to have the Star Spangled Banner played by a woman with her tongue. Yeah. yeah but, but here's the point, Howard. We, I think we paid her a grand that night, and we drove her there, and then we let her. Uh, collect money in the lobby, and she yep. always felt we ripped her off that night. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was always saying, you owe her, because yes. she was always bringing you such a huge audience. Uh, you, a new huge audience. <laughs> she almost cost me my Channel 9 show. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I thought she was pretty spectacular. Tom Chiasano wants to remember. Well, the Celestine, the night of the U.S. Open Source, mm -hmm. I think my wife's reaction was probably typical of, I guess, the audience on Channel 9. Yeah. When she started playing, yeah. she walked out. Did she really? Yeah, she What's with your wife? Can't she handle life? I mean, really. Well, Celestine is not to be looked at the yeah. rest of her I mean, life. I mean, she... Channel 9, there was a mass tune out. <laughs> oh. And I called that, you know, usually I'm in tune with what the audience sure. wants. But uh, she did better in rerun, by the way. No, I, I just want to say that. <laughs> yeah, I really do. I, we ran the program. She did better. There I were mean, two times yeah. on the Channel 9 show yes. that your sensibilities were called into question. With the two-headed woman? The, oh. was the, no. The, well, the two the women who were joined at the head. Yeah, they, they, wouldn't, okay. they wouldn't even let me put that on. Oh. They were too pathetic. I said, no, nope, those are big ratings. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Freaks. <laughs> what was the other time? And the other time was Celestine. You insisted yeah. that Celestine be there. John, I mean, uh, Dan really did didn't want to do it. I'm telling you, no one will stay tuned. I said, Dan, I'm staking my reputation on this. I know what the people want. And, well, the people disappointed me. <laughs> Let's just say it was an off night. And there was a third time, too. The, yeah. the handicapped Olympics. Oh, yeah, yeah. That didn't work out too good, but okay, look. Uh, you try things and you see what'll happen. It did get rather sad. I, I, I said, look, why can't handicapped people be on TV? I was just too sad, that's why. I got to answer these two. I got to come here every day. Right. I got to tell you, in addition to that, so we, I walk out, I'm going, it's okay, Penelope, we'll go back in, we'll go back right. in. We're walking around Nassau, yes. and all of a sudden, in the distance, I hear this faint restraint of Celestine now playing her keyboard. In the hall. In the hall for money. Oh. Well, that's the only way I could get her there. If she wanted a ton of money, I said, you know what? I'll tell you what, I'll do something better for you. After you do the Star Spangled Banner, you can go out in the hall and beg. Right, so. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. She was out in the hall begging. Out, right? So I'm trying to talk Penelope down, <coughs> yeah. and the closer we get to the to the the keyboard playing, <laughs> yeah. like, this is not going to be good. <laughs> right. Be, you want to turn around. Yeah, it was a bad night. Oh. <laughs> <The> Celestine. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think she made much money out there. That's right. Isn't that a blessing? Coming in the show. To, well, anyway, hey, Captain Jenks, yeah. that's a real sad story. We love Celestine. I hope... Uh, My only other question was, was yeah. that normal for her to be riding down the middle of a street in a gurney? I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling it was. Wow. You know, I, I wonder. I mean, because like you know, if you're falling, so, if you're falling, you automatically put your hands out to break your fall. I can only imagine what that must have been like for her. But she uh, probably she probably went flying like a sausage or she something. Was like, like a football. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because she was built like a sausage. She had to like break her fall with her tongue. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think she could do that. Her tongue did everything. So, from what we understand, she was on an electric gurney. Yeah. 
she was rolling in the middle of traffic. Yeah. You know, a it sounds like a couple sounds of cars like... hit her, and then she went flying into the air like sausage. Right. Oh, and landed a God knows where. How they found, find, found her, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's dark out. Imagine if you're the guy who hit her. Howard. Oh, James. Captain Jane. Imagine if you're the guy who hit her, and then you go see, and she's got no arms and legs. You think you knocked him off her? Right. Imagine the yeah, imagine the guy who hit her when he got out of the car. Man, Holy I crap. really messed yeah. up. She was a uh, she was quite a spectacular. Written a book also, uh, the life and times of Celestine or something. But I, I must I have to say, Howard, I must have had the same conversation with her about thirty times. Right. I would call her up and say, "Hey, Celestine, Howard wants to talk to you on the air tomorrow morning." And there would be this long pause. And she goes, "How much you gonna give me?" Yeah, I know. There was no talking to her unless the meter was running. I but you know what? The time she called up and she wanted you to come to her book signing. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, boy, could she lean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to turn down a woman with no arms and legs. Yeah. But that U.S. Open Source thing was was you know that was incredible. And that was a great night, and uh, it'll live in infamy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all that Channel Nine show where she ate with the night before. I got to release the re-release those Channel Nine shows. Uh. If those idiots over at Channel Nine would allow me to, uh, I could make them a lot of money. I'll start making some phony phone calls to them and see if I can dissuade them. Thank you. Right. I mean, uh, don't do that on my account. Uh, Thank you. This week on Howard 100 and Howard 101, Black Packers from all across the galaxy. I'm from Vietnam, brother. Mm -hmm. Are back. You stupid <laughs> bastard. What the hell are you laughing at, you fat, bald head faggot? The Whack Pack strikes back. You have learned much, young one, it is. You'll find a full of surprises. <laughs> Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. Obi Wan, he knew this to be true, it is. No! Shoot, shoot, don't feel! <laughs> The Whack Pack strikes back. May the dorks be with you. Mm, I just got aroused. Wow, that was weird. Oh, for who? Was I, it for Rob? I guess. I wasn't thinking directly, but I guess it, all I know is I'm aroused. It's cumulative. All I'm going to tell you is I couldn't stand up right now. I mean, I could, but it would hurt. You'd pass out. Oh, I'd pass all? out. Yeah. It would hurt and it would be embarrassing because you'd see everything. I should show you. I would like to see. With the bulge? Yeah. <laughs> Not all that big. What are you wearing? Sweatpants or what? I'm engorged. No, I'm wearing jeans. <laughs> really, man. <laughs> so I look at scores. <laughs> this is my appearance at scores. And you enjoy being that way. Yeah. And then you just go home and take care of yourself? Yeah. And that took forever. <laughs> Saturday night I go to scores and I was in a hotel, so uh -huh. I was there and I was engorged. <laughs> and uh, You're for like disgusting pigs. And then, <laughs> and then for like and then <laughs> and then like like you engorge for six hours, you know, yeah, and I mean, it's painful. Does it? Let me ask you something because you know mechanically I don't understand. This. Go ahead. Does it come and go, or does it stay nonstop, getting worse? And it comes worse and goes, worse. but it comes and goes, but pretty much uh, the girls, of course, are pretty attractive and, yeah. and sort of know how to keep the sexual talk flowing, and uh, it it's pretty much engorged ninety percent of the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so Sheesh. the needle stays in the red. Right. Oh my. And, so, oh my. and, and doesn't that isn't that like pressure? Yes. There's tons of pressure in my pants. <laughs> I even said to the girls, there's tons of pressure in my pants. <laughs> I go, my pants were actually hot. They're going to explode. Yeah, I mean there was actual heat generating from my underpants. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so then I laid down in the bed and uh I started to work myself over and I guess because I'd been so Aroused for so long that and holding back for so long. Yeah, that nothing was going on. I was just like, oh, you know what I mean? It's like, gee whiz. I say, I just don't. Th that doesn't sound pleasant. Mm. It wasn't. <laughs> it was, I was in bad shape. Mm. Uh, and then I felt better and went to sleep after I finished up. But what it took forever. It took like twenty minutes. What? What a finale when it finally happened. Yes. Oh, was there a... Fireworks. Beginning of Disney World. Right. <laughs> pretty wild. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> and by the way, on our phone is um, Melrose Larry Green. And what has he done? 
I don't know. You know, I was thinking, you know, Melrose goes around with those signs. Hi, Melrose. Good morning, Howard. Melrose goes around with those signs all the time with my name, Howard Stern, on them. Is and he I still said, doing that? I thought he was saying that he was over you. No, well, no. Doing it. Matter of fact, I'm thinking he works so hard for us that I should probably... Yeah. Reward him and reward him. Let him like introduce me at the premiere or something. Because wow. after all, why shouldn't a guy be rewarded for holding up signs? Everybody knows him, and everybody knows him. And why shouldn't this guy be rewarded? Look out! There you go. Where's Gary? Gary, I Gary. Look, Look out. out! Are you happy, Melrose? I would love to. Right? Is that is <laughs> I would, that? I would love to. I'm speechless. But seriously, do you want to do it or not? Hundred percent guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm there. That would be exciting for you, wouldn't it? It would. It would be better than anything. And you know what? Let's fly him here first class. Look out! We'll take care of the guy. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I wouldn't reward him. And why? I'll tell you why? Why? Oh, the Los no. Angeles station has been calling. Yeah. He why? has been completely out of control. What is he doing? He was supposed. To, you know, the bus we have in New York. There's a similar one in L.A. We have a bus yeah, going around yeah, showing yeah, a yeah, clip yeah. of the movie. And he was supposed to be on it. Right. And then they didn't have room for it, and they asked him. You know, could he step off? He's been harassing the program director, and he's been following the bus around, not telling true. people not to watch the video and, and saying, not like, true. saying, "That's not true yeah, at all, Gary." They told me right, you, you know were you know you know keeping people off the Gary, bus. You're you're a you know what, Melrose? I never kept anybody off the bus. All right, Melrose, why? forget everything I just said. I'm taking it away from you, Howard. Did you chase people away from no, the bus? No, that's a lie. I've yes, been standing up. Jay, Jay Clark calls me every day. Jay Clark says, is a liar. Out, Gary's a liar. Jay Clark is no, a liar. No, 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 Gary, you're Melrose. not a liar. You're not a liar. Jay Clark told you something. All right, Jay forget Clark it, Melrose. Uh, forget the whole. Forget Howard, the whole thing. Howard, this is the last time you burned me. This Howard, is the last time you burned me. I never did. I try to reward you, and Howard. now you t now Gary tells me you're Howard, outside you the bus. Guys on the LA station ripping off your. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about you. You should think before you act. You should think before you act. What did I do? You know, you were just about to get rewarded, and now I find out that you're outside harassing people outside the bus. Was there two Have you been standing story? outside the bus? Jay Clark wouldn't know honesty if it faced Have him you dollars. been standing outside the bus right. where we're showing the film clip? Never said a bad word about Have the you been you. standing outside the bus? Standing right. outside. Well, I, I said I should have been on that bus. That's right. Right. And do you sit there and yell, and I should have been out that, on that bus? And, and meanwhile, I was more popular than anybody else with that appearance. All right. All right. Thank you. Hey, forget, Howard, forget it. Forget it. Howard, I got uh, a call no from this. What? I got a call from CNN. From I don't CNBC. care. I don't care. What is. What? Imus was talking about your movie on CNBC. I don't care. And no, wait a minute. Jay Clark's a liar, and so is Bob Moore. You got guys on the LA station that are ripping you off, stealing your bits. Yeah. You're on the Howard Stern show all day. Well, I that's, love the show. I know you do, but why do you have to stand outside my bus scaring people? Well, where's the proof? Where's Gary's tape? Where's the evidence? Get another witness saying, I defy you to get one other person that was at that appearance to say it. Well, I'm going to check into it. I'm going to check into no, Howard, it. Howard, am I still going to the premiere? Not yet. Not yet. Wait, 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 wait. Not Jay if I Clark. find proof. No, no, I've got Jay Clark guys on tape saying that I was going on that bus tour. Let me tell you the facts, Howard. I was supposed to go on this bus tour, and they took me off the bus tour. I never badmouthed the movie or stopped anybody from getting on the bus. I Jay hear Clark, you did. Did Jay you Clark follow the bus? There? Was Jay Clark there? Like the OJ Do you want me to Jay get Clark Jay Clark, Clark on the phone? What? Do you want me to get Jay Clark on the phone? Well, wake up, that sucker. <laughs> You know, you know, Jay Clark, if they had a format on that station, it would be dangerous. Without you, they have no ratings. It'd all be fire. Without you, Howard. He's making friends. He's trying to make friends, but... No, I'm he, not making friends. But I hear... Like you live need in LA, friends. Man. I've got a bus going around promoting the movie, and you're scaring people from getting I'm on the not, bus. Nobody came to that appearance. There so were when people, you do that, Melrose, you're not attacking them. You're attacking Howard. That's right. I ne That's not true, though. Wait a minute. You're making the show look bad. Howard. You know you look like a mental case in a homeless maniac? When people I'm get nervous. Cool. Stay away from the bus. Howard, I never bought... I was supposed to be on... They used my name on the promos 25 times. Yeah, and then why did they kick you off the bus? They said there wasn't enough room on the bus. Yeah. So go home. Two guys yeah, here's, you up. here's Jay Clark. He'll lie to Jay Clark. Yeah. Jay. Jay. Hello? Hmm. Hold on. Jay? I'll be drunk. Jay. Yeah. In a stupor. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. All right. I got Melrose Larry Green on the line. Right. Has he been harassing people outside the bus, the private parts bus? That's what I've been told. Who told you that, Jay? Listen, I got that from three people, including a couple of my interns. Jay, you know what your intern told me? I'm going right. to clean this up for the air. You know, I, I said to the intern, did you see me in People Magazine? And you know what your intern told me? He said to me, what will you do, have an oral sex with Howard Stern? That's what your intern told me. Now, oh, come on. Uh, I got witnesses, Jay. Larry. Hey, Jay, I didn't harass anybody. So, Jay, Jay, what, is Me what has Melrose been doing? He's been going to, uh, you know, the bus goes out, and he's been going to those appearances, and yeah. he has a sign out there. And, he had 40 uh, people at the West Side Pavilion. What does the sign say? It said, I love Howard Stern, and the movie's coming. 
The yeah, sign said nothing negative. Where are you telling people not to go into the boss or not? Never to did. Ne- that's a lie. Hey, I will sue you for ten million dollars. <laughs> how, how much? I need another. Right? I need some more money, Jay. Hey, Jay, if you had, you know, you don't, you want to be living. In Jay, what is it? What is it? Mel Rose is who's saying what? That people shouldn't go on the bus. Well, not 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 so much on the bus, but they shouldn't go into some of the places. For example, if the bus was in front of a, um, if the if the bus was in front of a a bar or a. Uh, 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 a client or something saying, don't go in there, don't go in there. Look, lie, lie, lie. Oh, well. Jay, Jay, I will, if you had any money, I'd sue your station. <laughs> <laughs> I, Robin loves me, Howard loves me, Buckwell loves me, even Baba Booey. Baba Booey's better. In his worst day, Baba Booey's not as bad as you and Bob Moore. <laughs> I'll take Baba Booey stirring drugs. I'll take Steve Gorilla over you, Jay Clark. All right, Jay, I want to... what you really feel, Larry. Hey, so, Jay, what do you say? Jay, I... You wouldn't know ratings if you ever saw them without Howard Stern. Jay, is this guy actually... Is this guy actually uh, going out and doing these acts? Is he going around... It's a lie. That's what I'm being told. Well, who is telling you this? We need witnesses. Eyewitnesses. Who told you that? Okay, it's the people who are with the bus, our, our uh, street squad. Your street squad, those are guys that have like a, they make two, they don't even get paid, man. They're like Gorillo with a series. Wait, wait, hey, Larry, how much are you getting paid to be there? Yeah. I'm a fan, man. Oh, hey, listen, good. listen, I'll tell you what, Jay, you have, you have the premiere at the forum. I'll pay for it, all right? And we'll see how many fans you have and the regular guys versus me. You hear me, Jay? Wait, uh, wait. Let's do a screening well, at the forum. Let me understand that again. You want people. me to have the premiere at the forum? I'll rent the forum. I'll pay for it. You let me promote it, and we'll see how many fans the regular guys have versus me and Ricky Rackman versus me. I love the Stern Show, man. I've been on the Stern Show. I've been in the studio. I've been in the snow, man. I was at the Newark pageant in the snow, and Buckwell gave me tickets to get in there. Don't play that game, Jay Clark, because Buckwell loves me. Buckwell loves me as, not as much as he loves Howard, but Buckwell loves me, man. <laughs> All right. All right. I- I'll get to the bottom of this. Howard, get, get off that station. Go to K-Rock. All right. Thank you. Go to K-Rock, Howard. Thank you. Howard, can yes. I play the call from Imus? What? Can I play the call from What did you say, Jay? Imus. I, I just said, you know, thanks. I, what can I tell you? It's 4 o'clock in the morning here, and I'm taking... Yeah, well, well, welcome to L.A., Jay. We have a time difference out here. <laughs> Half the town is up because of Howard. Nobody sleeps. <laughs> you not anymore. You're not doing Q104 with Gordon Liddy. You're in the big leagues now, Jay Clark, and I'm Melrose Larry Green. Look what I did to O.J., Jay. What? Wait a minute. What did you do to O.J.? He's moving to Florida because of me. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Look out. All right, Jay, so you don't have any proof, but you, why don't you put me in touch with the people who said Melrose was doing this stuff? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. To, I'll get back to you. All right, Melrose, watch yourself. Hey, Jay, Jay, get a format. Get a All right, format. thank you, guys. Hey, hey, Howard, can I play the call? Howard. Uh, all right, if you insist. If you insist, quickly. Since Jay Clark threw me off the air, I'm going to Dallas for an appearance over the Quite weekend. quickly. All right, this is this is Tim Russert interviewing... Oh, Imus. I heard this. You know what? Imus is an idiot. What? Imus is a douche. All he says is that, uh, yeah, I hear the movie's real good. Imus is like Who Jay cares? Clark. I don't need his approval. He's a jackass, and he'll look he's like a jackass in my he movie. He get to play himself he's a movie. He's a pissed-off, angry jackass who's a jerk that rips off all my material. And he idolizes me. He used to sit there at NBC and watch me. Right, right. Over and over again. Exactly. I heard that. I heard that phone call. I got a tape of it right here. Oh, you don't want to hear it again? I got it right here. I can play it. Here, listen to this. Here. Big deal. Guy's an idiot. He used to be a DJ spin records. Then you were the shock jock. When you started delving into politics, were you worried about ratings? Were you uncomfortable that you were now out of your sphere? Well, the uh, at that time, uh, look, look, he thinks he's like the president so of the United States. Here. Right, right. Yeah, he's like the president well, of the United the, States. Uh, yeah. At that time, well, uh, 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 the uh, I miss you went into politics because what you were afraid of? Uh, well, uh, no, because quite frankly, he's too much of a pussy to do sexual content, and plus, he's so goddamn old he forgets what his dick looks like. <laughs> That's what the problem is. That's a good one. We were just on in New York. New York. And we were already getting killed by Howard Stern, so... Yeah, remember that, dickweed. Uh-huh. You are already getting killed by Howard Stern. Yeah, doing your lame material. Every goddamn day I wake up and beat your ass. That's my motivation for getting out of bed, you cretin. I got a movie now, you jackass. Two best-selling books. You can't even eclipse me. I am the greatest radio performer ever, you dumb-ass, old, alligator face rat jap bastard. <laughs> My motivation for getting up in the morning is to beat your ass into the ground, you stupid freak. You goddamn addicted freak. 
How it? He should go back on coke. At least then he... Well, he, he did nothing then. Well, yeah. <laughs> At least it would drown out the pain. Why well, do you think he was on coke? He's got no freaking talent. How it, so why don't you go into politics, baby? Well, and, and then the answer, the serious answer. Well, well the, I gotta, uh, the, uh, I gotta really think, you know, this, he's the president. The time, uh. Yeah, like there was some calculation there. <laughs> like he went into politics. <laughs> Wait, listen. Listen to this guy. And it wasn't any point in trying to fight that battle. In other words, to do the same thing because one, you could have done it as well. And, uh. Would you want to do that? No, and I didn't have any interest in it. Will so. you go see his movie, Private Park? I bet it's pretty good, actually. You gonna go see it? Well, no, I mean, I haven't gone to see anything. You're not going to see it because he's going to eat his heart out. Of course not. Are you going to go see it? Yeah, it will kill him. Trust me, he'll go see it. He's now trying to figure out how to get a movie made of yeah, himself. Yeah, right. Will, well, Howard, let's see. Howard syndicated a show, and I did that. Howard wrote books, so now I, I I got my book out there. And then and then Howard uh, has a movie. Oh, yeah, and Howard went, put on his, TV, went on TV yeah. with his radio show. I'm doing that. And let's see, now, how do I get me a movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be a fascinating life story. He peed in a phone booth. <laughs> that, was his, that was the highlight. At the end, I could pee in the phone booth. <laughs> At the end, he could lose all his rage. Yeah, what an ending. At the end, I lose opposite. that. It's the opposite of our movie. At the end, every time I try something, I lose. <laughs> <laughs> what a movie. A uh, $15,000 movie. Loser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the losing story. And uh, I see, uh, I went to New York and I lost all my ratings. <laughs> and Howard to start to kick my ass here and here and no. here and here. Howard. What? You know, when, when I, here's the sign that I had there, Jay Clark said, Howard Stern knows everything. I have the sign right here. Mm -hmm. I keep my sign. Mm -hmm. I will give Jay Clark $150,000. Oh, this is what it costs to rent the forum. If he can prove his allegations. Okay? 150000 That's right. Oh, you're still there, Jay? For $150,000, i will prove the allegations. Trust Jay, me. for $150,000, maybe you can go back to Orlando also. So, so Melrose, you will post the $150,000. I'll, I'll put up a quarter of a million dollars because your guy is such a liar, Jay. A quarter of a million now? That's Mara, 250000 That's money to me. You know Mama left me money, Howard. That's $250,000. Melrose, you're going to be broke in a week, you keep spending I could buy your station with that money, Jay. What? <laughs> I can't wait till you do that. Believe me, Jay. The first thing I do is fire your ass. You would, huh? First thing I do, fight. Make you stand with Mel. Make you stand there holding up signs with me on Melrose and Island. <laughs> You're a douche. You're the reason Howard has a career, Jay. Idiots like you. Read the book. Read Howard's book. Have you ever read Howard's book? Who's Mama Laku Dupita? Huh? <laughs> Who's Mama Laku Dupita? Huh? Huh? Who's Pig Virus, Jay? Tell me who Pig Virus. Who's Randy Bloomgar? Come on, Jay. Who's Howard's, Who's Howard's program director? DC 101, Jay. Hello, Jay. Jay. Yeah? Jay, do you know any what, of these questions? What, what? Who was Howard's program director when Howard and Robin were at DC 101? Let's see. Um... <laughs> Ask one of your interns that bad mouthed me, Jay. Jay, I was trained in everything by Howard. I learned everything about everything from Howard. Howard likes me, Jay. You want to stay employed? Stop making up lies wait, about Larry, me, Jay. Wait, wait a minute. Are, are you stealing Howard's material? No, 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 no. Oh, Howard right. likes me, man. Oh, no, only your DJ steal Howard's material. I'm original, man. I'm like Frazier Smith. I'm original. Now, badmouth Frazier Smith, Jay. I dare you. Howard likes Frazier Smith. Come on, Jay. Come clean. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Come clean, big boy. You badmouth Frazier Smith. You say Frazier Smith is washed up. Howard likes Frazier Smith. I like Frazier Smith. I stick up for Frazier Smith because he's a great guy, man. He's not a squirrel like the other DJs on your station. He's the only guy on your station with any talent in the West Coast. Oh, no kidding. You better believe it. Uh, better read, 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 you better believe it. Jay Clark, let me tell you something, Jay. You made a deal with me, and you better not go back on it. Remember the deal we made? What was yeah, the deal? It seemed to me that the deal was you weren't, you weren't going to be uh, any kind of a father at all. And I wasn't. <laughs> and you weren't. I wasn't. I expect to be at Billboard Live. If not, we're going to have a run-in that's going to make the one with Andy Bloom's girlfriend and Jessica Hahn look like tiddlywinks. Remember that? Oh do, you, do you even listen to the show, I'm Jay? I'm shaking. It must have you listened to Howard? Place. Holy cow. Will you listen to Gordon Liddy in 1992 when I was at the Palace Theater in front of 30,000 fans? Although they threw things at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. This is not stick, Jay. I know you don't like me, but you, you hate me so much that now Baba Booey and I made up. So I gotta thank you, Jay. All right, thank you, guys. All right, All right oh, Jay. I'm thank. I'm in at the premiere. Am I in? What? No. I'm out. I'll, I have a feeling Jay's telling the truth. You, you have I think what? you're harassing We're fans. We're delaying judgment. Not, not, you're, those fans. You, how? I tell you what, you what I'll do. I'll delay judgment. How's that? Howard, you're lucky you're in in New York and not in L.A. Right. You had like four. They had forty people at those appearances. I will. People. I will delay my judgment. <laughs> thank you.
Well, you can delay all you want because you're the king of all media. But I, I want you to know whether or not. All right. All right. I grew tired of that. <laughs> Cuckoo. All right. Let's um, let's take a break. Do you know Randy Bloomfield? Who's Mama Luka Booba? All right. Let's take a break and we'll be back right after these words. The Whack Pack Strikes Back continues now. All right, Daniel Carver went and got a bunch of uh, movies. He's going to be reviewing uh, three films for he us today. see Star Wars? No, Star Wars. <laughs> you can't get him to a movie theater. <laughs> so um, give him his intro, will you? He's a bigot, a hateful man, Daniel Carver with the Ku Klux Klan. Movie reviews, bad and good, Daniel will review wearing his white hood. Wake up, white people. When he's not reviewing a movie, he's watched. He's wearing his hood or burning a cross. This week's movie, OKK. Ask Daniel Carver from the KKK. Wake up, white people. Hey, Daniel. Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. I haven't spoken to you in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. Anything big in the clan going on that we should know about? Uh... Well, we're going to have a big rally up in Fort Payne, Alabama, second weekend in June. That's all you guys do is rally. These guys really know how to party. They I mean, picnic all summer long. Aside yeah, from the well, racism. The only place we can go we can get together in a crowd without rubbing elbows with a bunch of niggers. <laughs> you know, aside from the racism, these guys just get together at picnics. Hey, it's a social club. But you guys never yeah, do anything. Yeah, we, but you guys we, never, you we never. play songs and, and have uh, refreshments. Do you but, dance? No, we don't dance. Oh, but do you ever discuss, like, what the agenda for the Klan is going to be in the coming years? No, nah, we do that at, not at rallies, but at private meetings. I see. That's where you guys discuss, like, real racist stuff. Well. What are you doing? What's the big plan? Yeah, like, what's the big plan? I want to hear. <laughs> I mean, big it, plan? Yeah. I mean, what well, do you, like, you guys hate black guys and Jews and stuff and gays, but what are you well, really... How are you going to get them out of the Yeah, country? like, what are you going to do to get well, rid of them? All, all we'd have to do is give them what they claim they want, give them equal opportunity, and then they'd go back to Africa on and on because they can't compete equally with a white man. Well, what about Jews? Jews. Yeah, how are you going to get rid of them? <laughs> get Hitler. Can't. Get another Hitler, I guess. Another Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are waiting for the rise of another Hitler. Yeah, they, they you know, what kind of plan smart. is that? They're the Jews of the like devil. The they, 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 is Jethro Bodine running these? Uh, I know what we're going to do, Uncle Jeff. We're going to get another Hitler. Hitler. I'm going to grow a mustache. Did Hitler have any kids? But uh, you know what I'm saying, Daniel? I mean, this we is... can't get rid of the devil. The Jews are the devil. It teaches us that in the Bible, and you can't right. get rid of the devil. Well, why would your wonderful Jesus give you a devil to contend with? Well, I don't know. Why did he give us a snake? I mean, <laughs> right. All right, but what I'm saying is, I mean, at these meetings, surely there must be some agenda. I mean... Uh, what do you discuss? I mean, even uh, like subterfuge or infiltrating the government, something. Something to do. I mean, the whole organization is there. Everyone's well, in place. what we do is we organize white people and try to teach the children that's there and, and, and everybody else to stay away from the... The other races and, and stay with your own kind. That's I all you're doing? That's all. That's all we want to do is just stay with our own kind. All right, let's get to, um, have any Jews ever snuck into the Klan, do you know of? Did you ever catch I've, anyone? I've seen movies where they did. I don't know. Well, yeah, we had one up in New York one time. You did. did. All right. Well, it can happen. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daniel, you have a bunch of movies to review here. What? What? All right. The first movie is Get on the Bus. This was directed by Spike <laughs> oh, Lee, boy. Oh, boy. and it follows nearly 20 African-American men as they ride a bus cross-country to attend the Million Man March in Washington, D.C. With I'll, a white let, bus driver. With a white bus driver. Let me play a clip from it so that people know what we're talking about here, okay? This is uh, Get on the Bus. I got a joke for you, nigga. What do you get when you cross a million lesbians? And the Million Man March. Okay, what do you get when you cross one million lesbians in the Million Man March? Two million motherfuckers who don't do dick. <laughs> you niggas something else. <laughs> nigga, 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 nigga. Oh, you niggas. <laughs> hey, Wendell, I got a joke for you. All right. What do they call a black man with a Lexus dealership? Let's make these suckers retreat. What? Nigga. <laughs> All right, now you must have liked that. I, I like that one, but they throw them off the bus. <laughs> they threw those guys off Your the bus? They, 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 <laughs> throw, they throw that and telling all them jokes off the bus. Really? 
<laughs> now, what, now, what right do they have to do that? I, I don't know. I guess they pick and choose who they want. Did you like this movie? Not really. No. Why didn't you like it? Well, I just I just didn't like it. It was anti-white. Right. And I don't like anti-white movies. Right. So you do but not it, recommend it? Did have, it did have a few good jokes in it, like the ones that guy there was just telling, but then it threw him off the bus. Did you use those jokes at the Klan picnic? Nah. No. All right. Nah, we hear plenty of jokes. Yeah. So there, must, there must be tons of, of racist jokes. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I just shared the other day is somebody talking about that guy out there in Texas drug got black to death, and they said he should have been charged for wasting gas, said he could have drove could have drug 15 for the same amount of gas. So. <laughs> oh, <that's crazy. laughs> there you go. Boy, are you a, you're you got, a crack up. You got a million of them. <laughs> you're saying that uh, when they dragged the guy around, that they could have dragged 15 guys around. Yeah. I that's see. That's... All right. Did you write that or you heard that? I hear that. I didn't make that up. Right. I don't think he ought to drug the nigger myself. I think he ought to just cut out his food stamps and starve him to death. I see. Shecky, that would be more humane. Shecky the Klansman, I think, was up there. All right, your second movie that you viewed was... So how many, uh, what oh. is it, burning crosses, hanging nooses? What do you, how many burning crosses do you give that? get on the bus, I just gave it one. One? Just right. one. The next movie you reviewed was Cotton Comes to Harlem. This is, um... This movie, I don't know what this is about, really. Godfrey Cambridge. It started out good, didn't it? What was it? Raymond St. Well, when Jacker. it started out, this nigga was selling tickets for the other niggas to go back to Africa. And I thought that was a real good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then they found out it was a scam. Is that what the problem was? It was a scam. I ain't going back. Oh, so you probably got depressed. <laughs> uh, said, so in other words, it was a story of a black man who gets this idea to sell trips to Africa to black people. Right. And then it turns out that he was just ripping off his fellow black man. Just ripping them, ripping off of other niggers, yeah. All right. And and so that so that movie, how many uh, burning crosses do you give I, that? I gave that one two. You enjoyed that one a little bit better. Because <laughs> yeah, the beginning was, was good. A little bit better because of, of the starting of it. I, it gave me hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and what about the, wasn't it basically an all-black cast? Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing no white people. <laughs> All right, so that had to be depressing. Look what we forced him to watch. All right, and also, uh, the third movie, A Gentleman's Agreement. Now, this is an old movie, and Gregory Peck stars in it because he has to, he's a uh, writer, right, who pretends to be Jewish? Yeah. All right. Just... Let me play a clip from this, because maybe this you like better. <clears throat> what is it? What's the matter? Did you have a fight? Argument with one of the guys? They call me a dirty Jew. And I'm thinking, guys, I'm all red up at all. Darling, it's not true. It's not true. You're no more Jewish than I am. It's just a horrible mistake. All right. Now, certainly that must be moving to you to see a little boy in pain being called a dirty kike. Especially when he's not. Yeah. What did you? What did did that cause you? Uh... It's, it's just it's just like all these nigger movies I watch, except they replace the nigger with a Jew. It's it's all made to make you feel sorry for Jews. Well, let me ask you something. You don't feel sorry. <laughs> no, I don't feel sorry for him. You don't feel sorry for a little boy being called a kike and teased at school? No. Really? He should he should have stayed in Israel and go to school with other kikes, and they couldn't have called him a kike. <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly have a point. All right, let's play another clip from... He has a point. From, he has a point right at the top of his hood. He has a point. It might not be right, but it's a point. All right, let's uh, hear another clip from this fascinating movie about a guy pretending to be a Jew. Mr. Green, you don't want things changed around here, do you? Even though you are a writer, and it's different for writers. Different for writers, how? Well, I mean, just let them get one wrong one in here, and it'll come out of us. It's no fun being the fall guy for the kikey one. Now look, Miss Wales, we've got to be frank with each other. You have a right to know right now that words like yid and kike and kikey and nigger and coon make me kind of sick no matter who says them. Now you must have liked the woman. You must have been attracted to her in this movie because she uses kikey and... You would have married her. Yeah, even, even his wife didn't like him. But ain't, ain't it something? Everybody wants to make it look like the Klan is the only people against Jews. But according to the movie, they don't nobody like them. Right. No one. Well, I agree with you. Nobody seems to like. Nobody the Jew. likes a Jew. Right. So, so uh, you like this movie, I think. Well, I, I gave it a two. You did give it two. But, but you know, it's 
it's, it's just another anti-white movie to make you feel sorry for Jews. Two burning crosses. Didn't work on you, huh? No, I don't feel sorry for, for, for none of them. You know, they should have stayed in their own country. Nice. And then we would have had peace. You know, they, our government looks at it like melting pot, and when we all become the same, then we'll have peace. But if everybody would have stayed in their own country, we'd all be the same. Well, you uh, so you're saying that the Jews should stay in Israel, the blacks should stay in Africa, and you should have stayed. The Americans in Europe. should stay in America. No, you Americans stayed, are white, and people. you should have stayed in Europe. You should have stayed in Europe. And then the Indians. No, would be. when we come over here, we founded this country. We developed it. Oh please, there were people here already. Daniel, there, there wasn't no people here. Daniel, there are people. <laughs> ah, there wasn't no people. There were some Indians and buffaloes. <laughs> Daniel, this uh, woman on the phone wants to talk to you. All right, you're on with Daniel Carver of the Ku Klux Klan. Good morning, Howard. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm calling from Utica, New York, and I lived in Fort Lauderdale not too long ago, and I was raped down there by a black guy. Ever since that happened to me, I've been very extremely prejudiced. I was wondering how I could join the KKK. Well, Daniel, sounds like you have a, a recruit here. Yeah, just, a you just write to me at Post Office Box 446, and I can send you an application. So well, you you hold it against all black people I, that you were raped, uh, Patricia? Yes, I do. Yeah. Because no well, it makes you scared of all of them, I guess. You know, they they all the same one time or another. The, you know, you well, can't have low and order too. niggers, too. I've noticed that, too, because in Florida, no matter what black person I ran into, they always ended up screwing you over one way or the other. Well, you two are, this is kismet. A meeting of mine. <laughs> Could I have the address again, please, so that way I could write it down? I think Daniel put her up to this. Daniel, no, I didn't, didn't put her up to it. It's, it's <laughs> summertime. It's coming out. Huh? What do you mean? It's getting hot outside, and everybody needs to start wearing T-shirts, and he'd order one of my catalogs. Hey, I like, would wear a now, where were you around here. Honey, where were you that a black man raped you? I lived in Fort Lauderdale. And where, how did this happen? You were walking down the street? No, no, no. I, I I had walking pneumonia, and I sat outside because I was sweating, and it was about 2.30 in the morning. I couldn't sleep. Right. So he came up behind me because I was sitting on um, an open stairwell, grabbed me, took me down the street, told me if I screamed or anything like that, he was going to shoot me. Right. I told my dad about it. My dad's extremely prejudiced also, and he wanted to come down to Florida and shoot him too. Right. The cops had to actually talk him out of it. And what happened to uh, the guy who did this to you? They finally found him. They caught him with my description. They picked me up. Fort Lauderdale police picked me up at 4.30 in the and morning. And what was your description? How did you describe this gentleman? I just knew him by his color of his skin and his eyes. You just said there's a black guy with what, brown eyes? No, no, no. Just bloodshot red eyes. You mm -hmm. couldn't miss it, and he was like That's stocky. a crack cocaine, in it. What's that? That's the crack cocaine makes his eyes right, red. That's right, because when they caught him, they caught him with a few vials, a stem, and uh, let's see. They caught him with something else, but I don't know what it was. But they did arrest him. He confessed to raping me and three other women in the same place. Now, Daniel, this woman would They'll be... They'll probably uh, put him on probation. Now, Daniel, does this woman qualify? Are you a white woman who is not Jewish? I am white. I am 27 years old and fully Irish. Fully Irish. So, Daniel, she okay? does she qualify? Yeah, I think Irish people are white. Right. So it sounds like you could recruit her dad, too. You get the whole family. Oh, my dad would love it. He would join, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, Daniel, is there a fee involved when someone applies for this kind of membership? Yeah, most of the time the fee runs you 20 to $20. $20? That's fine. Do you take money orders? Do what? Money orders? Would you take a money order? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cash, cash, sure cash money order, it's all the same. They're making it right out to Daniel Carver. <laughs> Could I take and uh, order, like, the suit and the hood and all that? Yeah, how does I she... want a flag to put in front of my house. Yeah, now how does she get a suit, uh, you know, a flag. a flag and everything, Daniel? Well, she can order all that stuff out of my catalog. And if you get my catalog, you send $3 to Daniel Carver, P.O. Box 446. Now, do you still Don't make... get to $3 now. The catalog's about 70 pages. Do you... And it... Do you still make that uh, the statue of black people in cement for their front lawn? Oh, I would like that. I, I, I got some of them, Howard, but the postage is so much to ship them things, I just don't ship them around. I see. So you're not you shipping that. Would you take a credit card? <laughs> I don't. Daniel, sounds, what? Like, sounds like you got a customer. You can empty out your store. And do the clan, do clan women wear a hood too? 
I sure, would. women wear hoods too. We all would, dress the same. We all wear the yeah. white white robe. Of course, that's a turn on. <laughs> And and this woman sounds like uh, she would be a perfect candidate, and you would probably get her up to speak about her experience with a black guy, right? I would do that. Yeah, right. she could do that. Where did she say she was from? I live in Utica, New York now. Is Utica. there a branch in Utica? Way right outside of Rome, New York, Howard. Daniel, do you have any uh, buddies who are in the Utica area that could perhaps... Uh... I, I've heard of that before. I know we got a bunch of them in New York. and uh, I see. All New right. York, Maryland, Pennsylvania. They're all big in the clan up there. Well, it would, like... you, uh, would you uh, take me off the air so that way he can get my phone number and Well, why don't you... Why don't you uh, listen, I don't really want to facilitate you joining the clan. Nah, she just, she has to write to me. Yeah, he, oh, that's I, fine. I think they're looking to see if you're motivated or not. Okay. That's fine. Are you a That's good great. looking? Are you a good looking woman? I have um, shoulder length red hair. Go ahead. Sky blue eyes. Yes. Five nine and a quarter. I weigh one thirty. No kidding. What size are your cans? What's that? I say, how big are your breasts? I wear thirty six B. A B. Yes. Oh, you can't join the clan. Oh. They want C cup or larger. But I'm one. I'm one hundred percent natural. I never had any surgery. Right. How old are you? 27. Oh, my God. Uh, are there some single men in the clan for her, Daniel? Now, Daniel, what about that? Is there a dating opportunity in the clan? Well, I'll I'm, set up the singles network that ain't, for the That clan. ain't what we're there for, but, yeah, there's single men in the clan. and, and Handsome men? Well, I guess white so. <laughs> Handsome white men? <laughs> I reckon so. <laughs> All right. Well, who knows? It could become a whole way of life. That's right. All right, honey. Well, there you are. You've spoken to Daniel Carver. Well, Thank you very much, and I'm a loyal listener. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate your time. Okay, right. don't forget, order right. your catalog, here, and I'll send you an application. I will do that. <laughs> Can, let us see the application, Daniel. I want to see that. Yeah, I don't think me well, would pass. order you one of them in. I don't know who I'm sending them to. Dan Robin could order one. I'd mail it to her. Dan, you used to use a different Dan name. Dan, you sly devil. I bet you end up having sex with her. Yeah, under the sheets. Right? Huh? I bet you end up having sex with her. I doubt that. I've been married to the same woman for 30 years. Well, I hope this one isn't a temptress. <laughs> no. no I, I don't get tempted. Daniel, there's a lot of calls for you. Let's get to them. Noel, yes. Uh, I was interested in just the movie review, but people are insisting. I always want to talk to Daniel. Go ahead, Noel. Yeah, I'm on the air? Yes. Yeah. Um, This guy, Daniel Carver, he should be taken out back to a shed and shot in the head. All right. Daniel, what about that? Would you be willing to be shot in the head? <laughs> shot in the head? Yeah. Would you volunteer for that? Would you volunteer no, we're not for that? Violent, how? Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not black, but I'm Puerto Rican. And oh. That's the same thing. <laughs> Mexican, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Asian, Haitian, y'all all the same. Haitian? Y'all getting your melting pot together and going back where you come from. <laughs> You're advocating Cracker. putting everyone in a big melting pot and shipping them back to where they are. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they wouldn't have to do a lot of melting. You know, you know what's amazing. Can Mexican, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Asians, Haitians—they all the same color anyway. You know, I'm you, Jersey and try that stuff. Funny man, you get, but you get, but you get killed. What I'll go to the next caller and get that nut off here. Daniel, what if we built? What if we built something called Daniel's Ark, where we put two of every race? <laughs> what good would that do? I mean, and like, ship them off. Of them. <laughs> so, so Daniel, the question is, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist, but. What's fascinating to me about you is is that you know that you are married to the same woman for what eighteen years you said no thirty years thirty years and it shows you do have love in your heart I imagine I mean you make love to the same woman you've never cheated I assume and you do have love in your heart people would say you're heartless and loveless but yet you seem to be in love with this woman I love my race my, I love my wife but I love my race right you have a lot of hate and the in your only heart. way to preserve it is is for white people to marry other white people and produce white children. I see. You're very confused, Howard. Just because he's with the same woman doesn't mean it has anything to do with love. They have a common interest. Yes. No, I, 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 I said I love my wife. What's wrong with you? anything you want. You ain't listening. You like Howard. He asked that woman well ago three times how old she was. <laughs> I'm a little slow. Jay, you're on the air. How you doing? Uh, I just wanted to find out from Daniel if uh, if he's really down on like mulatto people as well. What about mulattoes? Yeah, what if you've got some white in you? Yes, mulatto. Uh, yeah, Daniel. What about mulatto? Nice. That once you once you go once you go black, you can't come back. <laughs> right. If they're mulatto, they nigger. Now, what about did uh? Did you guys look up to Thomas Jefferson at one time? What about octoroons? No, I really need to know. Did they look up to Thomas Jefferson and the Klan? He was one of the original forefathers. Right. They I really don't do. know. I wasn't alive with Thomas Jefferson. But I mean, you read the Declaration of Independence, I, haven't you? I think he had some slaves. Right. 
What about octoroons? Where do you stand on them? Octoroon. I don't know what octoroon is. One eighth black. One eighth black. One eighth is in you. Got, if you got one drop of blood in you, you're a nigger. All right. Daniel, what if they found out you have? Oh. Yeah, we well, want... they ain't going to find out I have because I'm, I'm white. I'm hey, Daniel, all white. All Daniel, American. Would you be willing to take a blood test to see if there's any black in you? Yeah. You would. There ain't no black in me. And what would happen if you found out you had it? <laughs> I'd go hang myself, probably. Uh, <laughs> He'd kill himself. Oh, dear. Well, I, the only reason I brought up Thomas Jefferson was they just discovered he had black children. That's right. King of all yeah, blacks. But, but uh, I don't know if he did or not. Might have did. Uh, slaves were property. Hey, shut up. And, and, and slave owners did use them to masturbate with. King of all blacks, you're on the air. Yeah, can I ask you a question? <clears throat> why are all Ku Klux Klan people poor? <laughs> and why, when well, they got them little kids on TV, they always got dirt on their I don't, I don't know that they all poor. Uh, are there any wealthy an Klan? A wizard in Gulf, North Carolina, lived in a home that he paid three hundred fifty thousand dollars for. And I want to ask you a and serious I, question. I'm, I'm far from poor myself. What would you do if Jesus was black? Well, what would I do if the sky fell? And what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, King. Thank you. Well, Daniel, once again, you've uh, brought up a lot of controversy. Everybody... Controversy follows you. It does. And yet, uh, let's review your movie review because that's what people they are really interested in. They all agree with me, though, in private. They do? They come up to you privately and say, hey. All, all white people, I don't care if they're school teachers, preachers, or whatever, in private, they all agree with me. They just admit that they're cowards. What is it, Ozzy? Hello? Yes. Yeah, I was in a special elite unit in Israel. I came here in 1995. And I work right now as a bouncer in one of the clubs in Queens. And I would just love to kick this guy's ass. <laughs> I mean, well, I here... served in Gaza, in Palestine, and wow. let me tell you, Everybody I, wants I really to do, I can with really do tricks with this guy. Well, here's a Jewish guy who wants to kick your ass, Daniel. I'm gonna I know, he don't ass. really want to, I, though. Listen, Daniel, I don't need to know your address. Just tell me when is your next trial. Wherever you guys are meeting, I just and told you I'm we're gonna, gonna meet in Fort Payne, Alabama, second weekend in June. Friends, and Did I'm you? gonna send you back to Israel to let you know where your goddamn roots came from. You hear that? You ain't gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna. You do ain't nothing. gonna do nothing. Run Don't your you mouth. I can put on my robe is, and walk down the center street of New York City. Tell me where your and next rally is. Gonna do nothing. He just told you where his rally is. Where? Say it I again. I just told him, but he won't clean out his ears. Go take a bath and wash oh, your man. ears out. Where did you come from, moron? Where did your ancestors huh? come from? I come from Georgia. I bet you your grandmother was Jewish. I come from Georgia. You come from where? Georgia. Georgia? Yeah, Georgia. Georgia? You stupid. Georgia? You That's stupid down hit. next to Alabama. All Don't right. You go back to the goddamn little country you came from. All right, okay. thank you, Ozzy. All right, Ozzy. Okay, wash your big mouth out when you're washing your ears. Joe, what is it? Yes, uh, my name is Joe, um, and I had a sexual relationship with Daniel Carver. Is that right? Oh. <laughs> and I'm a Jewish man. Is yeah. it true, Daniel, that you had gay sex with a Jewish man? <laughs> that you are in love? No, nah, it ain't. Isn't it, in fact, true that <laughs> you're in love with a man? That's though. <laughs> <laughs> what? Daniel, is it true you got pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> it, All right. It, I, if Daniel, I have if Daniel, I have sex Daniel with him, with another man, I hope I get pregnant. Right. If you <laughs> if you had sex with another man, you would kill yourself and you would kill your mother, right? So that she wouldn't have to suffer the embarrassment. Well, of I can't you. kill my mother. She's already dead. Well, there you go. All and, right. Uh, Daniel's also a bottom boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, there it is. Daniel, Daniel. seems to understand that language. <laughs> a bottom boy. I just, you know. I just don't get upset with idiots. <laughs> You didn't worship his pretty feet, did you? No, I can, I can, I can. I guess I can listen to him and don't pay no attention. By to the him. way, Gary the retard's on the phone. Your own, oh, your old friend. He wants to say hello. Yes, Gary. Hey, what's up, Howard? Hey, Gary. Hey, you know that guy you just talking to? Yes. Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Hey, Daniel. You know what? I have seen you. I have seen you on uh, uh, that that guy gets on the show and fights a lot. Jerry Springer. Uh, Jerry Springer. Dan, you've been on Jerry Springer? Yeah, yeah, I've been on Jerry Springer. Yeah, I see the on that, Dan, so I know who you are, and I see you in New York. So why don't you go back where you came from and leave Howard alone? Oh, now you don't like Daniel. All right. Well, leave thank Howard you. alone. I have my opinion You're the one, Father like Howard. Daniel. <laughs> you don't Daniel. like Daniel. If I hear you, if I hear you on the, if I hear uh, you, you on the game, You don't Dan. mean no harm. Hey. I'd like that. You don't mean no Daniel. harm, Gary. Daniel, you're talking to Gary the Red Tiger. Now shut up, let me talk, okay? Okay, Gary. 
I ain't going to use your last name. Your tape up and leave Howard alone. <laughs> All right, Gary. Okay, thank you. Okay, Gary. You have a nice day, huh? Hey, you know what? Why don't you just, why don't you just go back to your town and fight with everybody yeah. else? And when when, me, and you and that, when me and you in that private room up there in New York, you're my friend. What's wrong, Gary? I don't, I don't like you. Well, I you thought do, you, you Gary. You do when we up there in New York in that private room with sitting there drinking coke and talking. You're my friend then. I know, but see, I don't get, I don't get chance to come to New York. I'm here trying to go somewhere else to make some money. Now, Daniel's saying, Gary, you were friends with him in New York, and you were you were hanging out with him drinking Coca-Cola. I wouldn't drink no Coca-Cola. You weren't? He's no, I wasn't. <laughs> You're a Pepsi okay. man? Well, at least we were friends. <laughs> he, Gary, Gary, you were friendly with Daniel when you were here. I know. I see him. I see him on Jerry Springer. Well, now you don't like, like him. him. You didn't like him on Jerry Springer. Well, no, Jerry Springer? I see Jerry Springer all the time. All the get, all the get up bunch of lesbian, lesbian goes on you fighting all the time. Now, Gary, what happened? I thought you said you didn't like the Jews. I thought you liked. Uh, I like the Jews sometimes, but I just don't. You know, I just don't. You know. <laughs> All right, thank you, Gary. Hey, hey Howard. Yes. You got to get me back to New York again. All right, I'll get you back here soon, Gary. Thank you. Because I want to be on that. Uh, <laughs> Take that him on back to New York. All right, thank you, Gary. Okay. Yes. Before you hang up on, did you hang up on? No, him? I didn't hang up on him. I'm still here. We were going to ask Gary if he would be willing to do something to come back to New York. Do you remember? No. What is it? Uh, there's a guy that wants to get his band played. And he said he kissed Gary. Hey, Gary, listen to this. Oh. What? There's this guy who wants to get his band played on there. He said he would he would uh, kiss you. A man would kiss you. I don't want no man to kiss me. I don't want a woman to kiss me. Yeah, well, the only thing I can get you is a man to kiss you. Would no, you, a woman. Would you be up to that? I want a woman to kiss me, Howard. All right, well, we'll talk. Thank you. <laughs> uh, he ain't that retarded. <laughs> no, I'm not that retarded. <laughs> no, he ain't that retarded. He'll wear, he'll wear a wig. Smart. All right, well, we'll see if we can't uh, talk to him about that. Oh, dear. Um, there's so many calls for Daniel, I can't even handle it. Uh, he's one of the uh, more popular movie reviewers in the country. <laughs> Has uh, Roger Ebert called Daniel? No. <laughs> Mark, you're on the air. Mark? Well, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What Daniel is it? Daniel Carver's little bitch. You're Daniel Carver's little bitch. Yeah, we chased him down, and he said he was going to pop all this stuff, and he, he just ran. He ran from you. He ran. When did this happen? What's have that? You got any, have you got any serious callers for me? Let me see if I can find one. Yes, <laughs> Kelly. Yeah, oh. Daniel wants serious callers. Yes, Kelly. Yes, I just wanted to ask Daniel something. I'm going to be moving to Colorado, and I just want to know if they had a local chapter out there. That we uh, yeah, up. yeah. there's a lot of, a lot of clan in Colorado, around Denver. Oh, uh, there's none near Pueblo or anything? Like, towards New Mexico? I mean, we're going to be on the other side of Denver. There's nothing closer? I don't know. We have clan in almost every city in the nation. The so woman you write to me, I'll, I'll send you an application, and, and if there's any close to you, then they'll get in connection with you. She seems concerned that she will have to travel far distances Doesn't to be... Doesn't she have an affiliation Oh, no, there's, right there's clan... Your next door neighbor could be a clan, and you wouldn't even know it unless you were a member yourself. Kelly, you mean you were looking to join, or you have an affiliation right now? Looking to join. Oh, you're looking to join. I see. All right. Did you get All raped? white people should join. Did you get raped by a black guy or something? No. It's this. you know, I hate, you know, hearing um, black people, you know, complaining to us, you know, that we started slavery and when it was them in the beginning. You that think was they, selling you think, black people to black people, and then it just went on, you know, I to see. the white. So for that reason, you're going to join the clan? Yep. All right. Well, you have your reasons. All right. Thank you. Blacks will never quit whining. They just whine every time they don't get their way, and all they whine is racism. Yep, that's right. <laughs> it just it disgusts me. All right. Well, okay. You'll have to get in touch with Daniel and see if you can't get uh, into the groove. Allison, you're on the air. Hi, Howard. Hi, Hi Robin. Hi. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Hi. in the book, <clears throat> in the Bible, you, you, you read the Bible, right? Sure. All um, my beliefs are based on the Bible. Okay, I, Jesus said in Matthew that love is the most important thing. It sounds like you have a lot of hate in your heart. He sa he says he loves white people. That's his love. I, I love white people, and and that's, there's a whole lot of hate in the Bible if you read it. I mean, God separated the ocean one time and let his people through and closed it on the other. Sounds like a little hate there to me. Well, he destroyed the earth with, with fire and brimstone yeah, really one time. Uh, he, believe, he likes those stories. He, hated he likes his cartoons, enemies. too. He killed his enemies. Uh, All right, listen, enough of this. I got Daniel, <laughs> thank you very much for the movie review. Let me just let me sum up what you've said here. Uh, get on the bus, got one burning cross. 
Uh, Cotton comes to Harlem, two burning crosses, and a gentleman's agreement got two burning crosses. Is that correct? That's correct, Howard. Uh, thank you, Daniel. All right, thank uh, you. There he is, Daniel I Carver. <laughs> One can only hope it'll be Star Wars. Wake up, white people! This week on Howard 100 and Howard 101, Whack Packers from all across the galaxy. I'm from Vietnam, brother. Nah. Are back. You stupid bastard. <laughs> what the hell you laughing at, you fat, bald head faggot? The Whack Pack strikes back. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. The Whack Pack strikes back. May the dorks be with you. Elephant Boy is here, too. He's going to talk about some porno movie you made, and I can't even... I, I saw some of this thing. I can't figure out what he's up to. Really? Oh, yeah. It's definitely weird, and I can't figure out what he's getting out of it. Where the hell is Elephant Boy? Let me get him in here, because I don't, I don't want to get backed up when Roseanne comes in. Where's uh, Abby, who is with you? Is she uh, coming in as well? Yeah. Abby's in the video with you? Yes. All right, bring her in, too, Casey. Let's get this party going. So, Elephant Boy, uh, explain to me... I, listen, I've known you for a lot of years now, right? Yes. Okay, and you, and, and quite frankly, I'm going to tell you my impression of you. I always thought, despite your obvious handicap of your mm -hmm. voice, I always thought you were pretty normal. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, let, me, let me say this about that. You, cre you created me. You met me that your Frankenstein monster. Well, no, I didn't create you. I mean, yeah. I put you on. Here comes Abby. I, I recognize her from the movie. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. I think you're pretty normal in the sense yeah. that you always seem pretty level-headed. And then it took me, it rocked my world mm. when I found out. Hi, Abby. Hi, Howard. I, it rocked my world when I found out that you were doing some gay stuff. And not that I have anything yeah, against gay people. Uh, it's just I, I was shocked no. because I thought you were so into girls. Well, you, know what you, you know what it was? We met him. He was a virgin. He couldn't get anybody. Yeah, it just rocked and my you world. you thought that maybe just a girl would be enough. Yeah, yeah. And that rocked my world. Yeah, well, well, well you say yeah, I, I, I did because, because every time I can't come on to show, you, that, that thing is always sent up. Uh, I, I did to show you the... The, you know, I, I, well, I mean, I you like did gay stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, 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 that I'm took me—that that took me—that took me by surprise. Hold yeah. on, Abby, and and then, and also, you always live with your mom. You still live with your mom, right? Yes, do. You know, I just thought you was like a nice boy. Yeah, you know, I think, I think, I think I've I've become like overstimulated. You have. Yeah. Well, it came hey, out of the blue. Living with your mom. How old are you now? Uh, forty. That's a little weird. Yeah. Well, yes. listen, but yeah. you know, I don't know. I mean, I, so all of a sudden, there were some rumors a couple of months ago that Elephant Boy had made a porno movie. Now let, let me let and me just tell you. Tell you? No, let me tell you. So I think the way it goes, and I probably have the story a little backwards, but okay. Elephant Boy had said to Gary, "Please do not talk about this porno movie. I don't want any attention brought to it. It was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it." Is this correct so far? Not really. Oh, uh, <laughs> because. Because it was something that we wanted to promote. I didn't want people to copy off, off, off the net and, and get credit before oh, we I give see. you an explanation. All right. I don't want other people to take the credit. So you well, just, it was a timing thing. Yeah, yeah, a timing, timing. thing. Yeah. So he made a, 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 a... What does your mom think of you doing a porno? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Uh, Can we show uh, it to her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'd love to be here when she sees it. You know, and, and, and quite frankly... Yeah. This porno is very disturbing. Really? Elephant Boy. What's going on in it? All right, I'm going to tell you what I saw. I saw it on the internet. Yeah. Elephant Boy is in women's stockings. That's what she wanted. Thing. Yeah. I don't care whose thing it is. <laughs> why would you do How it? You know, why do you just put, you, you put, you put your money in early put, grave? Do you, do you put yourself in track in, 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 too, in too many books? All right. Here's the difference. Yeah. Elephant Boy has a dildo. Oh. I like it. With, with, well, excuse me, and I, let's just say that the, the buttocks is involved. Okay. Now that is there's so, that. there's nothing Maybe wrong with it. Maybe in your world, honey. No, no, there's this a is, lot of people that like stimulation oh. that way. Let me tell you something, honey. I don't know you from a hole in the wall. Who is That's she? Okay. Is. So when I see a man on a bed, spread eagle, pretending to be a girl with a dildo. 
There's something wrong in America. No, 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 no. A lot of a lot of men like stimulation that way. No, they don't unless they're gay. Uh, no, that's not true. Wrong. Sexual and gay are two different things. I don't care what it is. That is so feminine. The girl. No. This guy. Let me tell you about this bit. Elva, what? Are you in a dress? Excuse me, Abby. Are you in a dress? Robin hasn't seen this. Are you in a dress with stockings? The no, garters? not the dress. You're in a stockings and garters, no, garters. and a bra. No. Oh, no. What are he's, you wearing? He's, I, I, just describe what no. you're wearing in those. Just stockings. Just you have more than stockings. No. I saw more women's apparel. You're naked no. except for stockings? Don't you have high heels on? No. No. you got to see this. I, I don't Maybe know. your imagination went wild. <laughs> Maybe it did, but I'm telling you, I see this guy in women's stockings. He looks like a girl, and no. he's doing stuff, do a porno? and he's acting like a girl. You're no, acting like a girl. A, Your legs are spread like a woman. Don't, don't tell me he's not Abby. I don't lie. Uh, elephant oh, boy, no, you, no, uh, no, were you I'm pretending not, to be a girl? I'm not just not like that, but you, you, no. you, you was wrong with what I was wearing. What You were wearing women's clothing. It's just a role-playing. Yeah, it's, it's offensive. Just, I don't role-play like that. It's That's so crazy. That's fucking you. That's fucking you. That's wild. Oh That's God. wild. What is that? We had a good time. But, but you're right, Howard. If you were watching the video... He's the submissive, and yes. she's, the yeah. she's the man. I like, I like. I never that. pretend to be a girl in bed. So so that's, that's you. That's you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now oh, let me ask you something. You. Are you? Why? Gary asked you a question <laughs> earlier. Why? Why are you making this video? As 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 as. Gary says before. you start to stutter as soon as someone asks you this question because you don't have an do answer. Him. Go oh, ahead. Yes, he does. Why did you make this video? No, are you so desperate for sex that this is the only way you can get sex with this woman? And you don't even bang this chick, do you? In this video, I just. You don't want to bang her? No. You just want her to do stuff to you like she's a man? Yeah. Oh. No, not totally no. that. No, oh, not come totally on, honey. That, I saw no. what you were doing. You were no, playing sir. the man role. No, yeah. Well, no. That's okay. It's a fantasy. Nice Elephant Boy's yeah. very naive, yeah. obviously. No, no, I'm not, no. Did he get he paid knows, for this? Did you get, why did you do this video? He yeah. wants to show you, Howard, that he's not totally gay. He's yeah. bisexual. Not gay? That's the gayest goddamn thing no, I ever saw. Oh, There's please. a difference, Howard, between gay so and sexual. It's like, I'm not saying it. It's gay. It's a gay video. Are you claiming? Claiming to be bisexual now? Yes. He is bisexual, not gay. Yes! A couple of weeks ago you were I'm heterosexual! I did it twice, two times. <laughs> twice. That's two times. Okay. Right, let me yeah. wait a second. I gotta get I, I'm concerned about Elephant Boy. I think he's going to a song and into a dark you world. How are you don't give a damn up on me? You just give a damn up on yourself. That's not true. No, How dare you? No, you Where's this coming from? The person, you know, oh That's you not the why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? I I I care about you. you. Why don't I care about you? I'm worried that you're yeah. going into a dark what, place. What haven't we done? Yeah, but what haven't I done? Not, well, I can't wait a second. Now stop. Now you've insulted me. Now you've insulted me. I bet we're going to hell. And listen, I, I, I'm a drunk. I don't care about people. What? How dare he you? What have I done for you? you? And I, I care know, about you. It's not that you, 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 you took care of me, but you don't get checked one after I leave the studio. Well, what am I going to do, Elephant Boy? You're no, a grown they, man. You want me to go check on you? I don't want, I don't need you. Should I call I you? I don't know I what you're talking about. I don't need you to say, check up on me. Howard, 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 everybody can <laughs> check up on him, and I see you. Oh, be quiet. I'll give the website out plenty, honey. <laughs> you're, you're just annoying me. Don't, don't annoy me. Because really, I'll, I'll take a dildo and, and work you a little Wait bit. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, she right. would like that. She would like it. What? <laughs> what is he saying that you don't do? I yeah, what don't I do for you? What do you, oh, no, what do you, you expect you, me to do? You, you, you insult me. me. No, you, you have me. I mean, you know, but you use me on the show. You I don't know. use you. No, I have no, you as a guest. It, as, as you a, use me. As a guest. Exactly. It Come goes, in here, promote everything you do. It goes both ways. So what's wrong? Well. So what's wrong? No, no, Why nothing, am I self-centered? No, no, nothing, nothing with that. You know. I mean, if all people say I'm self-centered, an elephant boy. I cannot finish. Brought him into the fold, gave him a that's little it. something. Give yeah, him a that's life. it. But with that, but with that, you, you like, I, I, I check it the manual, and because of that, a I what? my manhood. You check your manual. No. Manhood. Manhood. Yeah. Well, not, 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 I lost my train. Tra all right, never mind your train of thought. I got, I, cause I got Roseanne coming your in here, and I want to get to all of this. Your train is wrecked, is right. There's no train, train of thought anywhere. <laughs> Elephant boy, yeah. forget about me and the way you just insulted me. I well, it's not like I I, I, I insulted you, but 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 if I you're to talk, 
you're the tough, uh, tough, tough person. If your foot is not done a certain way, you're like, I, I take it. Right, I don't know what you're talking about. Let yeah. me, let me, really, you're making it, you're pointless. All right, I think he's going to cry. I'm not crying. No, right, no, I'm calm. Why didn't you wear women's stockings today? <laughs> so wait a second. Because that's not part of my fantasy. Oh, evidently it is. No. I saw you wearing it. Yeah, not here. I got a video of it. He did that for me. Yeah, for her. Did it for you. Who not are you? For you. Who are you? I'm Abby. 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 Yeah. He did it for himself. Trust me. Okay, but you took advantage of the fact that he's so sexually desperate. So how did he get hooked up with Abby X? Why are you, Elephant Boy? Excuse me, Abby. Elephant Boy, why are you doing this porno video that is going to come back? I like back? it. Uh, I, 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 it's something I want, I want you to do. I mess with you got other guys who you think porn, you know, through, through You want to be a porno star now? Is that what you're saying? N not really. It was a one, it's something I want you to do. But now you say not, you answer the question by saying not really, yeah. but yet you're a I porn don't know. star. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, now I am. And, <laughs> and that, I would think it's rude. Yeah. You say you don't want to be one. But you are one. You're putting yourself oh, in porn. I am. That's okay. oh, we had I am. Fun. We have fun, friends. Yes. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Do you ever want to have children? He can't. What? He's a man. Do you yeah. ever want to have children? Yeah, no. Men can have children. Uh, yeah. Do you ever yeah, want to have children? Probably. Yeah. You want them to see you in women's clothing, um, doing porn? Is that what I you want? You, you let your children see porn. Do you want that? What? No. Do you want that for you to be? Do you want to be in women's clothing? Uh, right, With your legs spread. You no, honey, no, I don't do porn. No, I'm not saying porn, but you do women's clothes. Yeah, that, that's, that's not what I'm talking we're, about. We're asking Elephant Boy a question. Yeah, no, Abby. Back. Sorry. Abby, obviously you don't care about anything you do. Oh, I do. No, I you do. don't. Yes, I do. Wow. I saw you on the video doing things to Elephant Boy. Just wild. That's right. Oh. Elephant Boy, are you being paid for this? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, no. Then there's absolutely no reason. Do you receive Do you receive any money for the sale of the video? That's that's Fred. Uh, what 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 are you a lawyer, Abby? Don't talk for him. He's forty years old. Let me talk to my friend Elephant Boy. I don't know you from a hole in the wall. Don't you dare answer his question. No, I did. Do you receive money from the sale of the video? No, 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 I didn't. Does anybody receive money from the sale of the video? I don't think so. Who owns the video? I thought the, Abby I thought, does, yeah. and how dirty do people? And, and Dirty Dog Productions, Doc. Dirty Doc Productions, is not going to get paid for this video. Uh, oh, 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 elephant boy! I'm asking Abby I'm now. Not, no. I'm asking Abby now. Okay. I'm asking Abby now. Do you get paid for the video? Do I get paid for the video? No. I don't does Dirty Doc video. Productions sell the video? No. Is it's free. Profit? It's a free video. No. It's Where? Who pays for it? We we did the video. And who's going to buy it? Who's going to buy it? Yeah. If I want to buy it, can I buy it if I want to? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can I buy it if I want to buy the video? Are, are you going to give out the address of a website today? I'm two websites, yes, sir. Okay, and what happens when I go on the website? Do I pay for the video? Uh, the webs, the websites that I'm going to give are for me. The, the video. What about the Elephant Boy video? It's not for sale. She's talking. So, all right, here's the deal. She's not, talking in not, talking in double speak. All right. She's going to give out a website. Yeah. Where you can go to see the video right. if you become a member at fourteen ninety five uh, a month. Right. Who gets the fourth? Now, now, you see, you're not an honest person. When I ask you a question, I answer honestly. Who does? Who gets the fourteen ninety five that I have to pay to see the Elephant Boy video? The company. The company. Why is and Elephant do Boy? Do you get paid eventually, Abby? Do I get paid eventually? Not by extreme. All right. All right. Do, does anyone make money? Does the fourteen ninety five go to charity? I'm not sure what they do. With oh, them. you don't know. No. Why is Elephant Boy not receiving a portion of the funds? No one said he wasn't receiving a portion. He, Elephant Boy just said he isn't. There has been no funds to give him. Elephant Boy, has anybody of. offered you a percentage of the videotape? Uh, no. None. No. Not, not so there you are in women's clothes. Do you feel like a jerk over this? No. You do not. You're happy about this. I'm not happy. You're going to let her give out a website of fourteen ninety five. You're never going to see a penny. And for the rest of your you life, you're going to be in women's clothing with a dildo. I don't care what, your people, I don't care what people that. think. Do you think it? No, I, why, don't why don't you get paid? Why don't you get paid? I don't discuss anything to pay him with yet, Howard. What if there is money made? I will take care of Fred. How? Oh, how? What do you need to know for? That's our business. Because he's our friend. Like Fred, has she yeah. said anything he's to you friend about friend this? Too. He's not. She I has said she'll, did she I say she'll Fred. take care of you? In other ways. Barter. Sexually? Barter. Yeah. Yeah. Barter? What kind of barter does she have? We didn't discuss it. Well, how are you going to get it after the fact? 
I thought I, I thought right. I, I thought okay, if I can not perform it, you know, for me, I just did it uh, for me. Fred is the only reason that anyone is going to go look at this thing, not because of you, Abby, that's but because fine. of Fred the Elephant Boy. That's fine, right? Why yeah, is Fred the Elephant Boy? I feel it's fine for you. People who stay together and get you where you're going, Howard, you take care of, right? Yeah. So I put it in writing right now that Fred the Elephant Boy gets the fourteen ninety five for everyone. It's not my site. I can't do that. Well, let's not give it out then. Why should uh, people, Fred? Why do you want people to go to a website to see this thing? For no good reason. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Fred. I don't, I'm not worried about it. If you're a real woman, you won't give out the website address. I won't give out that. Good. Website good. Address. Good. Good. Can I ask Fred a question? Yes. Fred, you have a regular job that you go yeah. to, right? You get paid. That's how you live. Well. If they told you that. Uh, they're going to barter with you, but they don't know what they're going to barter with, and we'll work it out down the line. Would you go? Right, that's... Right, right, that, that's... If they that, gave him sex, yes. Actually, if you want to okay, know... I, 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 you, I know you can speak <laughs> no, for no, me. No, I won't no. say nothing. Am I wrong to say this, Fred? What? If you want me to no. stop uh, okay. being your advocate, I will. But do, am I wrong about any of this? You're not... No, you know, no, you, you're not wrong. I can understand your concern. Maybe, maybe I didn't think, you know, all of... Uh, no, wait, that's yeah. not even... Why don't you talk started, to us right? before you do this when stuff? Because, because he thinks I'm, I'm self-centered and I don't care about you know, him. Howard, Abby you. cares about you, elephant boy. Listen to me, Howard. Yeah. Why did Abby when call? When started, okay? Yeah. It was simply going to be something... Talk into the microphone if you have something to say. It was simply going to be something that we did for you and you alone to show you because it was bothering him so bad uh, the, the fact that you talk about him the way you do. So, oh, please. Yes, listen to me. He's, he's Abby, fully Abby, capable. Abby, he's going to impress Abby, Howard. Abby, hold on a second. <laughs> right. If, if, this, was to, if this was to impress Howard, how come when I got the original call three months ago, listen to me, Freddie Elva Boy called me and said, if we talk about this tape on the air, let he's never finish. doing the show again. Ever. Let I'm on the mall anyway. Let this is my last show. Why is it your last show? What did I do to you? You said to stick up for you. Well, excuse me. I want to hear this. It's not what you do, but you did everything you can with me. Uh, everything. It was a wonderful life, but I think. Why, if I want you on the show? Now? Are you retired? Is no, you announcing your retirement? Yeah. No, uh, I. Bob did this. This is why we're here. Because no, 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 no. Is he announcing his retirement? I think you have so. put him over the edge, Abby. No, sir, nice I going. Have not. Nice going. No, uh, hey, Fred, Fred. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it's not that let me. Wait a second. The man is announcing his retirement. No, let, me, let me make a statement. I'm, I'm really thinking it's not because they, I just don't Abby's going to dump you okay. if you do this, Elephant Boy. They, they, want, they want the juice. They want the power, Elephant Boy. How we can cannot finish. Can I just tell you one thing? When you came on the show, we yeah. first discussed the yeah. gay stuff, it started to bother you. Yeah. So yeah. we didn't bring it up as much every time you came on. You always then, hold bring up. No. <laughs> hold on. Then you, oh. called me, Freddy, you called me and you said, if you show this video, I'm never doing the show. And I said, you, you know what, Fred? Hold on. I said, Fred, we like you and we yeah. respect your wishes. Yeah, so you're I, the one who called me back and said, I need to come on to promote it. Yeah. How are you, why would you be mad at us now? No, it's not. Because he doesn't know who to, he, he can't be mad at Abby. I'm, no, mad. I'm not saying I didn't mean, you know, to say a bad thing. Fred, wait one uh, second. Yeah. Back to the thing. It was for you, Howard. Okay. So then why sell that's it? What happened? Not that's not what happened. Give Fred what the money. He asked me what, yeah, to yeah, make a copy for Mary. Mary, you know, yeah, Mary, his girlfriend. Yeah, she'd Mary, love to see that. Mary, oh, she did, and not yeah. only that, but she, she wants to see him bang it. a girl like a man. She mailed it to Crackhead Bob, and he was gonna go around behind Fred back door with all y'all and show right. the video. But then at that and, point, I said we won't do anything with it. But that's right. It was well, done. But yeah. that's over. that's why you got the call because he got a call for about him having the video. We would never backstab Fred if he okay, tells us not so to promote the video. He wouldn't. Well, I did not know that I was protecting my interests. That's right. What interest? You're not getting any money. Howard, uh, it's all bloomed into this, okay? I can't all I'm saying is I will not there. announce this website until Fred but, gets money from Abby, the video. You know, you know, at the end of the day, if I you, don't have if you announce with it, Fred getting getting any. Right, put it in writing. Okay? Put it in writing. You have to talk to Doc. Bring Doc. I don't know Doc. I'll I'll bring bring it here. Here. <laughs> I don't need to I be explained to. That part. I'm only. Why I'm is only... he angry at us, though? That's what I don't right. know. He's, he's, he's muddled. Howard, it's not that I'm. It's not that I'm angry or frustrated. With what? I've been on to so for um, about 10 years Go now. Ahead, let me I hear. think it's a. <laughs> It's so Did good. You come in I have a good, a long, a long life. I mean, I will not, I will never bad mouth you. You won't see me doing, going on any other talk show. I just want to leave after this, say, 
Hey, I did a tape, and it's a man not to do Did you it. just make this decision to leave the show? Or, or no, I just because it, I've it's been coming about a long, long time? I've been sick a long time. Right. But I, I said you can't go out. I mean, you can't. Him. Good. As that as way, as I, as I, I respect that. Fred's decision yeah. to retire, yeah. but I'm glad you're not giving the website out. I prefer that this thing not get sold unless Fred gets money for I, it. I, but I have to, and they're not. that's not that, okay? I won't give out the one that that. But no, I don't want any website given out. He's going to be taken care of. Well, I want to see it in writing. I have to. I can't. And as far as Fred's decision not to appear on the show, I think uh, Fred is so upset about this. I'm not upset. Are you upset cool. with the whack packing and, and, and. I think the whack packing well, channel. What's that got to do with me and Howard? No, it's not. It's not so. It I don't want. I don't. I, I want to be back to Fred Swipe. But it's no never going to happen. Part. How could you do that, Fred? You know, but, Everybody recognizes I, you. Yeah, so that's it. If I'm not on the show, less people will remember me. Yeah, people will always remember me to the day I die so by interviews of less right. people, less right. people, right. less well, people. fine. That is fine it's with me. I mean, how are, 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 are we, are we, what happens are to you? That's a good question. What? what happens to you that is so bad out that there? That you need to get out of it. That you need to get out no, of the business. I, I had my fame. Yes. Um, you know, I got gigs. I'm not getting much gigs as before. Right. You know, it was uh, funny. It lasted. Uh, you Fred, know, are, are you uh, saying that the good things that you've gotten from the show, like you know, whenever we send you on trips or bring you no. other stuff with us, you say oh, that, 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 trips, was outweighed, that that was outweighed by the bad things? Uh, no, it goes. What's so I bad? I, I still don't hear. How it? How it? Yeah. I take the bad with the good, not the good so with the bad. So tell us what the bad is. The bad. You know what the bad is? I know what the what bad is. What is the bad? Abby, shut up. The bad is is the is the you know make you know make it gay. Get, you know, get reference. You know, I take it with a, with a grain of salt, but do but you? You're excuse me, yeah. But excuse me, <laughs> but, but yeah, we I didn't invent this. I am much more than bi. Okay, if you got it, I'm more than that. I'm more than that. I don't want to be just one thing. To you. All right. We, well, oh, all right. No, you're not I think you're going on. I just, that's, why, that's the way I will. perceive it. <laughs> you know, I'm sure, Howard. I'm sure you're not, yeah. but if, that, that's how it comes off the air. Right. right. Wouldn't you think that this show is just a magnet for other guys? Like, well, listen, what, what will guys? happen to Fred the Elephant I don't want Boy? To, I don't want to meet people who. Well, no, 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 no. Here's right. what will happen with Fred the Elephant Boy. Something will come up in his life where he needs publicity. Or money. Or money. And he will contact us and be back. Now, Abby will, no, be gone. Abby will be gone Howard. because Howard. as she hears Fred Howard. talking about that he's never Howard. appearing on the show anymore, Howard. Fred is no longer of use to him. That That's my Howard. feeling. He needed me. Whatever. How, how, <laughs> Why he needs Howard. you, I don't know. If I make this decision... He's the one who gets on the show, not you. Howard, if I make the decision not to call Abby, and I don't know which way i go, depends on the fear after, you know, I would... If if I make the decision not to, you you know whatever, I would, I, no, no, boy. I would be man enough. Good, not, and don't not call me when you need something. Okay, all that, right, we'll see. Good. You'll see. It's lonely. It's lonely without the show, bro. No way. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see when the abbeys of the no, world dry up. It, no more you, dildos. I mean, I said, in in return, remember what life was like it. before, Elephant Boy. He no girls, yeah. lonely, and nobody wanted to know you. Yeah, so, that's true. That's true. All right, go back to it. But uh, when you make it, a decision uh, to go back to it, I will abide by it. Let me say one. You and mommy locked okay. in the house again. Howard, let me say. Let me say one thing. You sure you want to do this? I'm not. I'm not sure now. You damn right, you're not. <laughs> go back to the way it was. But Howard, suppose if you retire from radio. Right. Do you see that's me retiring? It. No. That's it. Well, Why not? Retire. Do you think? Do, do you think I would say? I would Why say, are you looking at me? I'm not no. retiring. You're but retiring. It's the future. It's the future. If you retire, do what you got to do. Fred. I do. What so I why have are you do. making? Why do you think Fred. it's true? This is what your yeah. problem is. Yeah. Can yeah. I tell you your problem? You don't think things are right away. You're well, retiring. I think the first right. It, yeah. Right away. You're in a porno video. You're you're, yeah. did, you, did you sign anything with these people? Yeah, with this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, See how right. look, look, look. Fred, uh, Fred I'm gonna yeah. do you the biggest yeah. favor. I'm gonna disregard your retirement. Let you Thank think you. about oh, it. Howard, here's a, here's <laughs> a, it might have been a rash decision. Yeah. Here's a good point right here, Howard. Yeah. Fred, yeah. You're booked on the show in three weeks. Right. Yeah. Will you be here? I will I will I will let I will let you know. You will be here. Be I will let you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with uh, with, uh, with uh, mankind, aka yeah. Cactus Jack? Yeah, you're not coming oh, yeah. on with him? You're not gonna come yeah. come. I, I say, uh, yeah. Uh, he'll retire after that. He'll retire. 
Uh, I'll talk to Gary, and let me talk to you after the... Uh, sure. after All right, look, 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 look. Abby, um, um, I mean, yes, I mean, right. ever said before, Howard, I have not, I have not been personal. If I attack you, it wasn't like, you know, personal. I don't it take it my, personally. It does not. I just want to remind you that I am a friend of yours. Okay, I have no I ill realize, will toward you. I realize that because I, I get upset Howard, when you don't get paid. Howard, I would never want to be an, you know, uh, an an enemy. Pen, You're not an, an enemy. Not, not, I'm not a pain in the, pain the ass. Like, like Mar Marlos Larry Queen or. Or, or any of them. Uh, yeah, and, and of the, you know what? He has gotten it's, sick it's, of the Rat Pack. Yes. Yeah. So that's and, something and else that he's got to work he's out. Gonna take it out on the show. Right. They dogged him, man. All right, listen. Yeah. Listen to me. i got to wrap this up because i got Roseanne waiting. <laughs> all right, all right, listen to me. There's a lot going on here. A lot of stuff going on. The audience is completely in shock. <laughs> yeah. That fit is suck. Fred, you, you were the, like the earliest and yeah. loyalest member of the yeah. workhouse. It's all right. I, I yeah, respect but... his wishes, but he's got to think it through. Okay. Yes, he because it's lonely without the show sometimes. Well, you can always come down to you. Right. 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 It's lonely at the bottom. <laughs> Abby. I, I am going to announce it. your website when I know that Elephant Boy has worked out a deal with you. How can... Where he, <laughs> Elephant Boy, trust me on this. you got to be quiet during this. All right. Abby. Yes, you and Elfin Boy are invited back when I see a piece of paper that says Elfin Boy gets part of the proceeds because okay. he is the one. Okay. He is the one in okay. this video, and he well, is the I reason for it being. Fourteen ninety five for people to go see Elfin Boy with a dildo in women's clothing <laughs> is a draw. I know my audience will go see it. I want to see it. <laughs> I know. I saw it and I was shocked, and it was worth fourteen ninety five. I'm not saying it's not, that's, that's but my boy here has got to get some dough. Okay. okay. All right. I got to see it in writing. That all came about because of like right. it doesn't matter. I it does. Does. And I want him to be entitled to an accounting yeah. of the money because what? this is money that's very hard to count up. We don't Howard. care Howard. about you, Abby. We care about I Elephant you don't, Boy. And right. I do too. All right. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. don't care about your website or any no, announcement no, no, no. you need to make. Not my website. This is a different total one. He was don't going to be there. Don't care. Don't care. I'm going to bleep it off. Doesn't even matter. I'm not going to say it. All right. He was going to be there with me right after the show. To um, sell so what? It's a no, live sex thing. It's society. live sex. But what? How much but, was that going to cost to get on to after the show? Well, you got it was. It's if they if they just want to go here, it's it's no. um. No, how no, much? Go, go, how go. much? It's fifteen. And who gets that? Get, who gets Fred that money? Get paid. Fred gets nothing. Fred gets nothing. I, I Let me tell you that. what you're doing. Fred was get part of I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a minute. Well, I, you got to get done. Abby, listen to me. You got to get done. Listen to me. He's a he's a nice kid. Yes, he's a. Very and the nice fact person. of the matter is, he's a very he nice wants person. to have sex, obviously, with you. Right. You're an attractive woman. Yes. And the thing is, he's getting he's he's getting blinded by you know the p word I can't say. He wants yes, to sir. screw you, but yeah. he wants to screw screwed. you, but he the doesn't realize head. after yeah after he finishes he's getting screwed. So what well, I'm going to do is I'm going to save him from himself. He's probably mad at me right now because well, I'm, I'm frustrating his sex experience how it, with you. How, how it, I, but I, I don't want to see him live on the internet having sex if he's not getting paid. No, 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 no. He's not going to be live. And we don't want to hear him talking if he's not getting paid. So end the story. All right. So you two come back, Elephant Boy. You're invited back if you're out of retirement. With Abby, when the deal Gary, is struck. Gary, you know, by the time I come on to show in three weeks with, with Mac, uh, you will get a piece of paper right. and pop good. a good, 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 good. Mike, happened. what is it? Yes. What happened was, yeah. usual, was one good. of your rat pack is getting exploited, and he's too stupid to know that you're protecting his own interests. Well, I am concerned about he him. That. I'm trying to protect I, him. I what that. is it? What is it, Gary? You know, I understand. Now I'm sort of figuring out what's going on because Elef they were going to go do this website afterwards. So Elephant Boy is literally two hours away from, from having sex. Butt stuff done with Abby. Right. No. So now we've ruined uh, that. I right. That's no. what I just explained, uh, Gary. No. no. And I know that he wants that. That's tough because women. Don't I would want it to. Like what Abby? If you were, if you cared about Elephant Boy, go have sex with him in private. No. Right after this show. With him in private. With the today. videotape rolling. I had sex with him in private with the videotape rolling. No, I'm suggesting to you that today, today, go have sex with Elephant Boy wow. alone in a hotel room. Wow. I'll pay for the hotel room. You go have sex with him without any cameras. Yeah. No and, That's and what he no wants. Internet no, oh, and no internet site. No internet site. Do it till later. I have to go. And let him have intercourse this, with this you. Isn't about him being there. I'm going to be there. Period. Fine. Right. Right. This was an invitation for him. Right. To, yeah. To yeah. Get, yeah. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, Robin. Right. All right. Listen to me. 
Alvin Boy, okay. I'm looking after your interest, even though I you think, think I'm you. selfish. I know how it, if I call you selfish, I'll be uh, I'll be aside. That was a rest Apology damage. accepted. Thank uh, you. Uh, Abby, yes, uh, this guy I know a long time. If he wants to get into a venture with you, you got to do the right thing and be fair about it. Absolutely, Howard. Uh, I agree right. with that. I right. don't have a problem with that at all. Okay. And I did. And you are invited back when he has a piece of paper that is a contract where I see I he's getting part of the money. Howard. All right. I really would. Okay. Every scary. You're not the top. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back right after these words. The Whack Pack Strikes Back continues now. Elephant Boy came here yesterday. I, Gary, I, I don't know what you want me to do next. Are you the Elephant Boy or DL? Uh, you tell me. Let's do Elephant Boy. All right. Elephant Boy came in yesterday with this woman. I saw this. Bring them in. Just get them in here. And what happened was on the internet a couple of months ago, I saw Elephant Boy in a porno. And I was shocked because Elephant Boy told me he was like sort of trying to clean up his image and now he's doing porno. And then I got to thinking about this porno. And uh, to tell you the truth, I think what it is is Elephant Boy just, you know, is really lonely for sex. Yeah. And here was like a girl who was willing to do stuff with him, but she didn't even do it. She didn't even have sex with him. And I guess they bamboozled him. Not bamboozled him. He knew what he was doing, but now all of a sudden he's in some porno. They weren't even paying him. And yesterday I threw both of them out of here and told I saw a contract where Elfin Boy gets paid for the porno. And now I'm looking at this ridiculous contract that they have Elfin Boy sign, and I have to laugh at it. For example, there's a paragraph in here. I'm not an attorney, but I've read enough contracts to know that there's a paragraph in here that says, the contract is null and void. If you and I today don't mention properly. Don't give them the right mention, the yeah, mention they want. Which, by the way, has nothing to do with me. I'm not. Uh, yeah, but, we're not in the porno. <clears throat> I told you Elephant Boy could have the website if he was going to be guaranteed to be paid for his porno. Am I right, Abby? Yes, sir. You are. Yeah, but all of a sudden in this agreement, it's got to be done a certain way. So the whole contract's null and void anyway if it's not done the way you guys want what it do to we be done. We don't know what you want. We don't know what you want. Uh, so what the first thing I'm going to advise Elephant Boy is that um, we cross out this paragraph and you all initial it because uh, Elephant Boy doesn't get paid. He's already done something for you. He's already done it. Well, Howard, I can't do anything for him until you do something for us, which is that last No, he is not. Hours. You are not getting your what website. Do we have to do I with have nothing this? to do with this. I'm not Elephant Boy's agent. We were there at the beginning. Why are we here at the end? Hmm. Well, you would have been here at the beginning and not just the end. Had it gone the way, like I told you yesterday, we originally had tried to do this before he got bamboozled by how did you, the Rat Pack. How did you try to do this? We tried to do this private, personal, just for us to show you. Yeah. Wanted, this was originally just to show you, Howard. Then why are you selling it on the internet? Why am I selling it on the internet? Well, you don't. I'm are you the talent, Howard? No, aren't, you <laughs> aren't you married to the guy who's selling it? Aren't you married to the guy who's selling it? Am I married to the guy who's yeah. selling it? Yes. I'm married to the one, the the guy who helped produce it. Yes, but no. There's <laughs> websites if you look here that are selling it, not. Yeah, but uh, how do you guys get paid? Here we go again. I'm so well, sick we have, of she done, we Abby, you're, 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 these blurry we lines. Haven't got, we haven't Abby, come on. Come clean. Yeah. Come clean. Elephant Boy, how are you today, by the this way? The I'm fine. <laughs> you are fine? Yeah. Right. I'm not, do, do you mind me speaking on your behalf? I do. You I, need do it. I, I know, I know oh, now you look at my best so. interest, so I'm not going to argue with you. I am. Really? I am. So we I, are too. I, you're too. not with me. Abby's looking out for your best interest. So far, she wasn't going to pay you a dime. No, wait, Howard. I'm the Okay, yeah. I have nothing to do. You're, you're, you're involved in this, but I don't. No. I don't make those decisions. Right. Elephant boy, let me ask you something. I saw a couple of months ago. I went on the internet. Well, yeah, you, you Someone directed me. me to a website mm -hmm. where I tuned in and I saw you in women's stockings on a bed with Abby. Abby was standing over you. Now, how are we did that? Abby took. I'm doing it again. <laughs> Abby took a. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not. Don't ever tell me I'm what not. to do because I'm I will throw you out of here. Okay. No one tells me what to do. All right. You know what? In this little world, I'm God. Okay, God. All right. Okay, God. That would be the best way to refer to me today. <laughs> I control the Internet. Okay, God. Can we take it easy, though, on, on him today? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. You have he to take it easy on problem. him. He is not the problem. You are the problem. No. I need to talk to my client, Elephant Boy. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, right. I'm okay. Right. Okay. You're, you're uh, little See, servant, Elephant Boy. Yeah. <laughs> when Elephant Boy hears me raise my voice, it's I on know. his behalf. Uh, yeah. Now, Elephant Boy, uh, as I said yesterday, 
I, uh, <laughs> no, I was, I was thinking never happy, but since it did, I make it the best of it. Okay, you wish yeah. it never happened. Yeah. Good. What so does because he wish never happened? No way, Fred. That's what? not true. Because you told me this is what you wanted. Yeah. You yeah. Told me, oh, I, I told you never done I, this, but you told no, me, Fred. This I, is what I you said wanted. I was. What happened to say it ne 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 never happened in a different way, you know. Well, I, right. I, 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 well, number one, I didn't know uh, the, the, she was going to use that tip and, right. you know. Let me tell you something, Elephant Boy. Let me tell you about Elephant Boy, Abby. Let me say something about Elephant Boy. Elephant Boy was yeah. obviously excited to have sex, some sort of sexual activity with you. Right. Anything. Yeah. Right. So he's, he, a guy gets so whacked out when he wants <laughs> sex, he doesn't mind the camera being it. He doesn't care. Yeah. Now that he's, now that he's sane. He's up, yeah. right? Once a guy finishes. The morning after. The morning yeah. after, they yeah. wake up and they go, oh my God, I just made a videotape. Yeah. <laughs> now, on this videotape, Elephant Boy's in women's stockings. His legs are spread on the bed like a woman would be. With you working a vibrator on Elephant Boy's or one of his private areas, much like a man would do to a woman. Yes, an Elephant Boy comment. is uh, an Elephant Boy is pleasuring himself on the video, That's okay. which disgusts you know, me. Excuse Shush. me, excuse me, <laughs> which disgusts me because he didn't even get laid. He did his own. He sat there and essentially played with himself on this videotape. Now, I know my man was there hoping that he'd get into your pants, and nothing <laughs> like is going to. So turned on, you wouldn't be able to keep your hands on. right. <laughs> Instead, what he's got is a videotape of him acting like a girl. All right, so no. wait a minute. Uh, there's something going on here. Mm. Elephant Boy says he wishes this had never happened. No, of not, course. Not he not wishes he could have had sex with her without camera. You see, poor yeah. Elephant Boy yeah. has a hard time getting attractive women. Mm. Right. So in order to get him, he gets into these freaky, freaky Situation. situations. So now here he is in another situation because he, he's a guy. Underneath all the elephant... Is a man. <laughs> <laughs> he is a human being. He's a human, a being. human being. You're a human being. And <laughs> Abby, if you were a wonderful <laughs> human being, you'd send to Elephant Boy and say, listen, let's destroy this tape and get done with this. Hey. Well, actually, that would be wonderful. To do anything like that because that's not, like I said, it was only supposed to be for you, Howard. And your husband Why owns, your husband, you? your husband made the tape. Why don't you come clean? Does your husband own the tape or not? Yes. So then don't tell me you can't destroy the tape. Sure. Destroy the tape. Leave Elephant Boy alone. No, Leave him alone. What's this you can find a decent boy. part of your body. Is there a decent bone in your body? Absolutely. I got the contract, didn't I, Howard? No, I no. see this contract. This contract's a farce. You told me to bring a contract. Yes, that I, did. I did. And yes, the contract did. is and not fair. Contract, well, the contract was done by an, a, a, a prestigious uh, Internet lawyer. Uh, an Internet lawyer. Let yes. me tell you something. There's no such thing. N exactly. First of all, every I've never met a lawyer... I've never met a lawyer that I could trust, number one. <laughs> Lawyers will separate and divide. Uh, this this contract isn't worth the paper it's printed on. This contract says this it's is all null and void if, if uh, you don't get what you want from the Howard Stern Show. You could make you could make any well, condition. It has to be Howard because I can't I can't no. pay Fred. No. I can't pay Fred. Yes, you can. If he gets thirty four percent. So oh, what does that have to do with the Howard what? Stern Show? If I don't give out the URL. So he'll get thirty four percent of okay, zero. Nothing. Right. So why do you have to put that in the contract? That if I don't because this is I your way out. It it's a legal loop. Oh, don't you get it? Yes, don't I play do. dumb with me. I'm not dumb. Don't I play dumb with me. I didn't put it in there. I don't care who put it in. This contract is null and void if you guys want to for any reason. You want to call Doc? If I do, if for 50 times, if I mention your URL, you might say, well, we wanted it 52 times, and Fred no, never sir. gets paid. No, sir. One Fred time, never gets one paid. One time, one time, clear. Doesn't say, Doesn't say that. I didn't write it, Howard. I'm not a I don't you. care. I'm talent. Just Go like back you. to your internet lawyer and write I'm it properly. Talent, just like Here's you. what I want. I want this last paragraph scratched. I, I don't want to even see it. This does not, uh, this does not favor my client. I don't see how this favors him. Well, it favors him if you mention the URL so that they No, it doesn't. See no, it doesn't. You guys can come back and he'll never see a dime. What? Also, I want I him to get I want him to get $20,000 up front. Ooh. I'm not the one to put That's the what you got to do. Well, you can go do back wanna, and talk to you your want, prestigious you internet lawyer. Would you like to call? And I'll I'll mention the website would you like to call while you What? Dot com. Would you like to pour con to call no, no, I just, I just uh, deleted that. You're not getting that on the air. No, 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 no. no, no. You're no, not getting that on the air. Don't, don't, don't try to bamboozle a genius. No, I, I could run ring. I could run rings around you. Comes. It's don't give out lie. any company. We're not I'm calling not. anybody. No, I am not a negotiator. I want a contract where Elephant Boy sees some money for humiliating himself. Elephant Boy, do you agree that this tape humiliates you? 
Yes, there are words that you would be perfectly. I do if you want to be, you know, public. I'm, I'm, if your you mother, didn't want this to be public, then get rid of it. In the contract, if your take mother, it off the web. If your mother ever saw this tape, wouldn't she be upset? Oh, yeah. It of course. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah. say, I don't say there's people. anything wrong. By the way, I don't say there's anything wrong with porno. Mm -hmm. I just say but get paid for it. He yeah. doesn't even want it public, Howard. This is all he's being dragged into this. All I'm telling you is the following. <laughs> That's for Elephant Boy to decide, but let me tell you something. He just said it. Yes. Let me tell you something. In his own <clears throat> way. If I give out this website where Elephant Boy's tape of him and women's stockings, with you uh, doing things to him, if I give that out on the air, right? Okay. You guys are going to make money. I know it. He's going to make money. He's no, getting 34%. not according to this contract. 34% only if you guys agree to it is that, that I did the right thing. No, 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 we it agree. Is, is it from dollar one gross, or is it part of the... the it's uh, from that. No, from net. Oh, this is unacceptable. To, Howard, unacceptable. Some things you have to pay for. I, I don't care. He wants part of the gross. I, I don't have part of that, Howard. You guys he can write it. Marketing tool. Elephant boy, day. my suggestion yeah. is that so, this contract is worthless. Look at this, Howard. What is that? Well, look at this. Show me what that is. Okay. Show me that document. What is that? Perry, what Give me that. I had Perry just see that. Elephant boy, what does this say here? Just check those out. That's it's not what I said before. It's different names. See. Listen, I am not a lawyer. I know neither. You got. I was not a part of this. All I am telling you is. What? Well, that's a handwritten. I don't know. Elephant boy. <laughs> that, well, that was from Doc, just for Gary to see. Actually, Doc is a very nice guy. You're a nice guy. Everyone's a nice guy, but Elephant boy is never going to see a penny. He will absolutely. No, Why not based on that contract. Today with a contract like you asked me to. Uh, you're going to give him a percentage of the over. net. I can't control that. I'm the talent, Howard. Like well, you. They get then you got to go back. Phone? No, I'm not a negotiator. But I'm saying they can tell you. They hear everything I'm out. saying. I can't do that. Listen to me, Elephant Boy. Yeah. You are in a porno. Yeah. Shh, quiet, Abby. I'm done with you. <laughs> you are in women's stockings on a bed with your legs spread, <laughs> playing with yourself. There is a percentage of my audience that wants to see this. Oh, Lord knows I yeah. had to see and it. And you're going to deny it after you talk to Yes. Her? Oh, yes. Sure, sure. Absolutely. Howard, because he is to. not going to get money. You did not do what I wanted to do. I brought the contract. Either I'm give him money up front, it. give him money up front, and so he doesn't have to worry about the gross. I can't give him money up front. I'm Listen to me. Go back that. to your people and tell them. I'll put him on the phone. Don't I don't me. want him on the phone. I'm talking not to you. my husband. I'm talking about... It contract. doesn't matter. I don't care. About. We're not going to talk to anybody. Either come up with a nice, they can come up with a nice sum of money that pleases Elephant Boy up front. I would suggest to Elephant Boy he received between twenty to fifty thousand dollars for this. I am not in control of that. Understood. That's what I would suggest. I would be happy to let Elephant Boy and you on here to give out your website address when I know that Elephant Boy is being taken care of because, quite frankly, so there is going to be consequences that he will suffer as a result of this tape. And I'm not? You, I don't care this about. This is your business. Well, this hey, is the business you're in. I'm helping him because this is what he wants. You're not helping I'm him. This from you. No, he just wanted sex with you. No. He, he wants sex. Do you no, want to say, Elephant Boy, do you want sex with her? It doesn't matter what he wants. Elephan Boy, yeah. it matters what he, what, what do you mean it doesn't matter? And I help him, and this is what you do to me? Yes. You want that last line out of there. Is that what you want? No, no I want more than that. more than that. The, the last that's paragraph. What you said yesterday. The last what paragraph. Said yesterday, what I said, said yesterday is. Get something, that's what you got right there. I don't believe it. Well, you read it. I read what it is, and I don't believe he'll ever see a penny. Well, how can you believe that? Because 34% of the net. Is not good enough. One minute she doesn't know anything, the next minute she's defending the contract. Right. Make up well, your I mean, mind. Either to. you know what's going on or you don't. I, I know he is not going to get any money if nothing. Right. Said. Why don't we do this? I'm not going to promote. I tell part. you what. Why, Why what? Let's you not. Do yours? Because you're not doing your part. I am doing it's my part. It's not to my I satisfaction. Won't get the contract. Well, you well didn't it's give very. Me Abby, hours. it's very you frustrating. The contract for him, Show me the money. Show me the money for Elephant Boy. He getting paid. Show me the money, honey. And uh, let me tell you something. You're not going to pull the wool over my eyes. I don't have the money. Here's what I suggest. I'm the talent. If I don't promote the videotape, most you don't even people. Have to promote the videotape. Excuse me. Fine, I'm not going to. You can promote the site. He's going to be at. No, later today. I'm not going to promote that. I'm not going to do it. Not based on this. You're not going to bamboozle me. I'm not bamboozling you. I'm asking for you to be fair, Howard. I will be you very fair. That, Why don't you be fair? You. you gave me a piece I of paper that's I'm worthless. I'm an extra day here to come no. up for you. Let me tell you something. I don't care. You can spend a month here. Listen to me, Abby. Listen I to me. New York. <laughs> I love New York more than you do. Uh -huh. Yeah, you do. Well, let me tell you something, Abby. I'm listening. Elephant Howard. Boy is a kid. No, he is not. He has. He is a no, kid. He's a forty-year-old. He's a forty-year-old child. No, he is not. <laughs> he's a babe <laughs> he's in the woods. Smart. No, he is not. Right. No, if Elephant not. Boy thinks this contract's fair, 
You know he that it's like. He had no problem with it in there. He said it he, was. He, he didn't he have a problem it. yesterday, and you weren't paying him anything. Right. I was too. I like you. I think you're a very nice person. I'm sure you have a good heart. I do, yeah. Howard. I do. Okay. And I, care I am about telling him. you. I know you care about, about him very it's much. On film. He had no problem. Right. With it. Well, I have a problem with it. But because you just said if he didn't have a problem with it, it was fine. He has no. a problem with it. No, trust he me. He doesn't know he, he has a problem. Yet. Elephant when boy, I, do you have a problem with this contract based on what I just said? I, I, you know, I know next to enough about business. I have the business or the liquor my as you. It, it may look good on my paper, but. Right. Who knows what, what I'm telling it. you? The kid, the yeah, kid is but, the reason but that. Let me say one, one, one thing. When I, when I did, there was video camera. I thought it was for their own personal pleasure. I right. did not. He didn't okay. know he's making yeah. a professional video to be yeah. sold. Right. Yeah. And it wasn't that way. What happened yeah. was it was like you okay, said exactly. for that. Right. No, Robin, okay. No, 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 no. Right. Well, all I know is you've got it on the web now, and you're trying to sell it. Actually, it was only on my personal website. And I don't care what it website it's on. It should have been on any website. He knew it was going Fine. there. Fine. I'm he telling no you, if you are going that. to go to my audience and give a website and sell the Elephant Boy videotape, because Elephant Boy is the reason the people are coming to the website. If you are going to sell the Elephant Boy videotape to my audience, I want to make sure that Elephant Boy gets money. Now. He's Gotta get money. Uh, he is not. And it's not being sold How did from they my meet? website, Howard. That's How did you meet these people, what? Elephant Boy? Tell me the history of this so-called videotape. Uh, for, uh, I from Monsieur France. Who are these friends? Uh, I'm, you know, my, I'm friends. I, you know, I, know, I don't want to, you know, tell them who who they are. They're not part of this. Right. Well, tell, you should dump them as friends. Yeah. Well, actually, right. actually, they are Fred part of this because that yeah. friend is the one who sent it. To crack him. I knew it. Yeah. I knew that's who th started yeah. this whole thing. I'm done. I'm done. Right. This, yeah. whole, right. this is shady right from the but very see, that's beginning. That's what I'm saying, Robin. It was supposed to be oh, well, shady quiet. right from the very beginning. Right, here's the deal. Said, here's the deal. I knew exactly what was going. All on. I'm saying is, forget about the history of the tape. Yeah. All I'm saying is that if you're going to sell something to the audience with Elephant Boy's name on it, where he humiliates himself in women's stockings while you take dildos and do things to him where I find him in a very feminine position, and I see this kind of nonsense going He's on. Gotta be paid. I know a lot of people are going to want this because they're going to be they're going to be showing this all over the world Party because of him, central. not because of you, not because of your partners, not because of anyone else. And for me to give out the website right now would be a great disservice to someone who has been friendly to me, which is Elephant Boy. Thank you. <laughs> and for me to give out the website where I know he has received no financial remuneration would be the wrong thing to do. Now, I know that you have told me a lot of things about how he'll be taken care of. It's right there, Howard. I know. I, don't, I, 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 am, I, I humbly submit to you that you're a lot smarter than me. Um, you're we able to read. You're, uh, we don't know you. No, you are smarter. You're much smarter than I am. I'm a I humble man. I'm very I'm dumb. Smart. I'm only. A, I, I believe me. In high school, if you went back and checked my records and my SATs, I'm very stupid. You could tell no, from not. the statement remuneration right. that he doesn't. It's remuneration, talk. isn't it? <laughs> yes. Right. So you can see I don't even have a command of the English language. <laughs> That's okay. I you're a lot brighter than I am, I and you can run rings around me and Elephant Boy. No, I don't think so. Fortunately, think Robin's very intelligent. Jackie's <laughs> intelligent, but I'm a big dope. So what I'm telling you is, as a dopey man. I get nervous for Elephant Boy. When I see 34% of the net and not the gross, I get nervous. When I see that you guys can cancel the contract at any point because I haven't done the way you it's want me to announce things. That, okay, so Come I get on. nervous about 34 that. Is okay. Fair. 34 I mean, is very fair. That's that no that's problem. Right. 34% of you know, the net is different than the gross. Do you want to explain I, to me the difference between net and gross? Yeah. Explain it. The net's after all your expenses. Ah. Which is bandwidth. Okay, you see, in the net. Bandwidth. It's not like here. Well, like what if you know, what if uh, it shows okay. at the final day that the bandwidth was equal to what you no. guys made? Right. No, the no, artwork no, 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 no. was setting it up. No, no, right. no, no, no. That's no, no, no. why you get a salary no. up front. No. At least video you got something. If, in good faith, in good faith, you guys front. either have to give him percentage of the gross, or you give him some money up front. You want to put him on the phone? No. Let's talk to him. No. Wait, I don't want to put anybody on the phone. I'm not a negotiator. You, you want to take the last I'm not line trying out. to bust your balls, but you this is a guy who's being out? taken advantage you take of. Take the last line out. No. No last line gotta, out. Uh, I'm not taking those. It's not enough. Howard, it's not enough, honey. I see you live all the time. Right. Okay. You see me and, live? Yeah. Where do you see live. me? Where do you see me live? Right now I see you live. So you don't see me live all the time. That's a mistake. Well, uh, you sorry. see me live Let now. Let me correct myself. I see you live now. Yes, go ahead. And? 
<laughs> and what is your point? I'm just in a dreamzotic state. What can I say? Dreamzotic state. Okay, yeah. so you're not clear and I'm not clear. So let's let's save this for another. <laughs> There's no rush to sell. Fair to me. Okay, well then I'm wrong. Uh, I, I apologize that I'm not being no fair. Relationship with her. I don't even There's know who you no are. Contingent. There's no, no reason. But Robin, he has I to treat you any way to. at all. Yes, he does because he asked he for has something no and I gave reason it to, to treat him. you any way yes, at all. He does. He said he wanted to see a contract that guaranteed Fred some money. That does not guarantee Fred anything. Yes, it does. No. Right. Listen, honey, I'll tell you what, leave it at this. You're right. I don't know you from a hole in the wall. You're right. I know but Fred the Elephant Boy. That's right. Right. You Fred the now. Elephant Boy is my friend. You know me now. Okay, He's I know you now. Too. Okay, I like you. We've seen Fred's friends. I like everyone. The only ones who stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fred, yeah, what I suggest yeah. to you, the what I suggest yeah. to you, Fred, is there's no rush to get this no. tape out. That the next two weeks you spend, yeah. maybe get a lawyer. And have the lawyer work out some agreement he with has a Abby. Copy of that, okay, so good, know. good. So you know, Fred, have the lawyer. Since I don't know, Fred, have your lawyer look over the agreement, mm. and he can tell you because I can't. You do you have an know. agent of any right. the person who books uh, you. Yeah. And yeah. then I'd be more than pleased if your lawyer tells me that you're being treated fairly. Because Abby might be right. You are probably being treated yeah. fairly. I just don't know. Yeah. All right. So you and Abby go off in two weeks. If you find that your lawyer thinks that you are getting some money for this and he thinks you're being treated fairly, come back here and by all means promote your newest project, your porno video. <laughs> his newest. And <laughs> right. His newest project. Yeah. It's not your project, <laughs> Abby. It's his. No one's going to see you, Abby. They're uh, going to see Fred. No, oh, okay. Are, Do you understand that? Fine that? All right. That's fine by right. me. So let's be fair. Yeah, all right, yeah. Let's They'll be fair to, to Fred. Me, Howard, I guarantee it. I bet they will. You're a lovely woman. <laughs> Thank you. So I will see you two again when you work okay. this out to my satisfaction. Not even to my satisfaction, to Fred's satisfaction. Yeah, and my, my people are responsible. That's, that's, right. That, yeah. that, that's fine. All right. Then will you come to <laughs> with me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bleep that off. I don't want any terms <laughs> given out about websites or anything like that. Fred, nah, no. right, you are in this video. Yeah. You have done some wild things on this video. <laughs> yeah. If you want to become a porno star, it's okay with me, buddy. I'm not going to sit there and tell you a porno star is bad. If they're going to put you on the web live to have sex with Abby, that's fine with me, too. I'll even promote that. But I'm okay with it. But make what you want, Fred. Right. But Don't do what you want to do and make sure that you at least get paid for it because some people are going to be making money off of this. Mm -hmm. He's going to make his money good. off of this. Good. Abby, Absolutely thank you for Howard. that. Great. Absolutely. I'm glad that you're in business with Fred. I can see he's got a Absolutely. he's got a good partner in you. Absolutely. Let's not talk right. about money. Let's see money. Yeah. Well, I can't until I get back and do my thing, Robin. Right. <laughs> All right. So you go do your you know thing. I mean? Fred the Elephant Boy, you go do your thing. All right. Yeah. Okay. He's going thank to you. work right now. <laughs> if right. he can. Yeah, yeah if I can. Right. We'll, we'll get together later. Don't worry about that. Here is Doc. Okay. Who is Doc? Your husband? Yes. yes. Is that your husband? Yes. Yes. Hi, Doc. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine, my man. And it's time we straighten a few things out here. Go ahead. First of all, you didn't ask for a guaranteed contract. What you asked for was a contract guaranteeing him a portion of the income that was brought in from it. And if Where I'm wrong, then what I'd like Doc, to do, let's if you're not going to let me talk, then I will just go ahead and let it go. But the bottom line is you're not going to step on me like you do on them. The bottom line is Fred came to us. Do you understand that? Fred came to us. He got introduced to Abby on the Internet through Mary, which you know. He came to us and said he wanted to do this and that he would do it for two reasons. Number one, he wanted to clear his name with you from you guys trashing him and telling him he is gay. He is not gay. He's a bisexual man, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing's wrong okay, with that. Okay, no. Robin, are you so going to let me, are so you far, no, finish? Or Doc, so far, me? so far, I have no... That's Doc, so far, I'm going to explain this, some background, then I'm going to explain the rest of it. Doc, so far, so far, I have no problem me. with anything the you've said. The fact is, Howard, yeah. is you Relax. gave us an ultimatum. We stayed an extra day in New York. Right. You told us. We didn't come up here because we made Fred come here. We came up here because we were invited to do this. Fred said make this. I invited Fred, not you, Doc. And I will promote your websites in exchange no. for that. He no, 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 no. Fred could come Fred on this show anytime he wants. 
is written by a professional lawyer. I okay? think, and I think and so. it would be stupid of us and to try person, and write a, a contract out where Fred knows doc, where we Any live person who signs a doc, contract without government. representation and we have is crazy. A very reasonable, one third of the money. In fact, hold on, hold on, Doc. Percent. Everything you've said and is a hundred percent correct. That's exactly right. It is. And, and I like what Doc. Excuse me. You got to listen. You got to listen. We came through for you. Right. You told doc. us what you wanted. Right. And we brought it. Fine, Doc. And that's what we brought. Good, Doc. And listen to me. Backing out on us. Yes, I am. That's right. And I have no that's problem right. with that because I want to explain something to you. Right. Number one, when you say that nobody has come for Abby, you are very much wrong about that. Number two, we will debut this tape. Okay, you can be sure of that. The tape is already being sold. Good. And I gave Fred that money when he told me and said, you should be telling them the truth of what wow. you told me. The fact is, he told me he did not want money for this. He wanted to be cleared by you. The yes. fact is, is that's Fred fine. likes the type of stuff that goes on there. And there's a lot of people just like the guy you stuck up before with the foot fetish. All right, can the I speak now? Very well, he doesn't listen. And we will debut that tape on Man Cow's Morning Madhouse next week. Good, go ahead. I um, mean, okay, go ahead. Know, but, the you know, doc I'm sorry to say that, but the fact is, Howard, we kept up on our end of the deal, and you didn't. Doc, uh, let me respond to everything sure, you, you said. Sure, you respond to everything, and let's start with you not coming through with what you promised us yesterday. Fine, I will. When you told us to bring you a legal contract, yes. which I did. And you know what your friend Gary told me? He told me I didn't even have to go to a lawyer to get it done. But the fact is, my wife is right. That contract is written by a very well-respected yeah, law who firm out of California. In the and that is a well, le I can't get a word in. Uh, I mean, I, I allow this gentleman to talk. I allow the gentleman to talk. Doc, let, Doc, let me... Uh, you may get your money up front, but I'll bet you your lackeys don't get their money up front. Doc, uh, Doc, 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 you're an angry guy. You can step on my wife, you can step on Fred, but you know what? You've done him a... a oh, hang up the phone friend. on this He made idiot. a deal with us. I want to respond. what we said we would do. Doc, I... came up with the money. Well, you're filibustering. You want yeah, oh, because we can't step you know, on now, him. Now, you want to respond to that? Let's start with what you said All to your right. audience right now. Yes, I will. You said you okay, wanted gosh. a guaranteed piece of money. Okay. Let's respond to that. I will. Now, let me tell you what I think of what you just said. No, I don't want to know what you think about what I well, said. Well, then you don't want to have a dialogue. What I want to think is that I want you to explain to me in order just what we went through. And let's start with you told my wife and you told your viewing audience and you told Fred that if we walk through that door tomorrow with a contract giving him a portion of the proceeds that's of right. the sale of that tape, right. that you would plug the sites. Now, how yes, I would. I have to, and I you agree to that. that. I now, will. I want you to respond to that. Don't you let me respond. What is the matter with him? Why don't you let me respond? Deal, okay, why don't you let me respond? Go right ahead. Okay. You drew up a contract, as you said. No, by, I did not draw up By an attorney. Oh. No, okay. If you start off and All say right. anything yeah. that just Doc, right. Wait a minute. Doc, you got to let You're not going to twist the question. Okay, That's then fine. All right, you're a genius, Doc. You're crazy. I did Doc. not draw crazy. up a contract. Right. You, a you guys. A law firm drew up a contract. Good. Now address it. Well, let me address it. I took a look at the contract. I am not a lawyer. What I am Very recommending good. to Fred is that he has his lawyer look over the contract to make sure that this is a legitimate 34%. You know what? I have no problem with that. But the okay. problem I do have is that you're not telling the truth again because that isn't <laughs> what you said. What you said is I recommend you get yes. twenty to $50,000 up front. Yes, I do. Dollars, because if he's not... What you said. All right, let me finish what go I'm go saying. Ahead, sir. If he cannot get a legitimate 34%, I would suggest to him that he either get money up front... Listen to what I'm saying. I'm listening. Either he get money up front between twenty and fifty thousand dollars, or if he gets a legitimate thirty four percent where it's not after the net. Howard is after chargebacks or any uh, and you can That's see that between, right in the contract. Fine, Doc, I'm Doc, sure, this Howard, is my recommendation. Doc, I have nothing against you. This well, is that's not, fine. I understand, but you're playing is, dumb. No, you I am. I'm not. I'm, not, a uh, it's I'm right saying there, let a, you asked for a contract. The, we yes, delivered but you a Fred contract. needs to have someone read the contract for him. Would Very you good. agree? You know what? And I would say, being in Infinity Studios and CBS Broadcasting, you probably got one somewhere around there. Have one your dad. No, 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 Doc, you're wrong. I don't. I don't represent Fred. You know what? You're right. You don't represent it. Right. I would say that the fact that Fred sits in that studio in front of you speaks for himself, and I'll, I'll address something else. You happened to say just moments ago that you are worried about what Fred wants, and if Fred is comfortable with it, then that's how it should be. Well, if yes. Fred wasn't comfortable with it, my friend, so can we ask I would him? then have a signed contract. So how about we ask Fred? Doc, would you be satisfied? Doc, would you be satisfied? Would you be satisfied with Fred? I'm sorry, my friend, but to me, you're not You can do all of your business without involving us at all. 
Oh, I will stay out of the. I tell you what, Doc. Doc, Doc, I tell you what. I will bow. He's not. He doesn't listen, does he? No, I listen. I will bow. I will bow out of these terms that you and Fred can go off and do this. I see you're a reasonable guy. Do you think? I think you're an easy guy to negotiate with, and I think that what you should do is, Fred, you ought to get an attorney. I am not part of this. I don't want any. I don't want a dime of this. No attorney. When this day is over, the contract I have stands in force. Good. Go and fine. I can submit that wherever I want Submit it wherever you want to. I don't care. To Fred, but he's standing there and he's participating. Who paid for that lawyer? He is getting swayed by you. We did not come to Fred. Right. No. Who paid for the lawyer? Doc, understand. Doc, I would just love. Doc, if money is made, if money is made, I would love to see Fred get a portion of it. Fred would get a portion, and I'm going to tell you why. Because and you're very fair about you got Doc. If you don't let me talk, I got to hang up. On your show today. You got to let me talk. Or I gotta hang up. On your show, talk, Howard. Baby. Right. I don't Tell mind Fred. How much he gets. Okay. You don't want zero. That. Zero. That's right. Thank you very he much, can... sir. And I submit to you that one third is a little bit more than zero. Right. Very good. Thank you. And don't tell me about advertising and publicity, because that's the same difference here. All right. I got to go, you Doc. You're not letting me talk. Enough okay. Enough. Bye, bye, Doc. Bye. Right. Bye. All right. So anyway, I'm going to yeah. say this to you, Fred. Yeah. yeah. What Doc has said is 100 percent true. Mm. That in fact. You have a relationship with Doc and his wife. They seem like that they want... That initiated, they, sir. Right. That, they, that you initiated. And Doc is now offering you a contract drawn up by a lawyer. That he doesn't that want he you did to not get checked by anybody. Right. That you didn't want before. Right. 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 And so okay. You tell him right now, you tell me that you did not know that was going on. Whatever Doc says is... Whatever Doc has said so far, I think is legitimate. I think it sounds honest. I think he legitimately wants I'm to see you. Man, All right. And you seem like you're very you seem like you're very reputable. Well, and let me and say the something. I deal with is a very large company Good. on the internet, and we, you know the fact is we don't. But we don't know you from us. the whole like Robin, I've got to wind. I've got to. You, know, gotta, you, you know, gotta let me know. talk, Doc, or I'm. I'm, I'm, Doc I'm acts as if no, 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 Robin, you got to let me talk to. Uh, okay, let me let me wrap this up. He's saying we don't. You got to let me. I don't know him. Right. We don't know Doc. We don't know. I don't really know Fred all that well. Robin Quivers, but I don't know you either. Right. So let me say. Let me say something. Let me. I know is that we honored what you asked us to. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing that, Doc. Now thank let me you. talk. And, and thank you Fred, for helping me. And, Doc, please listen for two seconds. I will. Okay. And I'm sorry, sir, but... That's know, okay. It's okay. I'm just trying to uh, do I the done following. something wrong to Fred, tell me. You've done nothing wrong to Fred. Thank you very much. Okay. Doc, no one is accusing you of that. To do something Fred, here is what I... Fred the Elephant Boy, let me talk to you for a second, because Doc has said a lot. And I think Doc is... Right. Uh, what Doc has said is Go not on, wrong. Fred. If you... Uh, sign this contract, and you're happy with it. If you, you know, if you go off and sign it, I told you you can come on this show and promote the tape. I don't have any problem with that. Okay, no, fine. He, did, no, no, he, he didn't sign. Sign. He was going to okay. sign. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, it doesn't right. matter. Right. He hasn't it's signed. Advantage to not sign it. Right. Just, you know, all I would be happy to help. Doesn't say nothing. Fred, I would be. Uh, please, Doc. Doc uh, give me a chance. Even if, even the train comes to stop. Let me hear what I was saying. I am happy to help Fred the Elephant Boy. In any business situation he gets into, short of killing people. And you have. You right. guaranteed him a third. Right. I'm happy to. I Listen, I, I don't even care. Fred, if you don't want to take any money for the videotape, it's okay with me. Well, what I am saying is this. That I would be happy to help you promote any project that you're involved in, Fred. Because you're a nice guy and you come on my show. As Doc yeah. points out, for free. And this is an opportunity for you to make some money. I would like to make sure... That as Doc went and got a lawyer to make up an agreement, you should have somebody read the agreement before you sign it. Do you think that's fair, Doc? Uh, I, I would say that probably is fair, although I, I do, again, insist that I think it would be pretty simple for somebody there to look that contract over. Even yeah, I, I, Doc, in all fairness, and Doc. know the difference between both. Right, I'm Doc. Sorry, and know Doc, the difference between something that in is In all fairness, in I can't provide him with an attorney because I am not his representative. We don't have one. Oh, absolutely. I don't he even have one. An and, and the CBS wouldn't even. read it who has common sense. Right. Say, is this a contract written by a law firm? Absolutely. And, I, and, and, and quite frankly, all I'm saying is this, and I'll say this to Abby, and I'll say it to Doc, and I... And Abby and Doc, really, I don't owe you anything. No. We don't have a business not. relationship. Uh, nor do I owe you. Right. Fred, if you want to come on here and promote this, mm. and you have uh, a chance to speak to a lawyer before you sign a contract, um, I would be happy to have Doc and Abby and you come in here and announce the website where you sell this. God, you know, i got to tell you, though, Howard, what you don't realize is the gentleman signed a contract long ago. The contract is long been Did he signed. sign the contract? Long been signed. He signed a release. He's signing here and has the opportunity to sign today. 
is simply this, something that now gives him some rights. He signed his rights away for that on the Internet. Okay, and understood. Knew, and I want, to understand, I want you to understand something. That was Brad, generous I'm of you. That was generous of you not to use the release against him. I have not used the release. That's what I'm saying. Him. I said it was generous of you. Yeah, yeah, and I think that... He I, made a business deal with me. Right. Howard. I think... I, and, and by I the way... If I'm wrong, that's, talk to him. Did you, did you make a business deal? I, it was a release, right. you know. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Fine. So yeah. with that, gives, that gives that gives Doc that happen. gives Doc the right yeah. to sell the video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. And, and by the way, Doc, you can sell this anywhere you want. You can go promote it anywhere you want. That's if you correct. want to use other radio shows, anyway, you can do that. That's fine. I mean, you want to do that? Go ahead and do I, it. No, I mean, you know, I, I'm going to do it. Sir. Right. I'm Please go ahead and do it. But let me just say something. Howard Stern's audience come see it. But and I don't have a problem, Doc. I don't have a problem with you using my audience to buy the video tape as long as elephant boy has somebody to look over the contract and he's really comfortable with the financial agreement fair well, enough no, i have no problem with okay that. no problem hard, so doc maybe we'll see you down here with abby and elephant boy as soon as elephant boy can get that together well, is that fair we, we ask ourselves a question go ahead what city am i in i don't know i don't know uh, i think it's new york city and if it is i'm going to guess that there's probably a lawyer oh pretty close so it's an early morning isn't it yes it is let's go see a lawyer well, why don't there. you let Elephant Boy do I'll that on his own? Day here. Doc, in all fairness, that's up to you. You don't have to spend any time here because of me. I absolutely not. Right. Absolutely uh, not. If I Elephant Boy... Because Fred's not telling you what really went down. If Elephant Boy feels comfortable going to attorney and rushing out today and getting that done, that's okay with me, too. That's right. Elephant Boy, you get in touch with me when you're confident okay. that uh, that you uh, feel comfortable with all of now. this. Is that fair, Doc? I, you know, I, I, I really don't think it's fair, but I will say this. It's it's nice of you to still offer that after this conversation. And no I problem. Say that if Fred wants to take care of business today, I'll be there tomorrow. All but right. Short of that, Monday. you know that that will be about the end of that deal. So okay. I mean, you know, Howard, we did everything we could. You're 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 a grown man, and I and I know one thing for certain: as many contracts as I've seen, you've seen a couple more than I have. Right. And you know a contract that's been written by a lawyer from one that isn't, and you can read just like I. Yeah, can. I think a contract. I think this contract. By the way, Doc, I don't doubt that it. Payout schedules. Right. By the way, Doc, uh, yes, absolutely, this appears to be a contract written by an attorney. Absolutely. Uh, you're right about that. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Doc. Thank you very All much. right, Doc, Abby, good luck to you. Good luck to Doc. And by the way, I don't think it's yeah. the last we'll see of each other. Fred, well, as soon as you work okay, out your deal. I'm, I'm, thanks again, Howard. Yes. Doc. All right. Thank you, thank you, Doc. Thank you. I really would have talked to Fred, though, a little bit more, Howard. Yeah. I would love to talk to Fred. I mean, no, I mean, you should have got his responses to my to my statements. I mean, Fred, are you, you know, comfortable with this? Whether I'm telling the truth or whether Fred. No, he said you are telling the truth. Yeah. He already yeah, admitted that. Okay. You're absolutely. No one's call, No one's call, Doc. No one's calling you a liar. No, you're, you're good. You're no one is calling you a liar, Doc. He's a nice guy, and I yes, he is. is. And you're a nice guy, and Abby's a nice guy. Talk to Right. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Thank you very much. All right. There's Doc. There's Abby, and there's Elephant Boy. Well, Fred, uh, as, yeah. as the honeymooners used to say, well, yeah. here's another fine one you got. Well, here. <laughs> so, um, Fred, go off. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. As Doc says, maybe you can get a lawyer today. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, if not, uh, get one as soon as possible. Okay. Abby, we hope to see you here soon where you Thank can you announce your web address where Fred is in women's stockings <laughs> receiving uh, dildos. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Abby. Okay. All right. Robin, I must take a break. Well, I'm glad you wrapped <clears throat> that up. Yes, I did. Out. How to straighten that out. <laughs> Abby, thank you. You look lovely in your miniskirt. Thank you. Bye-bye, bye -bye, Abby. Yes, very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, um, yes, sometimes the world gets into arguments, but arguments can be settled. Please. Some, when... when when good people have an argument, everything can be worked out. <laughs> this week on Howard 100 and Howard 101, Whackpackers from all across the galaxy. I'm from Vietnam, brother. Mm -hmm. Are back. You stupid <laughs> bastard. What the hell you laughing at, you fat, bald-head faggot? The Whackpack strikes back. If you only knew the power of the dark side is, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. Nope. I am your father, it is. No. No. That's not true. That's impossible, you jerk. Search your feelings. You know it to be true, it is. No! No! <laughs>
The Whack Pack strikes back. May the dorks be with you. Andrea Ownby, a.k.a. Miss Howard Stern, hasn't been on the show in a while. She got a free ride here on a private jet. I guess the company sprung for this, huh? Yeah. Well, she looks good. Yeah, she looks good. She's slimmed down a lot. Yeah. Good. Can we get a little chubby? Now you look good. Well, the hair is extremely well, white, different. though. A little yeah. less peroxide, my Yeah, honey. Your hair is white, but I like it. Looks you like look good. Taylor Hicks. Your body looks nice. I like it white. I'm sorry. Really? What are you sorry about? You like it white. Uh, yeah, and then different colors. I think you look good. <laughs> Titties you. look bigger than ever. I know. Did you get them done again? No. <laughs> Why do your titties look so big? Because you lost weight? Don't put your fingers near that microphone. Uh, it's, it's on your headphones, and you're, you're, you're making a lot of noise. No, it just looks like that because I got them bigger. Oh, you made your titties bigger. Last time. Yeah. What's was, the matter? Are you crying? No. Are you have a sniffles? I had allergies. I just took some allergy medicine. Oh. Ma'am. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you know, I was thinking. It's of, good to see you guys. Don't touch that microphone. <laughs> I know you'll make noise every time you put your hand there. Let's see. Scene from Andrea's movie on your page in green. Oh God! What really? did you? Uh... Well, you know, it's just so stupid because, you know. <sighs> did you do something with your lips? Did you like make? No, it's the teeth. No, did you make teeth. fake teeth? Did you get fake teeth? Bigger <laughs> fake teeth? No, it's because I've been brushing them like nuts, and I've been wearing that Mac lip gloss. That's like no, 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 no. You made your teeth bigger. <laughs> no, I that didn't. Big fake white teeth. No, but Howard, can I tell you something, please? Wow. <laughs> can I please tell you something? Yeah. They're like Baba Booey teeth. Yeah, now. yeah. But so you know good. what? I love my teeth, and I'm happy with them. When did you have them done? I remember I came here. It was like no. forever ago. Like you can't even get your lips over those teeth. <laughs> Let me see you close your mouth. You can't do it. You can't even close. You can't keep them closed. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> because I can't quit smiling even when I'm sad. I'm still smiling. I'm just like, you know, no, let's have some whiskey. Can I tell you something, though? Sure. Okay. Boy, your titties look nice. I'm sorry. Like the, why are you sorry? I don't want to fall out. No, we do. But okay, you so can I tell you something? You won't, you won't do nudity because you want a film career? No, I want... This is what I'm trying to tell you. Go ahead. Okay, you can laugh. You can call me stupid. You can tell me I'm not going to make it. That's okay. But ever since I can remember, I have a 28-year-old sister... She was the hugest fan of yours. She went to school and painted Howard Stern on her pants and wore it every day. And I was not allowed to go to bed at night until your show was over. Right. When I was a kid. And that's how I became a fan. And when I came to New York to meet you, I didn't even know about the contest. Right. And I got into it. And I love it. But I've always had the dream of doing voiceovers for cartoons. Like for kids. Like on Nickelodeon, Disney. Mm-hmm. And I... How old are you now? 23. Okay. Let me tell you something. I know you have this whole fantasy that you're going to have, like, an acting career and you're going to be doing <laughs> she voiceovers. She can't have a voiceover career? I don't know. You know, it, it, She's it's, got a funny voice. I think you ought to do the whole nude thing, go to strip clubs. I think you ought to be in porno. I mean, I mean maybe it's time. You know what I mean? I know you have this fantasy, but I it, uh, honestly, I don't think the acting career is going to happen. You know what? It might not, but... You haven't even heard her acting Howard. yet. Man. I don't want to do porn. I don't care if I'm homeless on the side right? of the street. She, she told me she's taking acting lessons in Chattanooga. Right. And I oh. said, what are your... Well, I mean, this just started. And I said, right. like, what are your acting teacher's credentials? And she's like, I don't know. You know, if you don't show up, they charge you $25. And Right. It's probably... She's, like, guys... she's like, I don't even like it. Like, I, and so I said, why don't you go out to L.A. and do that? Oh, I do. But... She's like, oh, it's so far, and what am I supposed do you really to do? Think, I have a six-year-old. Do you honestly year old. think you're going to have... I know you have a six-year-old, but do you think you're really going to have an acting career at this point? No, I mean, I'm, I I'm not. I never tell anybody now. No, I do, I do not. I have no clue what's going to happen. I'm just saying that I don't want to do porn. Right. I, I mean, I don't want to do it, and I'm going to try to do what I want to do and what I believe in and what... My dream is, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. She, told, she told me she turned down a... there in Chattanooga. But if it does work, at least I know that I, tr you know, if yeah, it doesn't no, work, Robin, I tried and Robin's I did it without. Robin's making a good point. There's no work in Chattanooga for actresses. Yeah, if you can't go to. I know Hawaii. that's why I'm trying to go to California in the next week or two. She told me she turned down a million dollars for porn. No, she didn't. No, it was so, like I, I don't know. I've been offered a lot of 
crap, but I I'm How not... about lesbian porn? That's classier, supposedly. I don't I don't want it. I'm not I'm I don't want it. I'm I'm really sorry, and I hate to disappoint everyone, and I'm so not ashamed of my body. Like I was so sure to you in private, but I'm not gonna put it on television and on the radio for everyone to see and right. sacrifice my dreams. I don't know why you're, don't know why you're even encouraging her to do stripping I'm just saying, and porn and all I'm that. just like that's not me. All right, that's fine. It's just it's just that like if she I thought she wasn't doing porn because she really just it's gonna get in the way of her acting oh, career. No, no, no. But no, I was no. gonna tell her like you know no, what, Howard, if, if, if she's lying if you to want you. to do porn. She's lying she told me right out you we were just talking, Andrea, and you were saying that you want to do stuff like you want to be in like a Shrek type of movie. You want to do movies that your that your child like South at Park voiceover. No, but no, you but think honey, being naked would keep you from being in South Park? I don't know. I just don't want to take that chance. Yeah, until I think I'm in other words, there. I'm I've, not Carmen. I'm not Pam. I'm, I haven't made it. I've always gotten the impression she wants to do porn, but she's holding off because she thinks she's gonna it's gonna affect her well, legitimate well, career. Well, I'm gonna try to do what. Yeah is my desire and but it, you're mentioning carmen and pam they started with playboy that's yeah. true did you know that yeah that's how they made it but i want to do voiceovers for disney well they can do anything they right. want now I mean, carmen I, Electra does voiceovers. well i heard yeah. since carmen got in the city and she's in a lot of a mess with max no, I know. No, she hasn't fine. lost oh, anything she's you're fine best. yeah Really? Yeah. All of us here started in porn. You know. <laughs> but the other thing is, you know, for yeah. so, I look at Andrea, right, and yeah. she's in, she's got this sort of weird window of opportunity. Like, there's only X amount of years where she can make money off her looks. Like right now. Well, well yeah. And if, <laughs> so, what happens is, if you decide, say, when you're 30, that now you want to make money off your looks, the looks might yeah. not be there. Oh, and they be gone. Get you to do the really. Uh, I'm not saying they would be. I'm not gonna live till I'm 30. I'd rather no. What? I, uh, so how are you gonna do voiceover? No one can understand what you're saying. <laughs> because I can. <laughs> Howard, I can do it. Trust me. We, what is it we have to say? We speak, speak your, your name. name. <laughs> Miss what does Howard that mean? Stern, we <laughs> speak your name. I don't get it. Put <laughs> on with you. You're our legend. You're our legend. You're a youngin. <laughs> okay, so why does everybody, like, not like me? Because I, I won't take my clothes off? No. Like, on Surfing Network, you know, they're like, oh, she won't get naked. It's time for a new yeah, one. Yeah, just get that. naked and get on the Sibian already. <laughs> Ignore them. Yeah. I I just, like, I'll do that, but I've got... Why don't you get in your panties and get on the Sibian and knock off all this bullshit about acting? <laughs> because... You know what I mean? I mean, big deal, panties. Get on the Sibian. Because I have to stick with... It'll sound funny. What sound I like, believe in with my dream. I have yeah, but to you'll do sound that like a for Disney, myself. You'll sound like a Disney cartoon on the Sibian. <laughs> okay, then give me a job and I'll get on the Sibian and right. get off. You're give me a job student. doing Make voiceovers. love to Siobhan. Why don't you fly to Howard, away? you get on the Sibian with me. All right. With Okay. Let's and, go. And, but listen, what what about my voiceover job? <laughs> There's no voiceover job. <laughs> No, Honey, close your with, eyes. And seriously, with those fake teeth, you're you're you're, you're mangling the English language. You don't you don't need. Yeah, I fake can teeth. change my voice. I can even do country. Let me hear. Country. Okay, country. what do you want me to say in country? All right, do you want to audition right now? Give okay. me Do some of your cartoon voices. Let's hear some of your characters. Well, tell me what to say in country. To to say what? anything. You're the what you're is the uh, country. What is she? She has a country music? country <laughs> accent. Okay. I mean like yeah. an English English accent. Let her do her thing. I don't know. You should English come is. with a dialogue already. Right. I know. I have one. I'm not with I'm not me. supposed to tell you what to say. Okay, well. To a voice that you think would be good in a cartoon. To a character. Well, honey, first what, of all, my this, regular voice. Second of all, I can. Honey, look at me. In an audition, you get three seconds. Okay. Guy goes, okay, baby, what do you got for us? What voices do you do? Lay them out for us. Guy, the guy doesn't know anything for you to say. Let's hear it. Come on. Cider down. Go ahead. <laughs> what? No, I Settle got down. it. I'm trying to do my country thing. Do your country voice. And begin. But I still got some whiskey left. Set her down. What is this, some sort of practical joke? I don't freaking know. Get I the guess. hell out of my office! Listen, I'm just telling you, this is I'm right. sending you over to Warner Brothers! Get on Brothers. the Sibian in your panties right now. Howard. Come on, honey, that's the no. only career you need. What is your favorite movie? You can't, uh, like, no. you say Shrek or wait, something. Wait, 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 your agent's on the phone. Hold on a second. Adrian, uh, look, I just heard you do the country voice. 
<laughs> no, listen. No. Your agent sends this over to me? Come on. What kind of a joke is this? Get on the Sibian now, quickly. Get on the goddamn Sibian. I, 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 I have to do hey. what I believe. And um, Howard, if it was you in my shoes, you would say the same Joey thing. Joey Boots, you're on the air. Go oh, ahead. God. Howard, it's about time to get a new Miss Howard start. So we have to get naked, show some titties, get up. Hook Nose Mike, you're on the air. I want Howard Yoke knows you best. And listen, in order for her to maintain her title as Miss Howard Stern, she should definitely get on the Sibian. Wait. Yeah, in your panties, you should be in the Sibian. I, I don't understand this voiceover nonsense. Let's go to Tabitha Why Stevens. Why can't you give up that title? Are you Tabitha. Fighting for Miss Howard going Stern? On? Andrea? Yes? I am worried about you. Are you okay? I don't know, girl. Are you okay? Because I don't know if I am. My best friend died October 5th. You did oh, what? Everybody just wants me to be naked and be in porn, and I'm sorry that I your just think friend, I'm better than that. Your, you just said your best friend died October 5th? My best friend, Jenna, died October 5th. Uh, what? what happened? It's not closed yet. We don't know. What do you mean? She was killed? You know, my fiancé died. A year or two. <laughs> what? I don't mean to laugh. She was, yeah. She, well, we don't know. I mean, oh, everyone's dying around We, there. I know. Your fiance. Are you cursed? <laughs> what, what, do you mean your fian what do you mean your fiance died? You remember I, my boyfriend that died? No. No. If you watched the shows, Howard, you were there. I don't remember, honestly. I know. I don't remember Are you yesterday. killing people? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, he had a car accident. We were going to get oh, married no. a month later. My oh. best friend, Jenna... Uh, her real name, Christy, no whack, love her to death. Oh, and I gotta say a shout out to Casey, or I'm in trouble. Hey, I heard a rumor about you and oh, Casey. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna be upfront about it. But I love Jenna, and hey, oh, look my at me. God. Look at me. Did you bang Casey? Howard. Tell the truth. <laughs> We're hearing you did. What does it matter? It matters to us. Well, that's a yes. Oh, why? Is that you not in trouble? Us. No, you might as well tell us. That's a yes. You bang oh. Casey. No, you're not in trouble at all. Was he any good in bed? Oh, come on, honey. You're Miss Howard Stern. Okay, yeah, it happened. And it how did it happen? It, where, where did it happen? Well, how, yeah, how did it happen? Yeah, why did it happen? It was a whole comedy <laughs> show deal. And then I got in trouble for giving a birthday boy a lap dance and a panties and brawl. What? what? And they wouldn't let me do comedy anymore. Because the panties they, and brawl? Yeah, because there was supposed to be no nudity, but I was just in my underwear and brawl. I don't understand one thing she just those said. Those teeth are killing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the teeth. Those are, those are stunk teeth. <laughs> Wait, Andrea. Um, Howard? Yes, go ahead, uh, Tabitha um, Stevens. I'm sorry. Um, why did, Andrea, why do you have new teeth? <laughs> Look who's talking. Look who's talking. That right. was no, that there's girl. A there's a reason. I'm just asking. I, I'm going to tell you, I wanted them for years. I love them. I don't care what anyone says because it's what makes me happy. Oh, that's that's great. I'm just checking. I'm I'm just. Are you sure you're okay? I just. <laughs> Why do you keep asking? Well, ask oh, no, okay. I'm really. I'm not. Be I just blunt. went to the doctor Monday. I'm gonna be okay. What do you mean? What's wrong with you? What do you mean you went to the doctor? <sighs> what happened? Counseling. You know? Is this more that's that you're gonna get you? medication again? <laughs> <laughs> talk to him. Tabitha, what do you know? It's I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, about I don't what? like all right, Howard. Yeah. You, no, I don't I'm not the only I like Andrea a lot and I want to make sure that she's good because you know what? She's a beautiful girl. She's a nice person. She's fun. And I just want to make sure that she's okay. Hey, she and been... promise that you will not get mad at her for anything she's ever done. I'm not mad at her for anything. I don't what care what she does. About? Tabitha, I love you, girl. Baby, <laughs> well, wait a minute, Tabitha, are you? I'll talk to him, okay? Promise well, me. You'll talk to who? Talk to who? Howard. About what? About <laughs> what, Tabitha? What kind of bimbo language are you guys speaking? <laughs> I'm just like. All right, wait a second. We're Let's, listening to bimbo. Tabitha, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> um, we need to go have a drink of whiskey, Tabitha. Yeah, don't let her have any drink. <laughs> What? Oh, you you got an alcohol problem? Is that what Tabitha's saying? No, Thompson? I just love whiskey, no. Uh, you are, you're an alcoholic? Is that what you're saying, Tabitha? No. Well, she likes to party a little bit, and I just worry about her, that's all. Is she party too much, is what you're saying? I don't know. I'm hoping Were not. Were you in rehab? I'm, you know, I'm making no. sure. She says she wasn't in rehab. What, are you using drugs? What is that? What is that, a bag of drugs? <laughs> that's the right one. rehab is for quitters, the bottle opener. Oh. oh. You carry your own bottle opener? It's when funny. people start wearing jewelry about their drinking, I think they have a problem. I don't wear it every day. I just had Tabitha, to open up her own What are you head. implying that Tabitha, Tabitha, what are you implying that Andrea should speak to me about? 
Well, no, just to, you know, she, I know that she parties a little bit. I just want to make sure she's okay because, you know, like I said, I just don't want anything. Well, to you're happen. implying something. You're saying that she has a problem. Are you saying she has a drug problem? I don't. I'm not sure. I, I can't say absolutely because I, you know, Andrea, I don't, do I'm you have a drug problem you want to speak to me about and let me help you with? Um. Okay. <laughs> do you want to know the truth? Yeah. Which I shouldn't even be saying right now. Okay. I when I lost Jenna, things went to hell. Go ahead. I am crying every day. I'm, I'm, yeah, I party a lot more because that's how I cope, cope to drink, right? <laughs> you were lost without your friend? I miss my friend. And you started drinking heavily and doing what, coke? I just go out. What? What is it? I don't need any help, really. I'll uh, help. Reach out. What are you on? E, meth, <laughs> ash? What do you got? Ash oil? Mushrooms? No, but I, I've Can't done mushrooms. <laughs> and they're you great. Mushroom? You like mushrooms. That was a, like three years ago. Yeah, that's <laughs> not really a drug. You know, just, <laughs> just a lot of whiskey. On Christmas. Huh? Hey, mushrooms are like mushrooms. On Christmas yeah. with my family at dinner. I was like, I gotta go. Well, Tabitha, have you seen some weird behavior? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, no, I talked to her a couple times on the phone. And I just want to make sure, you know. Was she out of it when you talked to her? Is that what you're saying? A little bit, you know. I just Like I said, I just want to make sure because I don't want... I would hate. But what is she doing? Head. What are you? Do? Are you doing the mushroom McGillicuddy? I don't know. Are you got the rap no. going. What's the deal with the three D rap? I like? just, you know what? I get pissed. <laughs> you got a two finger. I get upset. Going? I get pissed. I get upset. I cry. I drink, and I will drink and drink and drink until the club is closed. Then I'll go to the gas station and give me some beer when it's time. Oh boy. That's every not night, good. That's and then I lay out at the pool and whatever. I mean, not uh, not you? every night. No, I'm no. Are you working at all, or are you just laying out of the pool, looking hot and hustling dudes? <laughs> and how'd you get here in a private? Place? I'm filming like three days a week. Filming what? Well, I I was doing another movie, but I quit because they're really annoying me. All right, look, I, I'm not following this. You're drinking. You're drinking out. out of control. Is no, what you're saying? No, I'm not. Are you drinking every night? It's the weekend. Just the weekends. Mm. And how'd you get here on a private plane? Some dude paid for that? It's a friend of mine. I don't Guy know you're if fucking? you would say, no, well, how did he pay for it? No, I mean, the plane has to be paid for. Well, I mean, it's his plane. I mean... So, you, so it's a wealthy guy I, with a plane. There's a lot of guys with planes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And what Not do you do? What do you do for them? He's a friend of mine. You beat him off? No. Give him a little reach around? No, Howard, no. You never gave the guy a reach around? You have no Give clue. Give me a reach around here. Come on. No clue about what? We're what? trying to get a clue. Give me a clue. I have friends. Yeah, I have friends, too. None of them are flying me around on a private okay, jet. Okay, and, and I miss planes really bad, so sometimes I have to take other options. Yeah, why do they want you flying on their private plane, which costs maybe... Where'd you come from? Uh, where did you... Chattanooga? Chattanooga? Georgia. What does that cost, about 50 Gs? I have no clue. He owns it. Yeah. And what kind of plane? I don't, I don't know nothing about planes. I thought about... You've never had sex with a guy. Be honest. It's not like that. What's it like? Friends. Friends? And he's flying you around? What, do you have to go to parties with him and look hot? It's just one time. I went um, to a New Year's party with him, yeah. Sweetie, guys don't fly in private jets unless you're banging them. Be honest. What's the big deal? Come clean with me. I know a lot of guys You're sucking this guy jets. off? You're sucking his penis? Be honest. You're not? I know a lot of guys with private jets. And they want you flying on it for what? Just for fun? Why do they want you on your private Because maybe they have nothing else to do. And why? Well, how do you meet all these people? I'm always out. <laughs> no, I, th this is not. This is not. We're not getting I'm not getting answer. anywhere. Any proof? This Tabitha making sense. It's not making sense. Even Tabitha says it's not making sense. And Tabitha makes no sense. Tabitha, the woman who wrote, <laughs> "I know something you don't know." <laughs> Artie, do you think yeah, I'll be upset, Listen. Andrea? Do you think I'll be upset? I don't care what you do. You're allowed to. Be I don't think you'll be upset, but I'm telling you, honestly. It's like you guys don't realize 
It's like you don't get who I am. We don't because you won't tell us. Because I'm Is telling it... you I can't do porn. All right, that's okay with me. You don't have to do porn. I can't fuck every guy I meet because I don't want to. I'm not like I'm that. Not yes, I had sex with Casey probably eight or nine times, and oh, it was great. Lord. Was it great? And that's over. Can the bastard fuck like a like an animal? I like don't remember. Why? Why, why? why? Why don't you remember what it was like? I don't know. Did we he were, hurt you? No, we were just drinking a lot. But did he upset you when uh, he broke up with you? What? We didn't. We weren't together. And he I, banged you eight times. I don't know. I mean, wow. Like, are you still in touch? We're friends. Yes. Mm. A nice friend. You stayed friendly with him, huh? How is he in <laughs> bed? That 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 son of a bitch. How is with he? With that freaking body of his. Yeah. Thumbs up? Give me a thumbs up. thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Really that good? Casey, that good? Not, Two I mean, thumbs up your ass? Oh, my God. Did, you, did, did he deliver the big organ? No. No, he, he didn't? didn't? No. It was just the, quick. Here's what it I know, quick? Howie. Oh, my God, yeah. Here's what I know. Quick? Yeah, go ahead. She call, Casey called this morning and told her it's okay to talk about anything, correct? Right. Casey said you could tell the story. And I know some of the stories piecing it together. All right. Like, I, like, I don't know, Like he banged you in the shower, he banged you in the bed, all that stuff, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, there's a thumbs up. Okay. And then I, this is a story that I heard, and I, I couldn't get a complete straight answer out of him. <laughs> you guys were up in, like, Connecticut at a, at a casino. Yeah, Foxwood. And, and he borrowed a bunch of money from you? And then you couldn't get well, home? Well, no. Yeah, well, he wrote me a check, and it went through. Oh, I heard that you had yeah, a Because he gambled his money, so I let him have him on from the comedy show. And I and he wrote me a check, but it went through. I mean, he's not a liar. He's not a jerk. No, he's no, a great guy. No, I'm not saying that. I heard that... I heard that um, <laughs> That I didn't I heard that you couldn't get home because he broke his. Oh well, the money. yeah, I had to call. We had to call my grandma. He fucked you in every position, oh. I bet. Too, well, right? He had to call my grandma. My grandma talked to him and got me home. Did he play with those big jugs a lot? I didn't have these then. No. Did he fuck your grandma? Right. <laughs> See, I thought he only had sex with you at Foxwoods. I didn't realize there were eight other times. It was like three days, three or four days that you spent together. Okay. Did you fall in love with him? No. Did you doggy style it? Did he touch your salad? No. Did you, you toss his salad? No. You didn't toss his salad? You didn't give him a little lick on the on the bun? What's the bun? Did the your bun hand home? go back there? Because no. you were in love with him from way back. I was not in love. You were totally. On the show, you couldn't even oh, look at him. come on, Gary. You, you couldn't even a, look at him. Did you put a finger up his ass? No. Did you put no, up your ass? Because you got those big nails. They're like um, highlight scoops. No, they're not. They're short. Uh, that's nice. Did you get moral? You swallow or spit in the sink? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Can I tell you how drunk I was? Did you did you swallow the Casey load? After I got out of the shower, I forgot what oh, hotel right, room right. number I was. But we had to go downstairs and ask the lady what number my room was. Soaking wet. All right, Tabitha, is there anything you want to say directly? Wait a minute, I want to know if Casey yeah. gave you oral. I, Did he go down there? I don't remember this. Of course you do. Did he eat the post? I have to call him. Here's the nail. Casey and the Rattler. Call, call Casey. Did he eat the post? I don't eat know. the post, shock the plot. Uh, <laughs> no, you guys. Did he shock the post? You guys. The Did he cut you? Listen. Does he fuck like he looks? Like is does he is he as good for fucking well, as he is good he looking? He was quick a few minutes ago. Was I'm just quick? saying he's. <laughs> He shot the load before you came? <laughs> we're too much alike. It's a big problem when alike. we're together. <laughs> it's like a big problem. When we're together, it's like a bomb blew up. But what's the bomb? Yeah, what's the bomb? Because we're like just like... Was there fighting and drinking? Uh, Well, let's put it this way. When we had breakfast, we were he was drinking beer and I was drinking wine with pancakes. Wow. <laughs> and he was telling me, shh, being too loud. Would you be a little too loud during sex? No, no like breakfast. I can hear you chewing. I mean, it was like all day at the bar. Yeah, well. Okay. It sounds like a gambling kind of thing. I don't understand a thing that's going on. I here. don't, but let me tell you, I hmm. want to go on tour to get people signed up for Sirius Outlet Radio. All right, Tabitha, is there anything you want to say? Because I'm not following what you're trying to hint at here. Okay, this is, right, this is the biggest hint of all. Joey Boots. I love Joey. What did you do for Joey? What did you do for Joey? Or what did we uh -oh. do for Joey? We sent Joey to rehab. Oh, to rehab. You think Andrea okay. needs to be in rehab? That's all I gotta say. Uh, gotta I'm not going. I don't need to be in rehab. I'm not going to rehab. I have a kid. Tabitha play. thinks you need it. I'm not, I don't need it. Some people are in denial. Well, you know, you know what, what? I've been in denial my whole life, and I'm fine. I don't need a rehab. You've been in denial your whole life. That's what you just said. 
You just said you've been in denial your whole life. Basically, I'm insane. Oh, then you know you shouldn't be making the decisions about rehab. Last thing I need to be in is rehab. Why is that? Because I'm happy with filming stupid low-budget movies. Are you really happy, though? Because every time I it's talk to fun. you, you're unhappy. When I talk to you, you're like, you just... That's because my best friend made Gary. Who I understand to? Who paid for those giant titties you now have? They're beautiful. I actually made the money for him in three days. All right, doing what? Dancing, but I'm a shooter girl now. I don't dance. I do body All right. shots. Well, anyway, uh, Tabitha, thank you. Tabitha seems to feel you need to be in rehab. She must I have witnessed some kind what? of behavior that uh, I don't know about. One of the problems for her is being Miss Howard Stern. I no. Think too much. Do you want me to you relieve you of your title? title? <laughs> no. I don't. I don't I, I want to keep it, but if you feel like I'm not worthy of it, that's your name. There's but I love you to death, it. and I would love to keep it, and I would love to go on tour. Are you willing to defend your title in a new contest? You mean compete? Yeah. Yes. I don't feel like I... I, I don't think I should have to compete again. I've, I've held it this long, and I'm worthy of it. And why would I compete again when I still have the same beliefs? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, look. I don't think um, the title is about beliefs. Right. Uh, Andrea, listen to me. You are Miss Howard Stern. I don't want to compete again. I already won. So you you'll are the relinquish reigning... the title if we have another contest? No, I want to keep it. <laughs> I will prove you guys that I will be the best there has ever been. All right. Andrea is... I got my crown and sash right now on the back. And let me plug um, uh, Miss Howard Stern. She's in a new film called Dorm, D-O-R-M, of the Dead. Dorm of the Dead. Available. Are you going to play a clip? All right. Let me play a clip. Oh, yeah. God. You're right. You're right. This is so embarrassing because this is the first line I've ever done in my whole life. All right. I think you've done many lines. Before acting <laughs> classes. All right. So, tell me again what it is we're going to do. Well, do you remember those test tubes of zombie blood that Dr. Xander had in his class? I guess. Well, we're going to steal them. Well, how would we want to do that besides you said it was fake? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But I think we should find out. Well, what about uh, that? Wow. <laughs> Good stuff. What are y'all clapping for? What is nice going job. on? You are so lying. What? You really think I did a good job? I do. Because you know why? I do. To be honest with you, you didn't I'm a really yourself. good liar, and I I, I think Get I'm... Get on the Sibian in your panties. Right. <laughs> uh, Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Oh, no. Get on the Sibian, bitch. <laughs> Jeff, don't talk to me like that. You know better. Let's go to uh, Gary. Gary, you're on the air in Boca Raton. Hey, Howard. Hey, now. Hey, now. Uh, I got to tell you, this girl absolutely has no talent. Her talent is between her legs. Get her on the Sibian. Come on. Absolutely. You my talent is, be is not between my legs, if that's not where my interest is. Uh, Alex, you're on the air in Cleveland. Hey, now. Hey, now. Are you... This girl makes Anna Nicole seem like a poet laureate. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You don't what know what is to... that exactly. You have got to be fucking kidding me. I don't call me an idiot because I am like over uh, it. Bobo, you're on the air. Yeah, I don't know. It's coming to pass the torch. Miss Howard Stern is so fucking frustrating. Uh, you know, I can't understand it. She doesn't want to talk nothing about Casey. Casey gave the green light to talk about details. She's not saying none, no details. Okay, he broke my belly chain in the shower. We had a lot of sex. It was a three-day affair. Everything happened. Now it's over because his girlfriend found out, and now they broke up, and now everything's crazy. There you go. Did he move his bowels on you? <laughs> no. Did he pee on you? <laughs> Did you take X together? No. How did he break your chain? We only drink alcohol. How did he break your chain in the shower? I don't know. I guess he pulled it or somewhere. He pulled on your chain? I don't know. I just know it broke. All right. Did he get you from behind? Little ass action. Anal? Did Casey give you the anal? No. Talk low. No. No. All right. Well, there it is. And you say he's good in the sack. He didn't. Come, he did come faster. No. It was just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was so. I, you know what? I love my fans to death. That I would go out on the street and give them all a hug if it took me five months. I like. Good I don't. Now. I will Let's ride the Sibian with Howard. Oh, thank you. But I, it, I, 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 
Yeah, with Howard. All right. Well, there it is. Uh, there is Andrea, Miss Howard Stern. I just. And uh, you, um, you are still Miss Howard Stern. Until yeah, when I can't get the away from you. What do you love most about you? If you said you would go out in the street and give your fans oral if it took five months. No, she no said I said a hug and a kiss oh. and spend time and talk to them and say I love you right. for free. And for the tour thing, I'm not asking for money. I'm saying to go on tour, get... You know, that's my duty. I have to represent the show. How am I going to represent the All show? All right, good point. I'm looking into it. Max, you're on the air in Staten Island. Now she's got to defend the title. Even the heavyweight champ has mandatory defenses every now and then. <laughs> well, she's got to ride the Sibian right now. Well, you yeah. really should be riding the Sibian. You are Miss Howard Stern. You should be in your panties and uh, feeling the Sibian's full force. And uh, it's my recommendation. It really is. And I don't see how that affects your voiceover career. <laughs> It should be mandatory. Forget a recommendation. You're the man. She's Miss Howard Stern. She's got to ride Sibian. Okay, so... Even Carmen did it. Carmen no, Alexa did Carmen it. Carmen did it. I heard she was in trouble. Oh, no, stop. she's not. She's, she's not in trouble. in trouble. Okay, so if I got on this Sibian for a second... More than a second. A until minute. you pop a, pop a boner. That's not going to happen. So you blow your load. I have no sex drive. You can keep the title if you ride the Sibby in six more months. All right. Six more months? No. <laughs> a year. No. You can keep it for the next year if no. you get on the Sibian. All right, well, we're going to have to have another contest. That's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah. And you'll have to come here and crown the new winner. You leave That's us right. no choice. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing lasts forever. All right. Katie Holmes wrote it. You can do it. Katie She was pregnant. <laughs> yeah, she wrote it. and she wrote it. And uh, what's that blonde who wrote it? Show it to me. Carmen, show it to me then. Diaz. All right, Carmen show me, Diaz. Show Carmen me a Diaz clip of, of Katie Holmes pregnant writing it, and I'll get on Play it. Play the um, clip, guys, and E, if you can. I mean, on, on Howard TV. Play Katie Holmes riding the Sibian right now. Give him a second to queue it up. Well, it takes him a second. Oh, and I can only keep the title for a year? Yeah, that's right. Well, you, you know, most people have to give up their title after a year. Yeah, here you You've go. had a there long she is. time. All right. There you saw it. Holy All right, yeah. turn it off. I don't want to roll She's that now. She's not pregnant. She was, she was, was her Cameron. first. Okay. It was her first month. You want to do it? I love you guys to death. I feel like I'm losing another friend to death over this. Oh, But stop. you know what? I stopped now, but I'm going to walk away with my pride I believe in what I believe in, and maybe just lose my whole life, but I'm not going to do it. Well, and I, you don't have to do it. You speaking don't have my to mind, do it. just don't... like you would speak your mind, no. that is why you are who you are today. And that's why <laughs> I will have something good happen to me. All right. It, it, it's fine. You're still Miss Howard Stern. It's okay. <laughs> Start to cry. We'll never take it. I'm title. not crying. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. You just wrote had it. a year. <laughs> the senator no, from New York. No, that was not Katie Holmes. Yeah, it Howard. was. It really was. You get on the Sibian with me now. No, that was Katie Holmes. She wasn't pregnant. And she would no, not she be naked. And month. it did not show her face. And I am not <laughs> that dumb. I am so much smarter than you think. In fact, my child is an alpha next year. Alpha? And she's only in kindergarten. She's going to alpha next year. She's right. so smart. Well, she's smart. I think she drained so the whole let's do something fun right, without go. being too crazy. All right, Andrea. Oh, there's Katie Holmes doing it there right there. Is. There she is. <laughs> All right. You had a great appearance here. <laughs> and you gave us the details of KC. When you saw him naked, were you, like, really impressed with his physique? And was that the best-looking guy you ever banged? <laughs> what? Did it blow your mind when he was naked? Because the guy works out like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's somebody. You freaked out? It's the same as them all. Really? <laughs> all right. There was no difference. I mean, it's not about the body, really. Yeah, but I mean, you're feeling those. That I chest, wasn't really those even arms. looking. I mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Me and Benji will take our shirt off. No, <laughs> listen. So what's the deal? You guys getting rid of me? Well, yeah. No. You had a good segment. That's it. Not I mean, anymore. like, for, like. Do you oh. do you want my title and crown? Well, we know. want your title. We'll let you know. It's not time yet. You're still have Miss Howard Stern. You're Miss Howard Stern. I love you guys. Well, we love you. Well, is there anything else I can do for fun? No, you did it all. You were fun. It was a good segment. Why, are you feeling like you're disappointed? 
I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> yeah, but a group hummer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Oh, my. <laughs> Want to do the Freddy dance with me? What's Fre- that? Freddy and the Dreamers dance? Yeah, what is uh, it? I've g- Fred, give me the uh, <laughs> Freddy and the Dreamers dance. If I can do that. See if you can play Freddy and the Dreamers, I'm telling you now. I'll lead or you in the dance. Freddy. I don't All right, know. Do, do the, the Freddy, Freddy is what? fine. <laughs> I'll do it. You want to do the Freddy? Yeah, I don't know how, but. All right, this is a dance in the 60s. I'll show you how to do it. You can pick it up. Are you ready? Here I go. See <laughs> so you got it. Go. Go. To the beat to the Freddy. Good stuff. Good. All right. Thank you. Oh, wow. my balls hurt from that. Oh Andrea, you look beautiful. I love that shirt on you. You lost a lot of weight. You look gorgeous. And you are Miss Howard Stern. And don't ever feel like you're giving up the title. You're not. I'm we... not giving it up. Good for I you. will be there to take it. Good. When and, you're uh, tired of it, no. will you tell us? When you're ready to retire, you tell me, all right? You know honey? what? That would probably be after you retire. <laughs> we'll retire but, together. You right. know what? The beautiful Miss I, Howard Stern, her you. movie Dorm of the Dead. I know that uh, Fran Drescher is here. She's stopping by to oh, say hi to us. She has an interesting voice Fran as well. Fran Drescher's going to ride the Sibian. Fran Don't Drescher's going to ride the Sibian. You're the only one who doesn't. Fran Drescher. The I'm nanny. nanny. Oh, the nanny. Remember the TV show The Nanny? I want to see her while I write it. She's going to ride it. Can you can't. Well, no. Oh. You're going to make her uptight. Yeah, Is she going to be naked? No. She'll put in her panties. I just want to know how she might. I'd like to talk to her about it. About the Sibian? <laughs> yeah. What? what is this? It's Artie's penis. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. All right. Let's uh, take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll talk to Fran. we got a lot yeah. going on. Sibian will have to not be road, ridden. <laughs> Roden. <laughs> Whatever that word is. That's right. And, uh, oh. I'm like, a, I guess I'm a snob. Well, I don't know. You're waiting for voiceover work. I don't think it's happening. Matt, go ahead. You've got the last word. I swear to you it's going to happen. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Go ahead, Matt. <laughs> hey, Howard. Yes. Hey, I would like to offer Andrea some uh, voiceover work. Well, there yeah. you go. Yeah, what do you got? Well, I mean, it wouldn't be much at first. I mean, probably any, probably any $500 of film, but you'd have to be getting double penetration from black men at the same time. Oh, oh. no way in hell. But you would be doing voiceover. Yeah, yeah especially that kind of... No, wait, no, I'm, listen, I'm already working with a guy from Cartoon Network right now. Are You're you? working with a guy... I met him on an airplane on the way to L.A. And he's working with you. What's he, how's he working with you? I know where he's working. Well, he's working I, in the back door. I dated someone from Turner South Cable that owns Cartoon Network, and I met the guy in, on the plane, and... And he doesn't want sex from you? No. That's a lot of guys... No, have, in fact... The first thing I feel has, like a lot of guys are taking advantage of you by just having really? sex with you and promising you work, and then they don't give it to you. Did you ever notice that? Maybe so, yeah. yeah that okay. happens a lot, but I've been with him, and that has never happened. All right, so far. <laughs> he's going to work that back door like it's like like like, like it's his... his, 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 his. And, no. Uh-uh. Because I dated... Anal? I Have dated, you ever had anal? Anal? Yeah, anal sex. Okay, I've done it by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Man. goodness, Andrew. You have done it. Did Casey do that to you? What? God. Did Casey put it in your ass? Is it Mr. Cartoon <laughs> Network? <laughs> no, he's not like that. It's All legitimate. Right. We gotta, um, we've got got to take a break. Mm-hmm. I want to thank Andrea. You look great, and you sound great, and you are Miss Howard Stern. Congratulations. <laughs> Andrea Ownby, Miss Howard Stern. Thank you. Thank we you. speak your, your name. name. And we I speak, speak your name. We speak, we speak your, your name. name. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I love you guys. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank Listen you. to this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This week on Howard 100 and Howard 101, Black Packers from all across the galaxy. I'm from Vietnam, brother. Mm-hmm. Are back. You stupid <laughs> bastard. What the hell you laughing at, you fat, bald head faggot? The Whack Pack strikes back.
The Whack Pack strikes back. May the dorks be with you. Hey, let me direct your attention to this very attractive girl. <laughs> there you go. You're the chick who called me yesterday? Hi, how are you? How are you? What's your name again? Kristen. Kristen. <laughs> Kristen, uh, you look like you got a good body, so no wonder you want to get naked and get farted on. Oh, no. We want to take you to the fight, bring you down to Atlantic City, and do all that for you. But uh, you know, you got to pay the price. No. You got to earn it. I'm really smart. It. Can I do some type no. of brain test? No, no, no yes. brains. We don't Wait want a to test your brain. Yeah. You're all up for this, I am. honey. We all know you're really smart. Let's yeah. see something else. You look a little bit like uh, Kirsten Dunst. Anybody ever tell you that? No. Huh. No. I can see why. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's why. I'm just kidding. You're, you're cute. Yeah. It. No, so you're damn. I look you're a little bit cute. like George Clooney, too. <laughs> yeah, a little bit in the eye. Yeah, I have a nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'm you're nervous. You're going to be farted on by Dan the Farter. <laughs> oh, who's that? Is that him? No, bring in Dan the Farter. <laughs> who's that? Is that why this is here? Yeah, sometimes he's an accident. No. Yeah, yeah. he I does. No, please. Yeah, sometimes he does. Hey, Dan, how are you? Oh, my hey, God. Oh, there you this go. is fair. <laughs> Don't look at me now. Dan, how are you? Uh, doing great. Been warming up. Uh, <laughs> how did you this girl's going to get a mouthful, I'll tell you. No, no. You see that I'm not going to eat it. I'll, no. Excuse He's just going to fart on you, honey. How did what? you warm up, Dan? Do it on my own? He ate no, a right on your face. Sandwich. He's going to teabag you and then fart on no, you. No, oh, I'm not it. doing it that close. All right, then you can't go. No, please. Nope, you're not going to the fight. Show me, like, how close. Bend Six down. inches. Bend down. Bend down. Don't pull a high pitch, Eric, babe. Just do it. Just do it. You can't even Give her one blast. That close? Okay. All right. Can you that handle it? it? Hold on. Go. All right. Take off your clothes oh. and get ready and get on your knees. Honey, we want to see your hair move. Oh. Right. Oh. Can I keep my thongs on? No. 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 Please. How many thongs no negotiating. You oh, told me on the up. phone. Come on. Get naked. Can I keep my thongs on? Like just seven of them. Yeah, how many your thongs. Work? My yeah. ass needs work. I'm you telling you all No, that. it doesn't. Get, oh, the hell it does. I'll I'm show you mine. You that needs work. You're going to hear some and ass work in a needs second. Women. <laughs> <laughs> you better do this quick as hell. No, no, no. It's a full two minutes. I've been waiting here. Two minutes. Two minutes. never brought up. Now it's being brought up. Two minutes. She sounds like Ruth Buzzy. Two minutes. Let's not. Let's not fool around. We made a deal yesterday. I know. Gary, I'm not we'll sick. Gary, no, I don't need your help. I'm not. First, let's get her naked, and then we'll negotiate the time. Okay. <laughs> get naked first. Holy God. All right. Wait, am I getting the tickets? I'll if get you do tickets? this, you get, you got to give her good seats and give her VIP. Oh, then I'll do it. VIP I'll do treatment. Like yeah, but you got to get huh. two minutes of gas. Here's what's going on. Tell yeah. us again I how have, smart you are. I have a pair of... On a scale of one to ten, how smart are you? I'm smart. On a scale of one to ten, how smart are you? She's at number two. What's the square root of 81? Nine. What college did you go to? I'm going to community college. I went to a school in New York for fashion, and I left. Then there's no way you're smart. No, now I'm back in school for business. Can we get your father on the phone for this? No, no. Give me those list of questions that I didn't hear before, and I'll see how smart you are. Can you? This has nothing to do with the tickets. I just want to see how smart you are. I'm smart. But Howard, I want you to no know. No way you're smart. Well, I've heard the questions you've done before, and I've answered all of them. You have? <laughs> you answered one of them? I've all, all of them. them. Oh, all of them. Most of them. You right. could beat Miss Howard Stern, is what you're saying. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I like that she's wearing a crucifix. Yeah. So her, the Pope yeah. is very happy, To be too. farted on nude. All right, here's a couple of questions. Don't Answer these. Mm. What color is a lemon? Yellow. <laughs> what? Yellow. That's correct. My goodness. All right. Uh... <laughs> what about an orange? What color? What color is Quickly. an orange? orange? Quickly. How many nickels equals a dollar? Okay, wait. Um, don't do this to me now. Oh, we won't. 20. That's correct. What's nine times eight? Nine times... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm bad with that. That's, <laughs> no, that I'm bad with. Nine Just times got eight. square root it's, um, Come on. Not 72. No. Nine times eight? I, I'm black. Fifty-six. No, it's not. Oh dear. It is seventy-two. Oh, see. No, see. No, it's not. It's not. See. It is. We didn't ask you to tell us what it wasn't. <laughs> Who is the vice president of the United States? Dick Cheney. She knows that. This goes no dummy. Uh, seventy-two. What was the name of Jimmy Kimmel's jilted partner after he took over <laughs> late night? Um. <laughs> See? It's not. Um, Here's a hint. He's Adam, in this room. Wait, wait. Adam Carolla. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Adam Carolla is the jilted is partner of Jimmy Kimmel, who lost out on being the late night king. You know, I'd ask you that in a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
so bad. Which candy melts in your mouth and not in your hand? M and M. That's correct. Spell imbecile. All right. Is it E or I? I'm not telling you. <laughs> that would constitute spelling it, so we can't help it. <laughs> I, all right. I, no, I'm going to say E. E F M I. No. E M I. E M I. E -M -I. Great label. I am. Shut up. I don't, don't want to do that one. Give me another Why? spell. All right, all right. It's time for you to get naked. Let's get busy and get you your tickets. Spell spell naked. Can I ask one favor? Can I get a, my water out there real quick? Uh, no. No, can someone go get it for me? No, no. Water. Take off your clothes quickly. I'm running out of time. Why do you need water to get beefed in the face? Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> it's important to be hydrated when a guy's <laughs> beefing in your face. Because my legs and my ass are bad. No, they're not. I'll, they're not bad. They're not bad. Honey, I've seen a lot worse. I'm looking at Adam Carolla's legs, and they're not as good as yours. All right. All right. Well, I don't know. They're bad. They're bad. They're fine. Right, come on, uh, look at that top. Let's see your boobage. Yeah. All right. All you right. gotta come over here because I'm not walking over. Now walk over there. I can't see from here. Let's see your ass. Turn around. No, it's bad. Huh? Let me see. It. Don't worry about it. Yeah. All right, looks... don't. All right, don't show it to me. Now that ain't bad. It's fine. It's not really. We're Everyone guys. Here. No, you know what? You kind of look like Tom Petty. I can't shut up. That's I'm gonna so... tell you something. We're guys. Anything without hair on it looks good. More <laughs> like Richard Petty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I? All right, now get your face. Get lay down on your back. Yeah. Lay down on yeah. your back. I can't. You're gonna give me VIP, right? Y yeah, VIP. Can I have your what? autograph? Don't again say too? the word. Yeah, yeah. Lay down on lay down on your back and get uh get Dan DeFarter's ass right in your face. Hey Howard, if she moves away, we're taking the tickets away, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, so you got to say within six I'll inches stay. of his ass. If you leave me like this, I'll stay. All right, now get my, now Dan, you got to get your ass closer to her head. <laughs> That's good. Right like that. All right. Now, Let's get ready to smell no, each other's balls. You should have done that. All right, here we go. Shh. She's Full two minutes. Ready, face. set, go. You got to take your hands away from your face. Get your hands away from your face. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Howard, I'm going to kill you. No. <laughs> Uh, you're moving away. Start uh, over. Start no, over. I'm not Reset, the clock. Reset over? the clock. No, Reset the clock. Reset the clock. Reset the clock to ten Reset minutes. Reset the clock. Two minutes. <laughs> All right. We're ready? starting again. He's what? He's yeah. beefing on you. Beefing. He sees him. That's really rude. All right. Oh now, we're starting again, and please do not move your head. Uh, think yeah, of Dan's and, feelings. And don't put your hand <laughs> Don't put, your hands. Don't put your hands. Poor Dan. She came in a blonde. Now she's a brunette. <laughs> All right, here we go. Shh, I'll start the clock. Start so, the clock now. Uh, the hands are on. Move the hands. They're on my eyes. Move the hands. Shh, I can't Just hear the farting. I'm sleeping. Pretend it's David Blaine. <laughs> go. Go. That's all right. The clock's running. Ten seconds. Dan, it's all up to you. Oh my God, he's moving his bowels. Oh. Right. <laughs> clock is going. <laughs> Give her the mud slide. <laughs> I'm gonna fool. Mudslide. <laughs> <laughs> How much food can we Come on, Dan. You gotta get your seconds. head under. 30 there. seconds. It's there. Trust me. No, it's Come on, Dan. How much Hurry. time do I have left? You have uh, a, minute a minute. A minute and a half. Oh, here we go. Your head. head came off the mat. Reset the clock. I'm gonna throw up. No, don't. Let this is. Do it. I've been doing it. <laughs> I'm getting out. You just go ahead. You move your head. Howard, this is one minute. One minute. Yeah, and you move your head. It's so funny. Okay, get your head close to the face. I hate it. I hate it. All of a sudden, she got freckles. She's moving her head. I can't help it. It's been like four minutes. Stop the clock. Yeah. It's been like four minutes. Stop the clock. She took her head off the mat. You had 30 oh, seconds Howard, left. It's been like four minutes. Oh. We started it. Honey, twice. you took your head off. I'm telling you, I'm only charging you for two minutes, but you have to keep your head down. We have to start the clock again. <laughs> Don't move. It's uninterrupted. Don't move your head. Now put your head back down. Dan, position yourself. You have to do it. Don't, you have don't to you, do it. Don't you know the rules? This is Marcus of Ask Has anybody done anything worse? Is this yes. yes. Has there been, what's been worse? I can't think of it right now. Oh, thank you, Howard. I have. Someone ate stuff out of somebody's butt. Okay? So, yeah. Yes. Get down. Yes. 
And they, yeah, Dan, and get your get your ass close and don't move your head. And put I your, have lots of fun tomorrow. Put your yeah. Hands at your side. I can't. Go ahead. Two minutes. Put your hands at your side. Hands at the hands side. side. Come on, sweetheart. Start oh the clock. God. I'm gonna throw up. I can't. Start do the it clock. Anymore. I can't throw right, this up. This guy is amazing. This is nice. <laughs> right in the face. No. This is the best. God, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Just remember, in India, this was considered a delicacy. Yeah. Right, we're, we're, we're laughing our ass off, but meanwhile, we've all just seconds. sucked up 700. Casey, you please. Casey, please. How much time? Casey, how, how much time? 40 seconds gone by. Please. Hands at your side. This is the dog day, sweetheart. You get through this next 20 seconds. I'm going to kill this kid. I swear to God. Come on, Dan. Let her rip. I swear to God. Oh. No, I'm done. How? No, thank you. You've got only a minute oh, left. Almost. Almost. <laughs> How much time is left? It's one, one minute. minute. One, one minute, minute more. <laughs> one minute more. <laughs> the hands, the expression, hands. get the hands down. Get your ass closer to her face. Penalty for you just use profanity. I Thirty second penalty. No, no, put your hands away from your face. We'll disqualify you. <laughs> oh no! I can't believe. I can't believe I did that. You said that like foot out of my mouth. Oh, <laughs> All I gotta do is give a Thirty second, second penalty <laughs> left, and then you're done. Because you used profanity. Hold it. Not yet. yet. Thirty seconds. You're, you're immune to it now, baby. Just start really later. Good. That's good for the show. Yeah, go ahead. Let it out. Let your tears out. Get your hands away from your face while I'll make you do it all over again. It's very emotional when you win, like. <laughs> Pretend it's mountain. Minute there. penalty for crying. A minute penalty for crying. Oh, <laughs> all right, time is up. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh Congratulations, Dan. Dan just collapsed. Dan. She's dead. See, it wasn't that bad, right? Dan, how, uh... I can't believe you. I Did you go to the bathroom at all? No, 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 no. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, I need you on her. All right, I think she's crying. She is crying. Of course she's crying. Yeah. Tears of joy. I'm now hearkening back to the guy who called up and you just... Oh, uh, this better be worse <laughs> What? Now. The guy you My randomly called. My old fucking family yeah. would be like, no what did you just profanity. do? No more profanity. You'll have to go back in the hopper. Did she use profanity? Yes, she did. Yeah, get back on the... Two more minutes. <laughs> Two more minutes. I told you no profanity. I know you didn't. All right, a 30-second penalty. Put your head back down. 30, 30, 30 seconds. <laughs> you cursed. Don't that's curse. only fair. 30 seconds. I can at least get drunk. All right, put your pants on. That's all that's allowed. <laughs> but there is a 30-second penalty for cursing, and I told you that up front. No, you never said it. I said it. Lay down. He said the bylaws. Go ahead. It was. Check the fine print. Go ahead. Stand the farter. Go ahead. Hold on. Now, just pretend you're on some exotic beach alone and a guy's farting on your head. Set the clock from the first fart. She's starting to like it. Yeah, right. Let's listen. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god, this is so not worth it. This was not worth it. This was not worth anything. This is not worth a million dollars. Stop talking to yourself. Yes. No one cares. You use I'm oh my Finish god, your I'm fart so sandwich. Is that, tell me when 30 Five seconds. Oh my god. Dan, are you coming tomorrow to the fight? Oh, yeah, I'd love oh, to. Okay, Absolutely. make sure Dan's there because <laughs> you don't want to sit near Dan? I think they should sit next to each other. And I like, I I'll like tell you what, Dan, tomorrow, for girls who want to get upgraded on their seats, you could uh, fart in their face. Love to. And we'll get you in the Howard, next uh, Howard, section, too. She's, she's really crying. Her eyes she are tearing. Is. She's, she's wiping away tears. Those are tears of joy. Too, it's like staring gas. Yes. Dan, do you do weddings? Step do up do weddings. to the microphone. I want to interview you. What was it like under there? It was horrible. Oh. Oh. I don't want to tell you this. It's degrading. I don't want to tell you this. We no. don't even really have any seats left. Oh, no. 
We don't really have any seats She's left. Put, Congratulations. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Congratulations, honey. You got two tickets to John's comedy show. <laughs> Hold on a second. This what, thing what sold is, out for months. What's the grading about some freak of nature squatting on your head for 10 minutes and passing wind? <laughs> Big deal. Yeah. Are you naked? Have people do, done worse? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah, pardon I'm us, sure your highness. But not you. <laughs> yeah, in a bukkake film. <laughs> I get, there goes your shot at being Queen of England. Oh. <laughs> Howard, this is terrible. <laughs> now, now, she did it. She was a trooper, uh, you guys. Uh, she was a pooper. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel? I don't feel. I feel I'm going to throw up. All right. All right. Don't do that. That would be disgusting. Ah. Oh, wasn't it funny when she was just screaming at the dub vlog? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, but it's all worth it because now you get to go to New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Atlantic yeah. City. <laughs> I I'm going to throw in a hotel room. You can sleep with Benji. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're an attractive girl. You've put yourself through the ultimate humiliation. I would suggest you take a good shower and wash your hair out. <laughs> there could be fecal remains. Did, where know. was she going after Corn. this? I'd like to see these two go out on a date, actually. No. Hey, Casey, smell her hair. No. It's got a slight tinge of ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe was she's she just, going to work after this? Maybe it's like she was in a smoky using, bar. I was like, probably just using that, gee, your hair smells like ass conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> using for a I'm going to wash those farts right out of my head. I'm going to wash those farts <laughs> right out of my head. She was using head and ass. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me ask a serious question. Go ahead. Who do you think in years from now will suffer worse from post-traumatic stress I disorder? Don't... A Vietnam vet who's done five tours, <laughs> or her? <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of her future children. Yeah. Oh, dear. Gassy I think and she's sterile now. <laughs> yeah. Kids, I was on TV once. Really, Mom? I know. Yeah. That, I have a son. There oh. you go. Oh. Not anymore. Perfect. Not anymore. He's We're taking him away. away. I, I can see him hanging around the trailer telling this story no, 12 years ago. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly what I'm not going to do. And you know what I'm they're not doing? Let it happen. Maybe they're Steven giving Sp her child to Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Steven Spielberg will make a movie about this. No, I am. How old is, is the boy? He, no, I'm not even going to. Well, uh, here's the good news: you can replace the "I had to walk eight miles to no. school in the snowstorm" <laughs> with the, "I had to lie on my back and be farted upon for 20 minutes." <laughs> I did it, and I told you, you know, I would do it, and I didn't. Back, down, back in the day, we had to do things for tickets. Yeah. That's right. You no, kids don't know anything about ticket let me, let me, getting. Let me tell you what happened when mommy cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Extra 30 <laughs> seconds of that. Keep your child uh, away from yeah. using dirty yeah. words. Yeah, you're getting soap in your mouth. That's nothing. Yeah. I had ass. I cursed and had a solid ass for 30 <laughs> seconds yeah. in my face. Let me introduce hey, how, you to Uncle Dan. <laughs> how, do we want to meet the proud Mrs. Dan the Farter? Let me meet your girlfriend. I hear she's hot. Yeah. Can we fart on her? Oh. Is she a missus? This is a missus. You got married, Dan? Uh, no. Not oh. yet? So is your girlfriend? This is my girlfriend, yeah. Fiance? No. <laughs> but, she's a lucky but lady. Dan, she's a lucky lady. Dan, you know, how do you're you the know? best. How do you know? I mean, is it you or is it your constant gas? I mean, do you ever really know what a woman wants? <laughs> yeah, can we ask you? You're very cute, by the oh. way. Wow. <laughs> you're very cute. Hello. Let me say something. Hi, Howard. Do you love Dan for Dan or for his farts? <laughs> I love Dan for Dan. You do. Well, well they yeah. all say they How always can you say tell? that. How Has can he you ever pinned you down and fart in your face? For Never. Minutes? Dan's not allowed to fart around me. Really? <laughs> oh wow! Wow! wow. Cracking, down the... cracking that whip. Yeah. What if he has to practice? Is this why I'm standing on plastic? <laughs> you look. Uh, you look terrific, baby. He's got nice cans. Yeah. But you know what? It's it, every woman. She's going to change him now. He's not allowed to fart. Yeah. Jim, wow. Jimmy's he staring. Well, he's allowed to fart, just not on me. Jimmy's staring at Dan the farter's girlfriend like a married guy of twenty have, years. Have you dated other ce celebrities? <laughs> 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 Ever yeah. date a burper? <laughs> Why don't you want to hear his farts? To me, it's like a comedian. No, no, I hear a, him. To me, it's like a comedian's wife not wanting to hear jokes. Yeah. So she she does uh, laugh. She just doesn't appreciate them. On he's her. not allowed to do it in bed. I see. <laughs> well, I wish the two of you luck. Why don't you two come down to Atlantic City as well? And we can have some fun in the ring with some of the farting because yeah, we got two to. and a half hours to kill. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, if we could uh, teach her to queef, we could start a band. <laughs> <laughs> How about Dan farts on the loser? That ha oh. Howard. Yeah, that other girl shell shock. Just look at her. I mean, poor yeah. shell shock. Poor, poor Kristen. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kristen, we've got to tell your son about this. <laughs> it's important that he knows. The authorities <laughs> have to tell him. I take it your mom and dad are listening, right? No, I hope not. How old is your son? Come on. Come on. Is he over a year? Yeah. He's over a year. 
He's five. Five? Oh, my All God. Right. So he's old enough to understand. Yeah. It's time <laughs> you sat him down and told him. I love him. you, though, because every morning he puts the radio on. He knows that. Hey, if you let Dan uh, fart on him, you can sit him for the news. No, don't you dare say that, Artie. You're going to have bad karma now because you said that. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Look at me, honey. Karma hasn't treated me great so far. <laughs> uh, in your defense, How much worse could it get? <laughs> make <laughs> you feel better. Five-year-olds love farts. So yeah. I know. Yeah. I can say anything to him. He laughs at it. All right. You are a star in every sense of the oh. word. I've never heard a guy fart better than you. Dan you just did an amazing job. That was right. no accident that was this time. Some, that was, yeah, that was yeah, no accident. That's nice. <laughs> the Whack Pack Strikes Back continues now. All right, listen to me. I'm reading in the, uh, someone's faxes to me, the Millville, New Jersey newspaper. Let me get him on the phone. Kenneth? Kenneth? Yes. All right. No? Kenneth, who, uh, you know, appears on our show once in a while. He's kind of a wild guy. He, we met him on the Channel 9 show. He used to blow smoke out of his eyes and stuff. Or at least he said he did. It says in the paper here, Kenneth K. Callenbach. Every time this guy gets in trouble, he's in the paper. I know. Because they have a police blotter in his local town. Kenneth K. Callenbach, 27. Are you 27? Yes. It's what, time for you to get a little bit of a life. What kind of phone are you on? I can barely hear you. Oh, it's on a cordless phone. Yeah, well, get on a corded phone. All right, well, can you hold on? i got to right. go in my garage. How come my producer doesn't hear that this guy's on a bad phone? I was on it last time. All right, go get a, get a regular phone. All right. Listen to this. Kenneth K. Callenbach, 27, of Boothwin, Pennsylvania, was charged with aggravated assault and driving while under the influence. All right, you know what i got to do? i got to pull my pull the cord out and plug it into this other phone. Oh, I don't you're... think it'll disconnect, though. All right, go ahead. If it does, just call me right back. All right. I don't think it will, though. All right, hurry up. Hold on. Do it. You know this isn't going to work. But I... Hello? <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're dead now. <laughs> Gary, get him back on. All right. He'll put him back on. You know, I'm going to pull out the cord. And I don't think it'll I'm do... completely disconnect, disconnect the phone, but I don't think yeah. it'll disconnect. It'll be fine. <laughs> what a dick. All right. Kenneth K. Callenbach, 27, of Boothwin, Pennsylvania, was charged with aggravated assault and driving while under the influence after a witness told police that Callenbach had forced a Westchester, Pennsylvania woman into his van at 2nd and Main Streets. He forced a woman into his van. He abducted a woman. <laughs> Kenneth. Hold on, Howard. Kenneth, hang up. Kenneth! <laughs> Kenneth! Oh, Hello? Kenneth! <laughs> Kenneth! How does he not have a call? <laughs> How can he abduct anyone? He can't even work a phone. And poor Fafa Fui's job is to deal with all the nut jobs. <laughs> <laughs> the show is wacky. No wonder he's pistol. Right. Let's see what's going on. Gary. I'm, I'm trying to get it to ring now, but he keeps calling me, and I keep telling him to hang up, so I call him back. Right. Hold on, it should, it should be ringing. No, it's, it's, he's still He's, he's so still stupid. dialing. So let him call. So, Gary, hang up and let him call. <laughs> <laughs> two of them dialing each other. Right. Who's stupider, <laughs> Gary or Kenneth? <laughs> No, no, Howard, Howard, it's got to be on this line. He doesn't have this number. I don't even have this number. Oh. So he's... Yeah, but, but he's but he's probably dialing some number. No, no, I, he hung up just now, and if you hang up, I'll... All right. <laughs> this is like a professional... This is like the number one radio show in the world. And this is the reason why. Yeah. <laughs> the best show there ever was. <laughs> we can't even, like, get in touch with him. A guy. Oh, we had him, and we lost him. Yeah. All right. all right, all right, let me get this straight now. Okay, so he abducted a woman and threw her in a van at 2nd and Main Street. The victim was treated for injuries to her head, face, body, and bloody mouth at South Jersey oh, Hospital in Melville. wait a minute. Yeah. That sounds like serious injuries. So, Kenneth. Yeah, So, wait a second, I got your girlfriend. Is this Was this your girlfriend you abducted? Well, you know what? Yeah, but I'm not supposed to have any contact with her, you know, so I don't know. Is it cool to talk on the phone? I'm yeah, you can talk on the phone with her because she called here. I have my moment. Is that you? Is this Rebecca? Hi. Hi, how you doing, Rebecca? I'm doing good. Hi, Howard. So We've met you, right? Yeah, we yeah, know Rebecca. Rebecca, what's going on between you and Kenneth? We just, it just, I don't know. What, know. Now, didn't he break into your apartment a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. He broke through my back kitchen. Kenneth, what are you doing? Kenneth. Yeah. 
Who's flushing? flushing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hold on, somebody's calling them. Hold on. God. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Oh, uh, who? What? I don't know, some of them freaking wackos on the, on the line. All right, well, just forget about them. You're on the All radio right. now. So what's up? So what's going on? So what ha what's going on with you and your girlfriend? Are you obsessed with her? Are you stalking her? What's going on? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, no, we were coming over from uh, 44th and Landis Street to Seattle City, you know? We got in, you know, lover's quarrel. We just got in a fight, you know? And you beat her? Well, uh, I'm... I still gotta go to court shit over stuff over here. Mm. <laughs> well, that's not a yes or no. That was a yes or no question. Did right, you let me, meet her? It was love as a claw. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. We all just got in the fight, you know? Well, let me understand what's going on. Night, what happened? You were trying to get her and you threw her in the van? I was trying to get out. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, you were but, trying to get out of the yeah, van? Yeah, I was trying to get out of there. Well, how'd you get your mouth all bloody and everything? I th I, wait a second. You two met in a bar, right? About two and a half years ago. Right. And you guys were in love and everything. Right. And everything was going pretty smooth. Yeah, sort of. And then you kind of, you got away from him? Yeah, a couple times. How come? Because he was a drag? Yeah, it, it's, it, well, yeah, there's been moments, you know, that it was really bad. I had to go. Can I tell well, your sister to quiet down? Yo, Spot! Shut up! Spot! Spot! Right. Kenneth, you don't have a sister, do you? Uh, no. Nah. Oh, okay. I was just thinking maybe that was her. What's really bad? What the hell, What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what happened? When did things go bad? Um, about three months after I moved here from Chicago. Yeah. And things got just, I don't know, we were drinking and things got bad. out of control, you know? And right. it was more than I could handle, and I've never dealt with anything like that, so I'd leave. Wait a minute, he got violent? Is that what you're saying? We've had violent fights, yes. Really? Yeah. Did, I bet you could beat him up. No, yeah, who could I, I can't do that, you know? He's so scrawny. I know, I should have kicked his ass. We were in a fight because she, she, um, she said I was hitting with a Puerto Rican chick or something. I don't know what happened, but... I don't get it. Do you guys I'm get really so sorry. drunk you can't even yeah. tell what you're saying? Yeah, so wait a second. So She's my girlfriend. I love her, you know? You and still love her? Yeah, I love her a lot. Yeah, but she don't want to be with you no more. Uh, yeah, I want to be with her. No, she doesn't yeah, want to no, be with she you. No, she doesn't want to be with you. I wanted to take a break, you know, and I told him that'd be a good thing if we did that, but, he, you know, he's, right, he could deal with him doing it, but I'm not supposed to go out and have a good time, I think. That's right. That's what his problem is, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, he, he can go out and have sex and stuff, but you can't. Well, I don't think he can go out and get sex, but I think, you know... He yeah, who's he going to have sex with? <laughs> you know? And I care a lot about him, but I think we need to take a break. Now, how come you broke into her house? I oh, know, I was just going over there to visit. I wasn't breaking in. Right. Well, the door was locked, so we came in the back window. He'd been calling all night. It, it was my roommate's birthday. I wanted to hang out with her, Ken, you know? And that, and... Yeah, yeah well, but Rebecca's, like, not pressing charges or nothing like that. It's like the, right. the cops were, like, as soon as I mentioned your name, they were, like, throwing the book at me and stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, you mean because of me? Yeah, well, oh, yeah, okay. So wait a second. So, what happened that night? According to the this eyewitness, uh -huh. she tried to get out of the van. You tried to drag her back in the van. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> what, what happened? You're not well, going to be I a very don't. good witness. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, what happened? I would just come back from, you know, twenty fourth of Landis. Had you guys been out Maggie together? Christmas, and um, you know. Just, were you guys out on a date? We always do. You guys were out at, what is 44th and Landis? Oh, it's streets down in Seattle City. Yeah, I wanted to go to the beach because I've never been to the beach. I swear I'll never go back to that beach. So you guys were going out together? Yeah, that night we did. That night well, we were going with other people, too. But, oh. you know, we, could, we didn't have a place to stay, and he wanted to get a hotel, and I just wanted to go home. And so we just got in a we fight. I don't know, last time I don't know what they were happened. trying to for kidnapping or something. Yeah, you, somebody you, called in, so they, were, they reported a kidnapping. It's great. It's so, so in other words, so in, do you, yeah, you guys understand any of this? Uh, yeah, I sort of understand what's happening here. What's going on? It sounds like she wanted to stay at the beach. Yeah. And he didn't. Right. And so he was trying to drag her into the van. <laughs> and eyewitnesses reported a kidnapping. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go home and get my head straight. So I, <laughs> yeah. so I think you both ought to stop drinking. Maybe you ought to stop drinking. That might be good. <laughs> or drink it with Ken, at least. Yeah. And hold on. Uh, here's Captain Jenks. He wants to get on the oh, air. Oh, no. Well, was he there? Were you there, Captain Jenks? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what do you want? Well, let me tell you that this is not an isolated incident. I've witnessed him smacking her around plenty of times. Oh, boy. We don't hang around anymore as a result of that. Yeah. Am I right, Rebecca? Yeah. Howard, I, this guy pulled off her dress in a, in a crowded parking lot one time. Is that true, Kenneth? 
Uh, nah, I but every time I hang out with this guy, all he does is snort coke for free. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 you got, got many me. stories, don't you, Ken? You know what, Ken? You're, you're Ken. You know what? You're a jerk off, man. Outside. You're, you're a jerk off, Ken. Hey, hey, you know what, Howard? This guy, this, this guy, this, this, this guy inflicted brute. You know what, Howard? I had to pull her up on my couch a couple times. Really? I had to put her up yeah, on my couch because he beat her so bad. Well, Am I right, Rebecca? Am I right, Rebecca? Stop, you know? And that's the time when that guy pulled a gun on him and said, get out of here, Ken. Yeah, my, my ex-roommate pulled a gun, a forty four mag, and aimed it between Ken's eyes. Really? Because wow. he came over my house he in the middle of the night when I, I was housing her. I put her up on my couch for the night. The guy laid on the horn in my, in my driveway at 2 o'clock in the morning. He screwed up. <laughs> He's psychotic, Howard. You know? And, and, you know, I mean, it's about time that this came out, man. You can't beat a woman, Ken. What's wrong with you. I see now it's just out in the paper. I've seen this. This happened. This Howard. This has happened at least fifteen times. Is that right, Ken? No, I no, no. I pretend. You know what? You're lying. There's probably Chicago. Let him move back to Chicago. You know. You, you know what, Ken? There's probably people right now. There's probably guys probably getting tons of calls from people talking about you because everybody knows about this. You know. Well, the cops when they came over here called the show. The cops came over you know? to my house that one night when when Rebecca was staying over because because Ken came over two o'clock. Sounds in the like morning. a real. Uh, it sounds like Captain Jenks is also in love with Rebecca. I think. Yeah, yeah he calls her up all the time trying to get dates. Oh, I do. Rebecca, hey, you know, Joe DePola. There's this. I met this dude Joe DePola. It's the boy. This like, is how the fight starts, like this. Like this you know. He's telling me he's been trying to get with your. Hey, Re Rebecca. Oh. Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. Have, 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 no, he has never. Captain Jenks. Well, you know. Is Captain Jenks in on you? No. No. No, we're just good friends. I haven't talked to Rebecca in a while either. We talk but about stuff, you know, like just, you know, girls. See, see, how she, but... see, Howard, see, that this is, she goes back to him, okay? Yeah. I mean, that's I can understand fault. if he's you in love with him at all. That's why I'm leaving, because I'm going to get this shit straight now. Yeah, well, this, right. is, you know, this is not an isolated incident, you know? One time, you know, Ken, a couple times. There's <laughs> <laughs> a dog. All right. All right, listen. Listen, this will never get resolved over the phone. You know, Ken, Ken, you can't beat women, man. That's just the bottom line. Well, that's true, man. You can't do that. Yeah, who are you, OJ? Yeah. I can't keep going back to it either. We're just getting fights. It's not like I no, no, no. You're beating her. You're you get, getting into fights. You're just getting into fights. How, that's I what OJ said. Howard. She hit me, too. Right. Howard, he tore her dress off. She was naked standing in the parking lot. Was that right? No, it was on the side of the highway when we were coming back for some... Yeah, he, he actually had well, to let her finish. I can't hear. And just like turned out, turned for no reason and grabbed my skirt off. Yeah, he had to. He, we had to and you weren't wearing any panties. I he was wearing mean, panties, and that was it because he had the dress in his hand. Mm -hmm. How'd she look nude? He pulled, he was pretty good. We, <laughs> yeah. we, pulled, we pulled the car over. We pulled the car over on West Side Highway and got in a fist fight in the middle of the street. <laughs> What's going people. on? These are our listeners all teaming up together. <laughs> you know, it's really good when they all get together. You, you, can't, you, you, can't, you can't hit women, man. That's just you're screwed up, man. You're real screwed up. You need to go see help. Does yeah, your mother know you're beating him? I asked when he got out. That Ken, was one of the things I asked him to do. So you know, Ken, I really like you. I think you're, I think you're funny as hell, man. But, but this, I, I don't talk I to you. I don't hang out. What is he, Gary? All, all I can think of is Cameron Crowe must be sitting at home right now, going, "Why did I put this guy in my movie?" All the time, it's so funny. You're constantly calling everybody, telling them. Who me? Me? Ken, I haven't talked. I haven't talked to you. I haven't talked to you since last year, man. All right? Because you're not worth my time. Because you're not worth my time. You know that? Because you're not worth my time. You're an idiot. All right? You can't hit women, and you think you're right. No, I don't think I'm wrong. No, he knows he's wrong. He knows he's wrong every time, but he doesn't stop doing it. He knows he's wrong every time. <laughs> 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 All right, listen, it sounds like uh, there's a lot going on here. Hey, Rebecca. Yeah. You want to go out on a date? Sure, Tom, let's go. I won't beat you. I'll take good you care of you. You couldn't beat anybody. You're so small. I don't know. We didn't think Kenneth Keith could. I didn't think Kenneth Keith was that type. I don't understand how this guy gets girls to begin with. You know, how does he get a girl and I don't? <laughs> well, that's the classic no, story. No way, so tell you. What? Who? What'd you say? I said, go ahead, Snow White. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's a dwarf reference. Oh, I see. <laughs> 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 oh, I see. Ken, hey, Ken, though, see, Ken, I've never beat a woman. I've never punched a woman. I've wanted to, but I never yeah, did. Yeah, you're great. All you do is snort lines. And people can freak us hey, hey Ken, off. Ken, you shoot heroin. How about that? What? Right? I saw you shoot heroin once. You pick up tunnel yeah, whores. You, 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 you pick up tunnel whores. You pick up tunnel whores. Ken, Howard, this guy has picked up tunnel whores. All right, okay. Oh, okay. Tunnel this guy, this guy's picked tunnel up tunnel whores. Are you back to hotels. Are you doing heroin and coke, you guys? No, I'm not, but uh, I know he is. Are you Kenneth? Well, he, he says he, he isn't. He, all right, he, all right, all right. Enough with you two guys. Everybody is. Rebecca. Everybody is. Hey, I'm okay. Come over to house for a barbecue. <laughs> all right, listen. Hey, Rebecca, you want to go out with me? I'll go out with you before I leave. Okay. All right, there you go, Captain Jenks. It's a friendly thing. You know, I won't hit you, I promise. You got it. I called you once. Right. You got called. All right, Jenks, thank you. Ken, you suck.
F Timmy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey, you know what? You know what? What? All right, he's, he's, he's out of his mind. Uh, all, right. all right, Kenneth, you can't hit women. Uh, I know, it was a lover's quarrel kind don't, of thing. But, don't you know? belittle it by calling it a lover's quarrel. This girl had to go to the hospital. Yeah, you can't do that. All right, because sm- next time I see you, I'll smack you around. You understand? And you know I can. I'll put your head through a glass window. You keep doing that. That won't hurt. Hey, if I read the book, can I use your name in it? <laughs> no. Oh, man. All right, you two work this out, okay? Man. Kenneth, you stay away from her. You hear what I said? Chicago Tuesday. Good. So. Yeah, what did you, yeah. And stay away from her, all right? All right. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Or I'm not going to have you on the show anymore. Thank you. Yeah, we know. Well, you get called the firecracker, they say you had a bomb, you know? All right. All right. You hear what I said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> whole situation going on out there. <laughs> I just whacked out of his head. <laughs> I like those guys start accusing each other of doing heroin and coke. I don't think they're doing either one of them are doing anything. I don't any think of either that. one of them has the ability to do anything. <laughs> it's just like they start bad mouthing each other. You're doing heroin. <laughs> wow. Well, you're picking up tunnel whores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're trying to steal my girlfriend. <laughs> what the hell is going on out there? She stays with Well. There's something charismatic about him, I guess. <laughs> oh, hello. All right, we got to uh, take a break. I have an aura. <laughs> we got to take a break. You have an odor. <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. The Whack Pack Strikes Back continues now. Real quick, I got Gary the Retard on the phone and Wendy the Retard. I just want to line something up for the fight. Gary? Yeah, good morning, Howard. How are you, buddy? Um, do you really want to know? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Today I'm going to pull my top teeth out sometime next month. Your really? Top, your top teeth have been already pulled out. No, they're going to pull the rest of them out. Why? Because they're, they're, they're too bad that they can't, uh, I, they can't save them. Can't you brush your teeth once in a while? I brush almost every day, but the, the teeth are so bad that they're going to have to pull them out and give me regular dentures. Almost every day. Oh. Gary, you're supposed to do it twice almost. a day. Not only that, you're supposed to massage your gums. <laughs> I do. No, you don't. You're retarded. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry they're going to pull your teeth. That's terrible. <laughs> Let me rub your retarded gums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Hell, man, in the back, you keep your mouth quiet. <laughs> Let me ask you something. <laughs> Do you feel the Do you feel the pain when they pull them out, or being retarded, you don't feel pain? Oh, stop! Well, no, they don't give me pain pills. I put me out the tank. How many you got there, Gary? They gonna pull them out? Not very many left. I figure maybe like you know certain animals don't feel pain. Maybe <laughs> if you're retarded, I you don't feel. I just have to do something. The pain. I have to do this to get it done and get it over with. Are they putting you in the hospital? No, because just right there in Wilsonville. He he doesn't feel pain. (laughs) He can walk right. All right, Gary, would you be willing to sing "I Got You, Babe" with Wendy the Retard at the boxing match? Yeah. Do you know this song? Yeah, I've been practicing. I just got it today in the mail. All right, hold on, wait. I'll get the music going here for a second. One second. Here. Hey, Wendy. Hello. This is Gary the Retard. Say hi. Hi, hi, Gary the Retard. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm just sitting here. I I went to the hospital, I had my teeth pulled out, and I didn't leave it until thing because they put me to sleep. That's what they're probably doing to me, too. Mm-hmm. Well, wow. Wow. Meeting, of the mind. <laughs> both, yeah. meeting of the mindless. Listen, <laughs> both of you are retarded. I don't know who's smarter or what. I think you're pretty much on uh, equal level from what I can tell. I think Wendy's a bit smarter. Oh, I don't know. You think she is how? You think she is Robin? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Should I test them? Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Howard? Yeah. You know what? I ain't got the cassette of it today in the mail. <laughs> hey, I tell you what. If there's a retarded tooth fairy, <laughs> you're in. You're in to make a killing. There you go. All yeah. right, let me go to Gary first. Gary, I'm going to ask you a question. You answer it, and, and listen, Wendy. If you know it, yeah. don't don't say anything because this okay. is a test. Okay. Gary. Yeah. Who was the first president of the USA? President Nixon. President Nixon. Okay, let's go to Wendy. Wendy, who was the first president? George Bush. Okay. 
Hmm. All right, we're at she got zero one of the and name, zero. She got one of the names right. <laughs> well, he got Nixon. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, yeah. I say that's equal, right? Yeah, that's equal. Okay. Yeah, but George was the first name. All right, just so you guys know, George. Oh yeah, George. Yeah, uh, George, George Washington is the president. The first president. Yeah. Yeah, but he's no longer alive, I don't think. I don't know where he's at. All right, Gary, I'm going to ask you a question, Wendy. Wait till you get your question. Okay. What color is a stop sign, Gary? Red. Oh, hoo -hoo. Look at him. <laughs> Got on that one. Look at him. <laughs> wow. He got that right. Yes, he got it right. All right, let me ask Wendy one. What color is the light? Uh, at the uh, you know at the stoplight when you have to go, green. All right, all right, all right. All right. Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, red means stop. And red means stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Gary, what? A rooster. Is that a female or a male chicken? A rooster. A uh, female. Okay, now let's see if Wendy can get this one right. A male. She right. already answered. There right, you right. go. All right, Wendy might be smarter. She's one ahead of you, Gary. Yep. All right, here comes your tough one, Gary. <laughs> How many quarters in a dollar? Four. Ooh, Ooh nice. tied up. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, wow. You know what? You should have a come to New York and see if I can play a triple game on this. See if I can beat a, if anything. I can see the Beetlejuice. juice. I think this is a different uh, kind of a contest. Well, if she if she wants to tie, we can tie one on right at the station. All right. You know what? You're getting a little cocky now. <laughs> yeah, you only got one right. You got the four quarters right, and all of a sudden right? you're, you're Einstein. You got like Muhammad Ali. Actually, yeah. You got two. Taunting. Right. Let him come in. And she's still ahead of him. Yeah, I'm still ahead of him. All, all right. right, Wendy, your turn. All right. Spell trouble. 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 All right. Um, let me think. <laughs> all right. All right. Trouble. T r o u b. L-E. Wow. wow. All right, Gary. That's my girl. What? She just blew you away. I... <laughs> just tell Gary to spell trouble. Gary, you spell trouble. T-R-U-B-E. There you All go. All right, Wendy's smarter. I end my argument. Yeah, she beat you. <laughs> yeah. She beat you fair and square. Wendy's so How many did I get right? You got, I don't know. I lost track. When you spell trouble, <laughs> you blew her off the board. Hold on. Hey, Gary, spell stop. It's... it's S T O P. All right, and and Wendy, what's three plus two? Three plus two is five. Mm. All right, this is my girl. Wendy. Yes. All right, well, I'll go to Gary first. How many sides does a square have? Four. See, he's good too. He's okay. <laughs> but Wendy's a genius in the retard world. <laughs> well, Wendy, have you been She's top of the food chain? <laughs> Wendy, have you been studying? I've got you, babe. Uh, yes, I have. Gary, you've been studying it. I just got it in the mail today, like I told you. Are All you right. making excuses, Gary? No, I said I just got it in the mail this afternoon. I've been singing it all. I sing it a little bit tonight. You right. did sing it. Yes. You guys want to practice it a little bit? Yes, sir. But can I give her a couple of shout outs? Oh, no, Wendy. We don't have time for that. Let her do a quick shout out. That's what she lives for. Go ahead, I Wendy. Love I love you, Melissa Fox. Love you. Mean it. And I will also like to give a shout to Russ Rowland, Dirty Jim, Black Bean, Bubba, Daniel, Tuttle. Um, and I'll all right, like all right. See, she yeah. goes out to Drew, Millie, oh, Doc, boy. and Skippy, and the other brother, Skippy. She should host TRL. <laughs> That's all it is, is what yeah, she's doing. Giving shout-outs. Yeah. Right. In fact, I, I, I think Carson Daly's down. retarded. What's <laughs> wrong? We should test him against Whitney. Hey, hey, you forgot no to give... You didn't give you didn't give a sh you didn't give a shout out to Creepy Ted. Oh, and Creepy Ted, I also would like to give a big shout out to Double A. What about Dirty Jim? And Dirty Jim. <laughs> what about Drew? And Drew. And Doc, Melly, Skippy, all of them. All of you. Like you know how MTV stole my Ozzy Osbourne idea? Uh -huh. Do you think I should uh, quickly lock up Wendy Thank and you. Gary the retard and stick him in a house and let get, him live? Get their names on contracts. <laughs> hey, you know, hey. Wendy, you know what? I had more fun in Egypt when I went to Las Vegas with Howard. 
I had more fun than you had. Oh, yeah. I had yes, more fun I did. than you. I had more fun than you because I hang out with my friends at the bowling alley every Saturday. Well, so I went to New York. Me. I mean, I went to Las Vegas and I had loads of fun. Oh, yeah. I don't think so because I got more friends than you and plus I sing more and plus I didn't sing almost on to I've been listening to more radio stations than you and I'm popular more than you so I know more re radio station DJs than you I, more, I know more than you do I, I know I, I know try to do I know can you so New show, The Retarded Bachelor. I know. They take Gary and 25 retarded women, they fight over them. I don't think so. Or how about instead so. of the real you world? Better, you better watch it. We call it the I, dumb world. Because I TRL. know how to watch my back. TRL, That's for me, retarded and I'll throw you in the garbage can. No, you are not throw how in the garbage can. I have been through the dumpster and locked the shut the This sounds like the Middle East peace I negotiations. I you at ball. I must... I could get up by to 135 and you can't. TRL, Total Retards Live. <laughs> you guys rock. Besides, I, I know almost all the Batch Boys. Brian, Nick, Howie, AJ, Kevin. Um, that's true. Kevin, she, that's Nick. Nick. I think that's all the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> what about Dirty Jim? And yeah. Dirty Jim, <laughs> and Russ Rowan, Black Beam, Daniel, <laughs> Bubba, um, Cuddle, um, Melissa nope. Diego, Squeaky, um, Sylvester, <laughs> um, Alice, and... Um, you know, if she could Jim. say, here's Nelly Furtado, she could be the host of TRL. <laughs> all right, listen, uh, you too. Yes. Uh, I'm going to play a little... Um, I got you, babe. Let me see where you're at in this song. Can you hear the music? Yes. All right. They say you, you start this. Uh, Gary, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, Gary. Get in there, Gary. I got my work cut out for me. I only got a month before the fight. I got you, babe. Go ahead, Gary. Get him there. It's a duet. I can't. What do you mean you can't jump in? I can't jump in. I got flowers. I got My hair. I got retards. I got you, babe. All right, uh, girls and guys. We'll be back with Tom Green right after. You guys keep practicing. I've got you. Come on, Gary. Get in there. Hey. I've got you, babe. Come on. I've got you, babe. I've got you, babe. I've got flowers. I've got a retarded babe. I've got a retarded babe. I'll change the words. I've got a retarded babe. They say we're retards, but I don't care. I've got more friends. And I know all the names of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> okay. I'll throw you in the um, dumpster. Way, I have a question. I'll throw you in the dumpster. No, you didn't, because I have more friends at the bowling alley. <laughs> yep. Babe. Babe. <laughs> yeah, well. I have no teeth. I got you, Robin. I don't have any either. <laughs> I had a better time in uh, Vegas than you I did at the bowling alley. And I know oh, no. I gla I'm glad I'm, I'm not you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I was raped by John Sykes, babe. <laughs> That's right, babe. Babe. All right, we'll be back right after these words. And so ends another chapter in the saga. Thanks for listening to The Whack Pack Strikes Back on Howard 100 at Howard 101. This has been a Howard Stern production. The Tapes. Truck on, man! It's history!